Right, can you all hear us now? Hey guys. Can we get a quick um, audio check? Can you um, see and hear us okay? Um, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, uh, and then we'll get going. Mick Good. Mick Good. This is what I like to hear. Thank you very much, Mr. Colonel Failure. Right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Tonight we are doing a long distance run. Uh, I'll introduce ourselves. I'm Matt. I'm Ellie. And um, we're going to be doing uh, a long distance run. Where are we going to be starting? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. So we're starting at Edinburgh, we're heading down the East Coast Main Line, and at some point later on tonight, we will be arriving... King's Cross. Into King's Cross. So uh, it's good fun. Uh, we're going to be using four separate routes. So the first leg is the Just Trains um, Newcastle to Edinburgh route, which is excellent. And then we're going <coughs> to be doing the next section, which is the Creative Rail... Um, uh, no, sorry, no, the Dovetail uh, York to Newcastle. I'm doing these kind of the wrong way around. So let's go Edinburgh, Newca Edinburgh, Newcastle. Then we'll do Newcastle to York. Um, and then we're going to do the Creative Rail section from York to Peterborough. And then we're going to do the a Dovetail section from Peterborough into King's Cross. So um, it should be good fun. We're doing it as four separate. If you're interested in doing this in one run, what run one? There. One of them things. One run. Um, Alan Thompson Simulation actually have a merge route, which is the entire thing in one journey. You can do the whole thing in one four and a half hour sitting. So um, if you uh, head over and uh, so at very points, various points during the uh, stream, uh, our um, our trusty um, Dimitri will be posting links, and he'll stick a link to the uh, Alan Thompson site, so you can go and grab that if you want to. You do need the, all that the individual is. bits as well, <clears throat> as well, so that you can make it work. But then, and then the merge just puts it all together. Um, so um, yes, so we're doing the individuals. We've got four separate scenarios. I want to give a big shout out to um, CG Live, uh, Cameron's Gaming, who um, wrote two of the scenarios, and to Stephen Jam, who isn't on the stream chat at the moment, but will be later on, who wrote the other two. So um, yes, we will uh, we will get going. You want the pink headset now? The pink headset sat on my desk now. Um, I'm not driving, so <laughs> I got the easy job. Right, let me fire the game up. Uh, we should probably do that as well. And uh, we can, um, we can we gonna, get going. We're we going to tell the ladies and gentlemen what we're driving, or are we going to let them guess for a little while longer? Well, we've got something different to drive. So when I asked Cameron's Gaming and Steven Jam to make the scenarios, I told them to make it with a Class 90 and some Mark III coaching stock. And they said, all right. So that's what they did. And... Um, I've, I've switched the loco round to something a bit different. Um, Dimitri, have we said anything about what we're going to be using tonight? You're about to say it. I'm about to say it. We're going to be driving the Class 89. The Badger. Coming next Thursday. It's coming next Thursday, I'm told, from voice off to the side here. Um, and uh, I, I tell you what, the Badger is such a cool loco. It's really unique. Um, well, I think, well, say unique, there was only one. <laughs> Um, and, but it also paved the way for a number of other innovations as well. So uh, um, really, really cool stuff. So the game's just loading up, um, albeit on that monitor. You know, I've just realized I'm the first person to drive this in public. Yes. If I mess this up. It'll be fine. I'll just go and draft my resignation whilst the game loads, right? <laughs> <coughs> It'll be fine. I didn't realize the monitor game was going to start on that monitor. It normally starts on that monitor. <sighs> Get, bear with us, folks. Bear with us. We're just waiting for the game to start up. Uh, let me uh, just move OBS across to there so that we can still see it. Right, okay. <clears throat> so part one of our journey, we begin in Edinburgh Waverley Station. Uh, we are in... I was going to say what platform we're in, but I can't remember. It's one of the far ones. So it's that one. Uh, we'll be driving the Class 89 in Intercity Livery, 89001. And we have a rake of um, Intercity Mark 3s behind us. Platform 19, says CG Live. Is it Mark 4s? I don't know if it's Mark 4s or Mark 3s, actually. We'll find um, out when we get in there. I think it's Mark 3s. Yeah, the consist was Mark 3s when I was practicing last night, but I'm not sure. Bear with me, folks. I clicked a button. <clears throat> so you're from the general area. There's a reason you're doing I this am. leg, isn't there, Ellie? Um, Tell us about what you're expecting here. Um, well, I so press buttons. This accent might give it away. Um, I'm originally from southeast Northumberland, so the further south we get, the stronger my accent's going to get, and the more excited I'm going to get. 
Um, the this is a very very special route for me. Um, this was my f this was the route that actually started me scenario building as well. Because my obviously I'm from the, the area and I really wanted to drive a train from Morpeth to Newcastle because it was the train I caught to go to work. But at the time there weren't any scenarios available, but I could find at least. So that's when I learned to build scenarios and now someone puts me in a bank account at the end of the month for building scenarios. So uh, <coughs> this is really quite special for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, just loading it now. We're coming, being lo loading into the into the route. <coughs> Move down from. I'm just having a quick look through chat. Do you get a prize for guessing first? No, you just get to feel really, really smug. Um, I moved down from Northumberland, so I'll point out um, the landmarks that I'm, yeah. Whereas, I don't know if, I, I have been as north as King's Cross. I actually I took the train up to Stirling once, I remember, many moons ago. But, um, yes, I have done this journey once in my life. It's, it, it, I've, I've, it's, I've driven Newcastle to York quite a lot, but I've only driven the, the like, south once or twice. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Stream title says TSW. Dimitri! What? Stream title says TSW. Hashtag blame Dimitri. Oh, well. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Dimitri seems uh, unmoved by that problem. Awesome transport group, you're in Chatham. I, was, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that means Chatham, England, and not Chatham on, in, in Canada, but either way, go Chatham. Yeah, we will load at some point. There's, there's quite a lot of AI traffic um, and, and so forth, from what I'm told. So uh, I'm expecting great things, but it does mean it's going to take a little, another a minute to load. What's the next UK route for TSW? Uh, I can exclusively reveal the next UK route for TSW will have track. Um, I, I didn't know that. I, I thought we were going for those floaty trains. Floaty trains. <laughs> floaty trains. Right. You're driving. Thank you very much. Uh, let me um, just um, double check the map. map. Yeah. Actually, no, we're on the other side of the station. It's fine. I, I'm used to starting on the other side. It's all good. What, you got AWS going? Cool. So, uh, no, there isn't a way to only remove the wheel blur. Look at that. It's a badger. Look this thing. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to get my, myself prepared. So reverse. Uh, oh, they've changed the keybinds on me. Is there? Oh, there's a master key now. That that wasn't there last night. It wasn't there twenty <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> I wonder what else has been changed. Um, cool. So we'll leave the brake on. So the badger has speed select the same way the uh, 91 does. I'm going to get rid of that hood. Starting at 20. Ellie's showing off tonight. I am showing off. I'm going to drive this without the hood. I've got my my notes here. Got no in-game sounds, apparently. Why have we not got any in-game um, sounds? It's, it isn't muted. It's enabled. Check the mixer. You're right. There's nothing coming through. It could be problems. Let me check the volume mixer. I can just... <clears throat> Bear with us, folks. As always, it would not be a stream if it was smooth. That's doing its thing. That's, That's making noise. Thing. That's not doing its thing. Let's just check. I bet it's set to the not wrong the stream if it was device. Hey, look at that. If you reset it to the same device it's already on, thing. obviously it's going to work. Hey, look at that. If you reset it to the same device it's already on. Okay, so I'll do that horn again. Obviously it's going to work. So, um, starting speed limit for us is 20 today. Um, we're going to wait for the green aspect, so we're now good to that again. No, it says we're echoing. That probably means we've got... D Dimitri likes to open thousands of windows so, on, um, on Chrome. Um, so, it said that we can watch ourselves 500 times. <laughs> there we go. Just close them. Don't close them. them, to be fair, it says. We'll close them. All should be gone. That's it. That's all, all we need. We'll put the game back up. Right. 
Okay, we, are we good before you we good, start driving? You are good, and you've got a green light, so you can go. Okay, brakes released. I'm gonna bust on the horn. Let's get going. So, just, so I've set the speed set to 20 miles an hour. I've set my headlights on as well, just because, you know, it's kind of nice to have those things. And go away. Did you open the doors? No, I didn't. It wasn't. CG Live, I took the door open instruction out. For various reasons. I thought you were aware of that. We were talking about it earlier on. So starting speed on it is 20 coming out of uh, Waverley. So we're going by Calvary North Tunnel is our next instruction. I'm going to double check. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, yeah, I'm used to starting from the other side of the station. That's where the quick drive start. Um, so I like, I got, got a bit panicked and saw that bridge and thought we were facing the wrong way. It's quite difficult to record the sounds from the real thing, Rob Skipworth, given it's not drivable at the moment and hasn't been drivable for some years. Although they are trying to make it drivable again, from what I gather. That was what we were waiting for to come in when we the yellow signal. Um, Instrument lights on. Blue. Who thought of that idea? That's a bit different. Someone at Brown? <laughs> Someone at Brown. <laughs> um, distraction sign. Bug up. Uh, so, so um, I'm going to be using the speed set larger to control the speed today because that basically allows the train to decide how much braking it wants to take. Um, I've got an idea of where the speed limits are, so I'm just going to control it. There's a number of you asking about what's the next X add on. Um, we, we can't be talking about stuff that isn't announced. Um, so, we're going to be doing a long distance challenge tonight. And uh, if you've got questions about stuff that is out, we can talk. We can talk about that. By all means, ask your questions. <coughs> I'm going to go forward once we exit the tunnel. That's the safe option. I'm going on a different track to the one I was prepared for, so I want to be safe rather than sorry. GG CG Live. I'm completely confused, Ellie. Yeah, and it's what less than half a mile. Um. Some stats. So total uh, our first stop today is Almouth, uh, which is a total of thirty-four point eight, sorry, um, eighty-four, sorry, eighty-nine point five six miles from Edinburgh, um, and then a flight to Newcastle, which is one hundred twenty-four point four miles from Edinburgh. Cool. Time for not to speed up. Uh, Matty, the eighty-nine is only coming out in the intercity livery. I think it only really held this livery and the GNER livery. Um, it, I think it appeared in a few different cities from when I was reading Wikipedia, because that's the best place to get information. It must have been recent since last night. Oh, I've changed it last night. This is my first, literally my first time seeing this route, so I'm quite looking forward to it. This is the Just Trains route, Newcastle to Edinburgh. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting route. So I've not seen it before, so I'm really, I'm really looking, forward. I'm looking forward to the whole journey. But I've seen all the other bits. I haven't seen it before. Sound remarkably like an idea. How's the audio um, coming through? Can you hear us okay um, over the noise of the train, or do we need to um, adjust the uh, the audio levels a bit? That's Craig and Timmy Depot on the right. Audio is fine. Superb. Uh, there's no TNER livery included in the back, no. 
no plans to do one at this point either. Over on the left, that's Jocker Strait. That is where a lot of the steam tours get to uh, start from, start and end at, or the locals start and end from, I should say. And that's the rest of the Bridge Antilly. Bouncing around a bit. What optimizations are you referring to, Stan PC Gaming? on the left there, that, that yellow from the past, was actually um, when they electrified the East Coast. There's videos on, on YouTube back before the days of major health and safety. They were running back and forwards on top of it, on top of basic carriages. And that was the carriages they used and just sort of left them there after they were done electrifying. Where on the east coast are we, uh, London Transport? We've just left Edinburgh. We're at the beginning of our journey. Just, um, yeah, just due north of Melahel Yard. That makes, that makes no sense to me at all. But uh, all I know for sure is that we're near trees. If that helps anybody. I want a green signal. Rob J, yes, we're doing the full run. We're gonna. Uh, it's not on. We're not using the Alan Thompson Sim merge route. We've done it on the four separate routes. Um, but um, that's mostly because of time. Um, because we built it as four separate scenarios um, but um, no if you want to do it yourself in one big run then there's the Alan Thompson sim merge um, but you'll need obviously the four routes to make it work That's the line from the heavy art runs. Um, frame rate issue. So this this machine is lacking a bit these days, to be honest. And PC gaming, um, but um, some, oh, oh, uh, some of the some of the AIs are stand-ins, from what I understand. Um, but uh, so there's a variety of stuff there. Um, so this machine, I don't think that, for example, the train sim is running on the SSD, which means you'll get um, the um, uh, the, s the m more stuff as it loads stuff in. So this machine is going to get replaced. Also, the, the I, I learned this route to run at the 125 in 10 at max speed for the class 89. I'm aware that in service they stuck to 110, but it's a game, folks. <coughs> uh, Ed, what's happening today? So we're running from Edinburgh to Kings Cross over four scenarios using four different routes, starting with the Just Trains run from Newcastle or Edinburgh down to Newcastle. Um, then we're going to be running the, um, the dovetail line from um, uh, Newcastle to uh, York, which is actually, it's sorry, we, let me correct that, it's Darren Porter's um, DPS uh, East and North East that we're going to be running, which is the modernised version um, of that, so proper credit to Darren for his amazing work. Um, and then we'll be using Creative Rails um, route from York to Peterborough, the modern era version of that, which is on Steam, and then we'll be finishing off with the London, uh, with the run into London from Peterborough using the East and North South route. We will not be doing a giveaway tonight, Luke, no. Is this live? No. We'll Shazen, no, this recording. isn't live, we've recorded this, Shazen. Yeah, I'm actually at home now. I'm not here at all. Okay, it's Preston Pan Station, so Preston Pan, we've got a 110 coming up shortly after the departure there, so I just have to train slow us down towards that 110. I'm actually still down a lot on the other side there. <laughs> uh, and Mr. TFL, so we're, we're going to be doing the full journey, but in four separate routes, not using the merge route. Aspects. No, Acklington's a long way to the south, I'll point Acklington as we go past. I know Jeff Marshall was there the other day. Hello there, Mr. Clint. Nice to see you. Protocol. What's the idea with the BBC connection? Uh, it, so, um, yeah, Great British Railway Journeys is um, it's a nice collection of routes. If you're an existing user of uh, an existing player of Trainsim, 
then it works out to be a, a bundle, a chain, you know, a nice bar, a really good value bundle deal for those routes, and it'll just make them available inside the game uh, at a much lower cost than buying them individually. Um, but well, the idea really is that um, there'll be a lot of other people that are interested in what your aspects. Yeah, um, come to me, am I expecting a train in front of me? Um, so yeah, there's, um, it, it's, yeah, it is, you know, making it interesting to different audiences, and, um, yes, you're following a 170s stop. I hate you, Cameron's Gaming, I hate you with a passion. Okay, speed back now. Where does it turn off? Is it going? North Bear. It, okay, cool. That's not too bad, then. Now that I know I'm behind a stop, I'm going to pull the speed right off. One ten eighty three W using speed set. Absolutely Delta. However, I'm not using the HUD. And I drove this last night with no other AI to figure out where the speed limit changes were, not where the signals were. So I'm being careful. She's braver than I am, I would never turn the HUD off. That's just insanity. I feel like I'm driving blindfolded. Like I did the other day. It's sort of like driving just with very, very limited vision. <laughs> and this would be Oh yeah, long tree. Have to make a note of that one. That's all good. Who's the other guy? Hi, I'm Ellie. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not doing it for that. <coughs> My voice is just a bit destroyed. <clears throat> I do love the badger. It was uh, probably, a, it must be 10 more, more than 10 years ago, maybe even 15 years ago now. When it was um, last, it was last off the main line over was GNER. And um, they were done with the loco, so it was in storage. It was out of action because of traction mode failures. And they um, they wanted a shot of it basically, and they put it up for scrap. Um, and the AC Loco group um, put together a fund to make a bid for it, so it went for an auction essentially. And um, the AC Loco group, uh, full power to them, were successful in the auction, and they were able to rescue um, the Class 89. And it sort of stayed at I think it's Barrow Hill that stayed at for quite some time, but. Um, from what I'm understanding now, they've uh, this funding been secured, and they're actually trying to replace the traction motors, which is quite expensive job, um, and um, and actually get the 89 back out running rail tours on the main line, which would be amazing. Go to line speed again. So there's an 85 LM the go around the curve. Um, yeah, it's sick. It, it, it really is monstrosity. Um, a beautiful monstrosity at that. 6,000 brake horsepower power, uh, power output. Even the 91s are four and a half? Question mark? I think. So it's mo monstrously fast. Um, okay, right, now concerned again. It's like a HST loco, isn't it, Shazzy? If you were to make a loco based on the idea of the look of a sh HST, it would look like this. And that's probably kind of the point. Sort of is a HST, but it couldn't be further from an HST. Yeah. <laughs> a HST that can't be further from an HST, basically. I'm not sure how long the signal block is, so I just got to 55. It's a bit quick, but. What are you driving? The Class 89, 89001. The only Class 89. Oh, great, I got AWS and didn't see it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me, guys? Yeah, F in the chat, please, thank you. Matt, 
since you're laughing, I've got my notes still for driving Newcastle to York without the hood. Yeah, I'm not going to be driving <laughs> Newcastle to York without the hood. I never drive without the hood. I know where my limitations are. And they are very clearly related to the hood. Thank you for the uh, sparkies there, Moggy. Rip. <laughs> what, what are sparkies? They're, they're like mixer things. They're not like bits, but they're just mixer things. I don't really understand. Can, can I get a cup of tea with, with the sparkies? Because no. I kind of think I deserve one for that, 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 the, trauma, the trauma. What are the what features? Um, has wheels? Tones, this is Ellie, who is a uh, gameplay designer on Trent Sim World. I've got green aspect now. I've fluffed up enough to get green aspect. So, we need to draw it was 115. It was 115 at that second, actually. So, I'm just going to. There we go. All good? I'm not sure what you're sorry for. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, it's a long story. I, I don't get offended. You're absolutely fine, mate. Whereabouts are we now? Approaching Drem Station. Other than near trees. Drem Station, so it's sort of west of Dunbar. Is the nearest big city. D um, yeah, Drem to Dunbar, I have to pay a lot of attention. When will TSW be getting a modern UK based route that is for consoles? Um, so, Sophie Clark, that would be East Coastway, which is already out, which is um, down Brighton to Eastbourne and um, using the Class 377s, the Raptor Stars. So I can just book straight to 125. So yeah, it's at 72 miles to Almouth from the Brown Station. <coughs> yeah, um. The first time I saw screenshots of that, I was like, yeah. I think I jumped up and down a bit and got very excited. Mm. I'm really happy to see that too. Really happy to see that too. It's one of those trains I hear like, I always hear murmurs. People go, ooh, it would be nice if I had an 8 and 9, then it dies down for about 6 months. And you get some more murmurs, then it dies down again. And now we've got one. Have we got a DVT? No, I don't think we do. Do you want to just check the back? Remember, yeah, I don't think don't we have a DVT. No, it's just a local hold stock. With Fred. We have Fred on the back. What's our next waypoint? Where, where, where's our, where are we, um, so our next stop is Unmouth, which is about 70, about 65 odd miles away. Oh, broken. Beric upon Tweed. This isn't one equal twofold. I was lied to. So again. You <laughs> what one equal two four stops, um I mean back in two so Take my hands up here for that. Our locomotive sounds recorded for TSW, um, Bristol. Um, we attach microphones to the locos, uh, and then um, they, the locos get driven, and we record gigabytes and gigabytes of sounds. The team went out, just as an example, the team went out and did a recording the other day, um, and um, came back with 65 gigabytes of audio, I think it was. get 65 gigabytes of audio. Lots of microphones, lots of recorders, just holding for many hours. I mean, I'd be allowed to go down to five. this is Dunbar when I approach him. CJ says, I decided to make it stop at Berwick instead of Almuth because why not? Um, timetables, preparation, <laughs> giving me a heart attack. I refuse to turn the hood back on though. I've got a vague idea where Berwick is so I can... 
I just have to stop a bit more, I have to break a bit more sharply when the speed changes, that's all. Yeah, I think I'm still going to look too early for Plans for more heritage railways for TSW, but it's even mid hands. Well, make sure you pop onto the um, onto the forums and um, you know tell us what railways you want to see and, and you know what stock you want to see on it and what's good about it. Does DRA work? Yeah, do you want to copy your mouse over the DRA? Yeah, yeah DRA works. Who typed no pacer, please? <laughs> Dimitri. I, I I'm, I'm Ellie. I support this message. <laughs> well, whatever it is, my computer should say I'd, I'd, I'd try to jump down some. It's out of order, is what it is. It's out of order. You know, find right? People who like the pacer <laughs> are generally from south of the trend, pretty much. I don't know anyone from north of the trend who actually likes pacers, and yeah. So I find that Dimitri, Pete behave yourself, says Pete. Thank you, Pete. Right, and because I've completely been thrown off by what the goings on, yes, yeah, so that's done by that. I'm cheating a little bit, but I'm allowed to cheat. You can see the, the uh, when, I, when I bug down the brake pipe, it goes up and so, it's, so does the cylinder pressure. Oh, God, should I say. Stan PC Gaming, where are we based? Uh, Chatham in Kent, in the um, Chatham Historic Dockyard. Really cool place, actually. Yeah, it's really interesting. For, for a long time, we had a steam train parked pretty much outside the office. A steam engine, sorry. To get my phrase out right. They were running a bit on the side, though. Uh, we shunting up and down the um, docks. It's actually, like, I really, like, when I came down from the interview, loved it. Um, my. Um, yeah, when I came down from interview, they had a steam train, like steam engine park outside that was actually made at the Stevenson Works in Newcastle. Which that's that. Which is about 100 yards from my last place to park. So, um, Rob Powell, they absolutely did. And I would agree that th they did their job. But compare a 142 to a 156. You, 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 you just Basically, you take something with soul and remove the soul. And add more bounces. <laughs> for a second, I saw a bit of occlusion there that locked like a feather on top of the signal. I just thought for some reason we were going through. Um, uh, going through. Um, maybe, um, not quite the boiler shop, but I was very nearby that actually. Uh, play, you, oh, so Harry, you play on the Xbox One? Excellent, glad you're enjoying it. Carl Leonard, will this 89 work with the Mark IVs that come with the 91? I've not tested it, I don't know. Um, by all means, give it a go. Um, yeah, I've not tested it. I tested it and I was having mixed results, but I've raised it to the team, so... I think I've changed, I'm sure, I'll be fair. Is that a Class 82? I'm looking at you, Matt. I'm a West Coast. So, so, Class 89 is something like Class 82. Is that, is that Class 82? That's Dunbar Station, by the way. That, actually, that must be one of the few... I'm going to use the phrase intercity stations because I don't think stops there. And it's cross country. That only has one platform. You know what? what, what I, the only thing I saw as we drove through that station was what looked like an empty poster board. I couldn't turn my eyes off it. I just triggered it so bad. I wanted to get out and go and place that poster. Um, I know we can go to. We can go to. Ah, I'm getting confused. We'll, we'll use the eight cam cheat feature to place the poster. Just don't run any red lights. There you go. It's actually quite a cool little asset as well. Yep. Took seven miles to go, so I'm actually going to five. So we're going up to Grant's house something. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna crack open this, the stream monster when we arrive at the barrack. Next big landmark we'll see will be Oxwell Mains uh, Colmats. I'd say it's Oxwell Mains of Farge, I believe, is there the big smoke factory thing. 
Uh, does it support neutral sections? I actually don't know. Uh, my, my experience with this loco is limited to what you're seeing at the moment, I'm afraid, Michael Dono, so I'm not the best person, neither of us actually are the best person to ask about what it can do, except for we can press a button and have a play with for you right now. Um, but um, as it comes nearer to release, um, and you'll be able to talk on the forums and we can get those answers. But if there's a button you want us to push, then we'll push it and see what happens. I don't believe any of the routes tonight will um, cover neutral sections either. Uh, Barry Chan, yes, this is the 89 is coming out on Steam Thursday next week. Thursday next week. Can we get some more thorn inside now? is Tornet's nuclear power station siding. Slightly different 90. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Pete has now completed 153 of the services for the 377. Right. That is some inside. commitment. The neutral section is nothing like the neutral zone in Star Trek. There are not Klingons and Romulans and things modern. When is Dimitri driving German TSW with PZB on? We need to know this. Friday! Friday. <laughs> I may have to come off. <laughs> Friday or Saturday. Nah, now he's not being committed. Commit the, the commitment's not there now. No, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Right Saturday for Dimitri with PZB. Right after the HR stream. We're also Ooh. Ooh. Now, what is that? Have we announced that yet? Yeah. What we're doing now? Yeah, so we're going to be showing um, the new Hubstrecker Iron Roar uh, on Saturday. When are we showing the MP15? Friday for the MP15, Saturday for Hubstrecker Iron Roar. Is there any ever chance of doing Russian rail, uh, Grigori? Um, there's always chances of things happening, but there's nothing to talk about or anything at the moment. So, um, by all means, if there's Russian rail lines and trains that you want to see, pop over to our forums at forums.dovetailgames.com. There is a section in there for um, suggestions, um, and um, set, you know, put a post in there with some descriptions from photographs, what makes it look good, what are the operations, what trains. Uh, it's. Uh, and that way you can get a discussion going as well and we read all the posts that are on there um, so uh, yeah if you've got suggestions about what you'd like to see that's the place to do it I have to say as well I just saw Stormtrooper mention that he's had to see DBS one coming there's all the add-ins um, one of the things we've done or I should say the lovely Matt has done uh, with the service mode for our Power Strike Ryan Rare is pretty much all the German DLCs in there well, it's MSB. So if, you're, if you've got MSB, it will give you uh, a ton more services using the Docker stocks. So it gives you RE1, RE2 and RE6 services. Um, and you get um, also freight services as well. So it, uh, the total number of services on Hubstrack of Wagner is 374 or something like that. So it's quite, it's quite a busy line. So yeah, we're coming to Ooh, that's nice. I like that. So it's quite nice. It gets quite hilly here. Um, someone put some hills between Scotland and England. When is the MP15 coming out? Mm -hmm. Do we the next for that one? 19th for the MP15 on TSW 2020. Wednesday two weeks from now is half Strike of Iron Roll, but the pre-order for that is now available. So you can go and get your pre-order in. Uh, is there any possibility TS 2020 will ever be on Xbox? I'm going to give that a reasonable no um, because of the um, the age technology of um, TS 2020. One of the reasons that Train Sim World exists was to get a train simulator developed and optimised for consoles as well as PCs. Sorry? I'll do some contortionism. 
think if you lift the microphone over the keyboard, you can get it a bit further away from me. There we go. How's that, folks? Mouse is about three times further away than it was a minute ago. I'm going to have to undo this contortion and looks like I'm going to get crap soon. <laughs> so we're coming up Grant's house now. So Grant's house um, was actually the, uh, at the site of a tumbling disaster. Um, so they were, I believe, widening the tunnel for the East Coast Main Line back in the 70s. Um, and collapsed. Since the East Coast Line takes its current route. It's closed about three years ago. Yes, the new TS through W route passes through Essen. You, know, you live in Bern, Essen, Ding, Barry. Excellent. Yeah, we run, this is the Just Trains route from Newcastle to Edinburgh. Oh, we're running it Edinburgh to Newcastle. Um, is Dimitri Freddy Cups of Tea? No, no. He's, he's down the back. I uh, checked tickets. Not been any tea supplied by Dimitri at all. I've got my stream monster, but I'm, I'm driving so I can't open it. Um, I've got an important thing to note with this route is it is one of the, I think it was one of the original third party routes back in the day. So it's, it's been around a while. It's pretty much the route that came out of Bristol Exit from JT, so it gives an idea how long it has. Mm. But it's an important link to complete the East Coast Main Line between London and Edinburgh. Well, I'm sure this is Grant's house goods loops. Um, pretty much How did Grant get his own goods loop? Mm -hmm. I want a goods loop. Dang it. Okay, we're passing Matt's loops. Yay! <laughs> Brando, as I've said earlier on, if you want to see particular routes such as the Irish ones, and I'm a big fan of that idea, I'd love to see a bit of dark action or some enterprise action, um, then um, go ahead and put some posts into the um, uh, into the Dovetail Live forum, forums.dovetailgames.com. And um, yes, tell us tell us what's interesting, what stock you want to see, and so forth. I just saw a comment there, isn't um, Nebworth and that's loops? No, because you stop in loops. <laughs> I don't stop. That's a self burn. <laughs> that's rare. Any now, Master Ace? Uh, yes, we're both British. She's North British and I'm South British. The difference in accents. <laughs> And I'm turning my accent down. <laughs> However, my mum is North British and my dad is South British, so it just gets really confusing. And say, um, say Barrick, so I just say, say Barrick. Barrick. Yeah, Southern. You're not Northern. So you're here when I come and start Oh, no, I'm definitely names. not Northern. When I, when I start going further south, you'll start hearing, my, like, my place name just makes you turn really Northern. No, the north v south in my house when I was growing up was fun. Is it broccoli or calabash? It's Tom Crossweed. That's right. Um, is that a church or not? Yinji, yes, Ellie is Northern Princess. I am indeed. One and only. I have one of your scenarios. Oh, thank you very much. Or it's one of the ones that works. <laughs> Yes, Ellie works for DTG now. She is a scenario designer, gameplay designer on Prince and World. <laughs> Seen around this part of the route is super. It is MDH games, isn't it? I'm enjoying the whole run, to be honest. Did you know um, what the got cancelled? I didn't know that. This, this part of the route is, it shouldn't be my favourite because it's not the bit that, I, that is local to me, or was local to me, but, um, yeah. so coming down Grant's, uh, coming down the, the south side of Grant's house now, uh, our Grant, um, well, I, call, I call it coming down from Grant's house, we soon start going along, the, on, along some cliffs, 
Um, and so that's the most memorable bit from when I, we took the train ride up um, to go and see our um, colleagues in the Stirling office. Uh, lead engineer Ben and I went up there, and I remember that bit going across the cliffs. I was like, this is interesting. If you look at any LNER slash Virgin Train slash East Coast slash Nexag slash GNER promotion material, and it's going along cliffs, it's this section here. It's pretty much all the promo materials from there. Uh, no, this isn't a merge, uh, Matthew. We're using four separate routes. This is not. We're going to be doing four separate scenarios on the four separate routes. Uh, for those that want the merge, that's on Alan Thompson's side. Uh, any route suggestions? Do suggest from the forum. There's, um, you know, uh, like I, I know for me personally, if I'm looking for inspiration to write route proposals. Um, which I do write for you, I think, yeah, um, and well, I know I do, um, you know, I, I do look in there and see what people are asking for, because you know, at the end of the day we want to make groups that we guys want to learn. Have we both gone a bit robotic? Answer us folks, have we both gone a bit robotic? We what? Or is it just CG Live? I mean nothing's changed that we're aware of. Not robotic. There you go. Thank you very much, Rob. You want to see more southeastern stuff in TS or TSW? There's quite a bit in TS, to be honest, at the moment. I'd want to see it in TSW, personally, but there's quite a lot of actually southeastern stuff. Some of my favourite routes are things like the um, the, um, the Chatham Mainline route, for example. I really like that. And Danny has done some really cool merges where he's changed, uh, he's merged a whole bunch of different routes together and down there, so you get all of the southeastern stuff. Um, London Brighton and Chatham Line, all that stuff all merged together. It's really cool. Yeah, the, the, the Danny mergers. Um, and we're both humanoids, eh? We're both humanoids. Southeastern main line down to Dover Park. Nice. Isn't that I've seen that on the workshop, I think. I've not actually properly looked at it. I think I've seen it. Yeah, if I remember rightly, Danny is the one who's been working on that one. I, I, I do believe so. Um, eight and a half miles to Barrack. And then it's about an hour south of Barrack. This is the longest leg. It's the path uh, well, to be this and uh, your people reckon to do one thing. I spy 91. Oh, no, HST. A funny looking 91. T. bag. <laughs> See good, but like some external shots. We are, as we just said, eight and a half miles from Berwick. Uh, I'm not going to cheat and put the hood up, but I've not stopped here without the hood before, uh, heading south. So if this goes horribly wrong, blame Cameron's live. The CG game, live, sorry. Anything can be done. Go to the Dovetail forums at forums.dovetailgames.com and tell us all in great detail what you would like to see and why. What we're driving, Alex, this is a Class 89, otherwise known as the Badger. Section 
Cat of War, slightly disappointed Tees Valley didn't have a reskin Lexus TU for AI at Darlington. Um, so it's got the wrong sounds, it's got the wrong shaped cab, and it's got the wrong cab interior. And that's just the beginning of where things are uh, where it's not just a reskin, I'm afraid. The HST that's modelled is a modern version, um, and it's it's got the different light clusters, different nose shape, different cab interior. It's quite a significant amount of um, rework, actually. The attempt to test that. Oh, look at this. Do you feel something like rock music? Let's just like that. <laughs> Alex, yes, this is the Jeff Trains Edinburgh Newcastle. 3.8 miles to our first stop. I'm just going to keep my eyes out for is um, the mop of board for a 17 and at that point I'm going to start with a 30. Um. Uh, buddy, so this route is currently available from Just Trains directly at justtrains.net. It's been out for quite some time. That's, now that's not a HST. 91. The best trains on these goes find me. <laughs> I like zoomers. It's the same as the main ones. Bro, I've got to the floor. My favourite lot goes. It's about <laughs> sound, it's got to be on HST. Like a proper Paxman. A Paxman, about sound, yes. But current generation, if you like, go with the main one for me. Uh, am I still doing train sim live on Twitch? I mean, I'm asked to race. I, I am, um, but I am um, uh, unable to at the minute just because I've got a bunch of other stuff on. We will be. Yeah, we will be back. So uh, I believe we've just crossed over at England. I'm not too sure. Oh no, that's the... No, that's the start. I thought that was the weapon at England sign. Don't. It's just... It's about 1.4 miles. 1.4 miles. It's going to put down to... I think CG Live is just this one livery. Um, oh yeah, actually the Delta. Yeah, sorry, um, Ed. Well, actually, yeah, the Delta yeah, overall has to, overall sound has to be the Delta, but Delta's fairly uncommon these days compared to say ninety one. In fact, if you keep going down in paths, it just gets better and better and better because before the Delta, you've got things like A fours, and they sound even better. So and if you go far enough back, you've got Rocket. What on the East Coast? <laughs> Eh. I've met. I've. You've missed another AWS. I'm, I'm trying to drive without the headset, but hey. <laughs> Again, bl you can blame CG Live for all this. I would have been fine had I not had to stop. That's what I usually say as well. If it wasn't for stopping, we'd have kept going. Yeah. I'm not going to fail it. I'm south of the border, I know the route quite well. South, no, south of Pegswood, I know the route quite well. It's the last like 20 miles away. I know the distance between that sleeper and the next sleeper. I know that really well. I mean, there's some gravel there, I can see. That's about it. <laughs> oh, I don't know that well. <laughs> Are you hearing the game sounds? Nope. That's why I'm missing the AWS. No, I've... no, Ellie's not got a headset on. She's decided she's going to go. I was going to, I was going to be brave and not like run out and get my headset, try and get it all going. But yeah, brave is one word for it. So yeah, we'll go 35. We'll, this is uh, Berwick, uh, Good Slopes. So we're approaching Berwick Station. The most northerly station in England. Mm -hmm. so one of the best bridges. Sorry, second best bridge on the East Coast. And I'm not going to be driving when we go for the best bridge. <coughs> what, which one's the best bridge? King Edward. The view. Uh, Newcastle. It's the bridges you have to sell over the time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm 
know I started my TikTok channel. Um, what random nonsense do you post? <sighs> Not on TikTok, but actually brilliant. I bet there'd be lots of pink. Yeah, there would be. There'd be lots of Matt making, making, making back up the team. Oh, is, is that joke still here? Is, is that still a joke? Oh, I've got it too long. Sorry? Was the, the you make cups of tea thing at Dovestown that that's what you do for your job? Is that still a joke? Or I, I, I Probably. I don't even do that competently, to be honest. Everyone complains I don't get the tea right. That was, yeah, the... Um, don't you start with the bacon and your bacon butties with ketchup in the old master race. That's just taking it too far. <laughs> See, because I have to share a cab with Matt for the next 80 or so miles, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Opening window and hoing you out. If you hoing me out, I love the use of the northernism there. I'm taking this with me. <laughs> That's fine. F4. Boom. Problem solved. There's nothing wrong with the bacon bunty about with ketchup. Yeah, except for the fact that it's a bacon bunty with ketchup. Did you have a timed arrival point? I arrived two minutes early driving without the There the we mud. go. There well, actually, that's. Credit where it's due. Credit where it's due. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, this is the Newcastle Edinburgh line from Just Trains. It's easy, go. Yeah, sorry about the, 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 the monster noise there, but I deserve a monster for arriving two minutes early. Are the track trains... Mm -hmm. That confuses me. It's this new Dutch DLC. No, this isn't Dutch DLC, Chelsea. This is a Class 89 UK electric locomotive. There was only ever one of them built. Um, but there was, there, it is, the, the, I, that one is preserved. I am hiding in the train and looking at the stations. Berwick Station is actually one of my favourite stations. So we are getting towards what, what sort of watch time? Yeah, 13 minutes past. So I'm going to stay in the cab and I'm just going to quickly bug. Um, yeah, I've got um, seven minutes left. Departure limit here. You can see the seven post there, and something tells me we're going to make it to 55 by the time that the yeah, tail end of the train passes there. There we go. Oh god, that doesn't work. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, got the right away now. So I'm going to reach the brake. I tried to buzz back there, but. C, which is the usual buzzer command, is what's bound to the speed set, which is that when you see the speed set spring quickly, it's because the keyboard. Does the cab have a master key, Ben Rick? Yeah, it does. It does actually, yeah. Caught me out at the start of the stream. Do you know of any Saint class TPO scenarios on the workshop? I believe there are a small number of them, yes, Chris. This, this scenario is on the workshop, so I assume so. This is the Royal Border Bridge. And pretty iconic structure of the East Coast Main Line. Reflection there. And we're now officially set for the tweet. In the, we're, we're in God's country. Uh, you can see, whenever you have dumps in train simulator, please, please make sure you package them up and send them into the support team so they can be uh, added to the list to look through. Um, because quite often um, crash dumps are caused by um, extra content being added or corrupt files or things like that. Um, so it's um, if you if you send the crash dumps in, then sometimes, not always, the team can figure out um, what's gone wrong with it. What's the horn sound like? Tripeg MP15 DLC release date is. Which one is it? The MP15? Release date. Thursday. 
Thursday. Next Thursday. Ne next Thursday. Wait, is that and then MP? Oh yeah. Yeah, we know MP. MP fifteen. Fourteen, isn't it? I think it's the eight and nine that comes out next Thursday. Or am I the eight and nine comes out next Thursday. Does MP fifteen come out on the same day? Dimitri, yeah, now I've broken days. Dimitri. <laughs> they come out on the same day. The 89 and the MP15 both come out on the same day. And then the following... 24th will be for the Asian Rhinos. Yeah, Hubstack or Ryan Roar is then on the 24th. Yeah. Wednesday. After. That's the 110. Go up to 125 in this section. This is a nice section. Um, uh, I was asking in regards to having access for TSX, but that means covered for future TSW. So whenever we do a research trip now for either for anything, we get enough reference to, uh, if possible, we get enough reference to make it in TSW, um, and that gives us everything we need for both simulators. It's not always possible, um, but um, yeah, obviously if we're going to go to the extent of getting a trip, we try and get as much as we possibly can. Um, and slightly more of it. We are shameless when it comes to. Oh, can we just have a play with? Can you just make it do that? Hey there, Dylan. Dylan in South Africa. How are you doing, sir? Onboard simulated systems, uh, I think this is DRA, AWS, uh, I don't know if it's got DSD, it not seem, doesn't seem to be bothering I'm you. not touching DSD, <laughs> no. Well, I've got no idea, we haven't got sound on, so it's going to make DSD sort of a bit um, fun. Okay. Cool little landmarks will be approaching on the left, um, after the next road crossing, is Cody Island. To give my random story and hope yeah, you can put my laptop and trip to the laptop, but it's fine. Oh, you've been losing. <laughs> um, random bit of new story. Random story about Holy Island. Start with Holy. Start the story about going to Iceland. So Christianity came to Iceland with the Vikings from Norway. Um, Christianity came to Norway from Holy Island uh, when the Vikings raided this monastery, uh, which was that's in, that's in Cuthbert, was. Um, and as part of the Viking raids, the St. Cuthbert's Trail started. What was the story behind that? Um, but yeah. Christianity went to like Norway, Iceland, from quite a few other countries. From, well, you can just make out the humps over there, I believe. So, I believe Dimitri so. just said that Matt is a Viking. And funny story, um, I used to take part in, in the Viking annual ritual where they make a big longboat set here on fire and send it out into the sea when I was up, because I used to live in the Shetland Islands, which was about as Viking as you're going to get. So, yeah, true story. I, I refer to this whole island just because that's whenever it's been mentioned in my household, that's what it's always been called. Um, and Linda's farm, it's quite easy to confuse with the farm islands, which is something different. Uh, will DTG be vis visiting Wales for more DRTS add ons? Uh, anything can happen in the future, Mike. There's nothing to announce or talk about at the moment, but who knows? If there's particular things that you want to see, go to our forums, forums.dubtalgames.com, and. Um, you know, tell us what routes in Wales you want to see and what trains you want to see driving on them, what gameplay you want to see. Where are we now then? We've um, made it to Holy Island, we've gone past it. We've gone past it. Uh, we're going to be going for, for London. Look at my, my, my notes. Um, so yeah, next next thing we'll see will, will be Cragmill. Oops. There's a 125. I'm fairly safe to put it down now. The staff read the forums, Jamie Custard, but um, not everybody is um, able to respond on the forums, but um, they're definitely read. Dimitri posts on the forums. He enjoys it. He really enjoys it. Can we get another outside shot, Mr. Powell? Yes, you can. 
drive by for you. And the, the camera shot. Huh? What loco is this run up? This is the Class 89, otherwise known as the Badger. Uh, we are driving the Class 89 uh, from uh, Edinburgh to King's Cross in London. Uh, this is the first leg of the journey. Um, is it class for Newcastle? Where we're going to be driving it from um, uh, Edinburgh to Newcastle. And uh, then we're going to be doing next leg on the Newcastle York route. Then we do the next leg on the York Peterborough route. And then the final leg on the Peterborough to London route. Alan Thompson's website does have a merge, which merges the entire thing together. So uh, if you want to try and do it in one gigantic four and a half hour run, be our guest. You do need the individual bits though. Well, what the merge does is it glues them together and uh, makes a bunch of other stuff to it as well. But you need the individual bits to make it work. <clears throat> it was originally, um, so when 89 originally came out, Mustafa, it was um, in Intercity. Then GNER um, were the next owner of it, and it was repainted in GNER for some time um, and looked um, gloriously odd in that re-livery. Um, in, in, in the game, it's presented in the ultimate livery, which is, of course, in City. <clears throat> What routes do you need for the merge? The ones that we're using here, so uh, ECML South London to Peterborough, um, the uh, Creative Rail um, Peterborough to York, the, I think it's the, it uses Darren Potter's, um, Darren Porter, sorry, um, merge route, DPS um, uh, Northeast ECML, and then the, um, the final leg is the Just Trains um, Newcastle to Edinburgh line. I think Kyla had two or three variations of the Intercity livery over its life. I don't know what livery, because I think it's been repainted into Intercity now. Um, it was one of the earlier things that the AC Locomotive Group did when they um, when they uh, obtained the locomotive, sort of, so that they could show it off um, at Barrow Hill, I think, where it was. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I don't think they've actually got the um, traction up to now. I heard it was going to be going for tests, so I'm not, I'm not sure how to have to look again. Could the likes of Armstrong Powers ever provide packs for DTG on console in the future? Who knows what the future um, holds, Rob? Potentially. We do actually work with Armstrong Powers, specifically Armstrong Powers, actually, as well as others, um, who provide sounds for some of the stuff going in. Um, so, 52. Um, so, he, yeah, Armstrong helps uh, with some of the sounds for the 377. There's been two or three packs that uh, Armstrong has uh, worked with us on to get sounds for. Uh, and indeed, um, Mike Goltz of TSG, Trains in Germany, um, and also formerly of Virtual Railroads, um, along with Linus Follett, actually helped provide um, sound setup for the BR45 coming in the new Harpstrap around Europe route as well. So there's a growing number of external developers helping produce the first party content. And they're using that as a way to build up skills and experience to be able to start looking at their own projects. Um, and I know that um, certainly Mike is, is thinking about what he can be doing. The merge requires Southampton to Bournemouth route as well. Does it? I must admit, I've not looked at the dependency list, dealt it, but the, the, I'm sure that Alan's website will explain everything that you need, so go and have a look at that. If money was no issue and guaranteed to be no obstacles, what's the one route in the world you would bring to TSW? The world. <laughs> All of the trains and all of the routes. I, I, I honestly don't know the answer to that, Wolfman, actually. Um, there's, there's so many great possibilities, and pick any one of them, and there's probably three more you wish I could. No, I actually didn't about it, rather it was these ones. <coughs> uh, and Inji, how does one become one of those external developers? Start off by talking to our third party developer team, um, and, um, and then um, the conversation evolves from that, really. Um, We've worked with AP on stuff previously, um, so we've got a long relationship with um, Richard and also with um, Mike uh, as a third party developer and a second party developer. Uh, and there are others as well that we work with and have worked with for many years. 
Um, but uh, if you want to work closely with more closely with us, then talk to our third party team, and um, uh, yeah, they will uh, they'll help you out. Right, we'll cross them back there. Um, is the uh, place for Bambra, which those of you who played Forza, the really big castle on the beach. That's Bambra Castle. Bambra Castle. Uh, third party projects. Um, no, third party projects. Um, the idea, and until it's done, Rob, it's obviously all in theory, but in theory, there's no reason why third party projects can't um, be delivered to Sony and Xbox consoles as well. But um, that's certainly the aspiration, that's what we want to get to. Um, and we don't see why we can't achieve that at this point. That station back there, that was Chuck Hill Station. Next station is Palmworth. Will these routes and trains make it into TSW? There's no plans for that at the moment, Dazza. Um, but as with all things, if there's routes and trains that you want to see in the game, hop over to our forums at forums.dogtailgames.com and um, we will um, we'll, uh, we like to read what you're posting. But so just make sure you the stuff you want to see that you uh, you tell us. Yeah, terrified me for a second. I, I, I clicked off the game and the game just disappeared. I thought we dumped. No, you, because it's running in full screen mode, you can't click off the game. Yeah, I, I didn't realise it. Cried a little bit internally. And the heart sort of. Just <laughs> down. Fun little thing about this route, actually. Do you think this is one of the. Yes, it is. You'll notice this at a lot of the more regional stations on the route. It's buildings like this. So these are the original Northeast Railway uh, station buildings. Um, and they're dotted all around. And there's a lot of them have closed now and are no longer station stations, but the buildings are still there and converted to houses. Um, and I think you can see these as far south as, as Durham. So they, uh, yeah, quite a few to spot. JD Custer, would it be possible to procedurally generate tracker scenery based on data like the Microsoft Flexing does thing at the community to signal it up? Who knows? Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the new flight sim goes uh, and how that looks, particularly at ground level. Um, but um, yeah, it's an interesting uh, environment to uh, think about um, and what the options are. So when we are looking at ways to improve route building times and new techniques and including procedural generation and all sorts of things, but because you're down, down right close to the ground, there's, there's, you, you, it's much more difficult and it requires an artist's hand to actually craft that experience and particularly track I just don't think you're ever going to be able to auto lay track uh, because it's it's key to the whole thing <coughs> why what's vomit want to ask he's trouble Would you ever do a route where the long parts are in a smaller scale like our American truck simulator works? So the overwhelming feedback we get for anybody, um, everybody that uh, we speak to is one-to-one -one scale is where it's at. Um, they, want to, they want the long journey. They want to celebrate the distances between the stations um, and they don't want them shortened. Um, that's certainly the feedback that I've had. Every time I've said, but what if we did... No, no, don't do that. Okay, fair enough. I hear you. There's a invisible one, two, five, that one crane speedboat comes in. I'm just trying to judge it myself, but you know, shoots in this area, so I'm going to have to do a bit to make that. Come up at Almouth now, so we've got my big nose to stop at Almouth, CG Live. Um, Would you make a TSW route for the East Coast Main That's one of the, the that and the West Coast Main Line, um, you know, given how important they are, I'm sure they'll happen at some point, but there's no 
plans or anything at the moment to share about that. Rob, I'm not quite sure what you're asking there about the uh, patching console versions into PC versions. Do you do you mean that um, you know, would the new generation consoles be able to run the full PC version of it? At some point, I guess we'll find out. DJ Dave, um, again for route suggestions, post them on the beat forum, um, not on the beat forum, not on the public forum, forums.dovetopms.com. Yes, so Jodie Custer, we have tech artists and indeed one of them is looking at procedural generation at the moment, along with many other things. I appreciate that. <laughs> what are we driving, TWRA Ray Farm? We are driving the Class 89, the Badger, uh, <laughs> on our run from on the East Coast Main Line, starting in Edinburgh and heading and driving all the way down to um, uh, London. That's it. That place, that big, that big, that big hole in the middle. There's no limit to route lengths on TSW Mark, not, not theoretical limits anyway. So we are but they take time to make, and that's, that's where the limit, the practical limits come in. Oh, look at that, that's really nice. Especially, I say, especially for the, the age of this route, it's really awesome. Nice little bridge on the way to Elmouth. Cool little thing about Elmouth, um, the mouth of the Elm River, but um, the there's actually, if you look at it on, on Google, um, maps. There's a church south of the river that's just ruined. Um, and it used to be the village church. I've missed AWS again. Oh well. Um, there's a church south of the river uh, which is in ruins. Um, and it's because uh, the river used to flow due south and join um, the Coquette River and come out at Amble. Um, but during a really bad storm one night, it broke through at Elmouth and effectively cut the church off from the village. Well, you can still get to it, but it's just a very long walk. So it, uh, it basically became, became abandoned after that. Well, you're seeing that it's very easy to reset the emergency brake system on this train. Many times, yes. I I'm demonstrating the features of the train map. <laughs> They once mentioned that a large amount of trees causing frame rate troubles in TSW you found a way to more efficiently play tr place trees. Can you explain some of the background of how that worked? Uh, somewhat related, somewhere you mentioned that you always look for ways to accelerate the creation of TSW roots, how does it work and what results. So, um, how have we improved the way trees work? I'm the one person to ask. I, would, I should get you an answer to that question. Uh, I have no idea. Um, I know All I know is magic was involved. Uh, and it was part of the uh, the art team and the technical artists, I think, that uh, came up with a, uh, a very clever way of um, creating this asset, which was essentially one draw call for all of the trees instead of having one draw call per tree. Uh, and also does clever things with um, the alpha blending as well. So if you look at um, if you look at a tree, you can see that around the edge of the tree and in the middle of the tree, you can see through the tree. Uh, and that's the problem with one of the major challenges with trees is that if you get a tree with a tree with a tree with a tree layered, then you've got this whole problem with alpha blending which escalates rapidly the amount of processing time it needs to deal with it. Uh, and this solution for doing the trees that they came up with mitigates that as well. So it means you can place lots of trees without having all these draw calls, without having all these overdraw um, going on. So, But I don't know exactly how it works. Um, so I'm partly just waffling. Um, uh, always looking for ways to accelerate the creation of TSW roots. Just some of it is looking at the tools, watching people what do, uh, what, looking what people do. Um, I'm going to learn English at some point. Um, looking at how people use the tools in, on the team, and the people obviously that are, the team that are making the stuff are the best people to come back and say, I hate clicking that button forty thousand times. Can you make it so that I only have to click it once, please? Um, so the, the, they've got um, we've got a system whereby people can. The team members can actually say, "Can we have? A, can I request a tool improvement that means that I can do this quicker and that quicker? And 
and we, do we even need to do this anymore? Is this even relevant? Can we just drop this whole process out? So we're constantly trying to revise the process that way by listening to what the team members are saying, encouraging them to just not tolerate something which is inefficient in terms of process. Uh, and actually say, well, actually, no, this is the way it should work. This is what we want to do. Obviously, there's a, it takes time to actually um, develop some of these things, but we're trying to get through as much as we can, as fast as we can, in and amongst everything else. Um, and the tools already, as a result of this, have, have started um, evolving quite nicely for the team as well. Will we see pink headphones? I will go and get my headphones when it's my turn to drive this one. The cool thing, by the way, about Longmouth um, is it's the state. The, the formal name of the station, if you like, is Longmouth for, uh, for Anik, um, and that is because uh, Longmouth is just um, east of Anik. Uh, Anik Castle was Hogwarts in the first Harry Potter. The next station, for those who are wondering, is Acklington. There's no news on the editor at the moment, Michael, the um, hundred or so other people that have been asked about the editor. There's, there's nothing at the moment to um, talk about on the editor. When there is, we'll talk about it. Uh, Jamie Custard just saw your, saw your um, comment on Twitch, I don't know. Um, if you have a look on our website, um, there's the option to submit a speculative application. And I want the, the lovely people on the recruitment team will get back to Class 89 Yellow Duck isn't out yet, it comes out next Thursday. Dimitri? You should remember the word. No, I can't remember my name. I'm not supposed to remember numbers and things. 89 is next Thursday. Looks so good. Looks so good. What comes out this week, says Carl? No idea. The uh, you may remember I mentioned the coca before, that there was the river coca. Mm, no, I just think it's in high six. The route's not been touched as far as I'm aware. Not that uh, I'm Desi. aware of, I don't know, this is the Just Trains version of the route. Oh, Desi, sorry. Um, I believe it's just on high settings probably. Which I know if this route can change the Train APs. gaming, uh, when will the next optimization for TSW be? So the um, the Oakville route actually was uh, released a major optimization set up. I'd need to get on and finish a studio article I'm writing which talks about what actually happened in there. But essentially what it really involves is a really huge change to how the game handles multi threads, multi cores and so forth. Um, oh, would you look at it? Oh. Acklington. Yeah, the, the, the representation is sort of there. I've actually been to Acklington. Fun fact about Acklington, we used to have an RAF station nearby. Um, unfortunately, if you try to take off from that runway, you're going kind to of struggle because someone put a prison on the runway. That's true. I know, right? I just want to sort of land my plane. Is there a way to search through the asset list in TS Editor? No, I don't think there is, James. I don't think so. When is Matt's driving going to be optimised? Never, Moggy. <laughs> Some things can't be optimised. They are beyond ago. hope. Ooh, we're 25 seconds late. Can I, can I clean it and go back in on time? That's why I'm driving out the hood. Will the 89 have any more liveries other than the one presently shown? As far as I'm aware, it's just this livery, Mike. What is your pointless fact about Acklington, Moggy? Moggy is a specialist in pointless facts. Oh, the least you station of Thumbland, indeed, Eric. It's a request, the thing about searching the asset has just come up a number of times in the past years, so the team, the dev team are aware of it. We 
we're drinking to the next station. Paris to Milan. How long is that? You just said we're well, one hour fifteen minutes in with me driving without the hood and not not derailing yet. That's all I can safely kind of. This is Woodrington sidings. This is um, these are now disused, I believe, but these were here for the open cast mine. Are you not even in Newcastle? Nope, 124 miles. It's a big country. People believe the country ends at Newcastle. It's quite a good country. London to Beijing. It's a fair haul, Rob. It's a fair haul. I mean, yeah. Even a 64 bit and a 64 gigabyte RAM PC, are you gonna have enough memory for that? <laughs> Make the problem because you only have a load of memory at the time. I suppose not. Disk space, however. Lol. Um, that, 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 is a, that is a good fact there, Logan. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, weather in the north is miserable. Hello, 91. So, through that cap, I can't turn the speed on the road back up. So, we're drinking that, I can't turn it. That's 105. We'll go to 110 again. No 125 running this, um, between here and Newcastle now. It's slightly annoying to see using the speed set brake at a cafe. Um, see you live. I'll stop at Morpeth. You're welcome to take over. I'm waiting. Um, I, I won't. I'm not driving that section. <laughs> Eddie's only driving as far as Newcastle. I'm getting off at Newcastle and I'm other, off at Other victims will be driving the other bits. <laughs> Uh, railway crossings, Lithuania. So this route, I, I don't actually know what tra trains, trains come in the pack with it. This is um, just trains product, um, and you can get it on their website. This is um, the Newcastle to Edinburgh line. From memory, this is a fairly old just trains route. So it was a Kuju reskin um, on the 166, and uh, an East Coast reskin for the class 43. Do we get to meet the infamous Ed? No, 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 no. Ed is in the chat. So you can introduce yourself to Ed on the chat. I would love for Ed to come down here and we could do a stream. That would be amazing. Ed, make it so. This is Butterwell Opencast, the other <laughs> drinking for the Opencast. We're now approaching Pagets, we're nailing at Morpeth. Morpeth Calf, as they say. Also sent up the chat and there's a bit of a track to do about any. Huh? More puts in the wrong way. Hint, hint, see if you like. Um, right, we need to drop the speed there. Right? So we're now approaching the station. Uh, Croon, where is this engine situated in real life? I believe it's at the Barrow Hill Museum. That's where the AC Loco Group are based. No, Ed, if you were to come down here, I'd put you in front of something like the Super D. Put you to, and get you to drive one of your own evil scenarios, <laughs> and then I probably beat you over the head with balloons and pop them and do things like that. He made the scenario. I believe that's actually no, that's the. Ed made an absolutely cracking scenario with the Super D that I have yet to actually get to the, the first bit. You well, you start off with almost nothing in the tank, and you've got to get to this, or get the train to this first bit, so that you can top up with water. I got that. <laughs> and that's the first four to five minutes of the scenario, or something. It's Pegswood Station back then. Nothing particularly remarkable to this. To see if Pegswood have been there. This is really getting quite close to my home territory. Now. Uh, Dylan, uh, Ellie is using keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using mainly the mouse. Um, I've been AWS again. I should have got my headset. I was trying to be sleek and professional. Should have got my headset. Well, at least we won't overspeed going through Morpeth, and I get to, to, to talk about Morpeth a bit more. The second part, you run out of call. Ed, you're just evil! 
This river here's the ones back. For, for anyone who may have been interested. Oh, you weren't. Oh, well. <laughs> Dimitri, I have, I have just the costume for Matt to wear for the next stream. You may need to get a first day there in there. I'm going to try taking a cat for the box. Claws at 12. <laughs> Fifty now for going around the Morpeth Curve. So Morpeth Curve is the oh, tightest. Boilers. It's not that bad. What are you implying? Um, Morpeth Curve, though, t uh, is the tightest curve on the East Coast Mainline proper. There's the one. Uh, is it Horsforth? I think it's Horsforth. It's quite a tight curve, but that's not really the East Coast Mainline. Now, I, I'm my all right in thinking Morpeth Curve is where the name for Morpeth boards come from as a result of a certain accident. You would be right in believing that. And, and it, just after the accident happened, they decided that the, that the Morpeth Curve speed change wasn't enough to put Morpeth boards in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, so, yes, we've got these Morpeth loops coming up. Um, yeah, we sit this. Morpeth Station for me is really special. Um, this is where I used to train spot a lot. And when I came to, uh, when I came to move down here, this is where I got the train from. So this is where this crazy adventure started. Mm. That's the line onto the Blythe and Time lines. Um, the other spur comes and joins us. We've got the... Uh, Kind of walked across this crossing. What's our destination distance now? About 60 70 17 miles. Not, not Almost bad. there. I'm going on to. I don't have plan for that one either. <laughs> uh, Tasmania, will the new German route have new trains to drive on TSW? So the new German route includes the 422, which is the same as the one that you had in Rhinelaw Austin, but it adds the BR 425. Uh, on regional express services. You can see again, this is a very similar building to the NER station building I mentioned earlier. Standing here when 91s come through, or even freight trains. My favourite place is, this is the best place to train spot from by the way. Because you can see the signal so you know when trains are going northbound. And you can hear the crossing so you know when trains are going southbound. You get a really nice view of 91s coming around here. As you can see, I like 91s. <laughs> so I've got the one ten that comes in. Got a little bit of wait until that gets past. Give it beans. is again, again I'm coming up to a place called Stannington Station. Um, in my high school, in, if we're in one of the classrooms, I, I, I've got a clear memory of looking up and seeing a, it must have been a 91 heading northbound next to any delivery. So I'm seeing the white stripe on the side heading northbound of this, oh, not this section, I'd love it to the south. But this is, that's it, really special for me, this area. Train coming north. 156. The best train. There you go, Pete. It's class 89. Bad job. Clifton Crossing. Can Matt sing us a song? Matt can not sing us a song. Can sing us a song of the piano the, the, the man? No. <laughs> The, you know, it doesn't work. Insurance the doesn't man. cover the damage to everyone's ears. <laughs> Again, standing at the station. Um, many, many hours spent at this crossing. Uh, train gaming, what graphics card is this? I can't remember. I want to say it's possibly a 970, but I might also be lying. I don't actually know. It's not high-end. None of this machine is high-end anymore. It was high-end when it was originally bought, but it hasn't been, it hasn't been updated in quite a long time. It 
it's not Matt that's missing it, it's me that's missing it. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Matt's, oh, yeah, Matt's anyway. no hands, I <laughs> um, There's no... I'm just judging. I'm just here to judge. There shouldn't be any more puff boards now until South of Hamilton. Why did Ellie keep getting stopped? Uh, mm -hmm. Because um, she doesn't have sound a headset on, so she can't hear the alarm going off. Yeah, so if I'm looking over that, I've got two and a half seconds to look back and spot that this is lit up. If I don't spot that, we're getting emergency stop. And that is the Blythe, that's Plessy Woods, an ancient wood on the way. Now that's just the uniform, isn't it, Morgan? The pink 2 2 and combat boots. That's a junction. We need some streams of steam engines. We do, and Matt will be driving, not me. <laughs> I love steam engines. I, I, I like them, I just can't drive them. <laughs> Matt misses it even with sound. Thanks, CG Lloyd. Thanks. You're not wrong, but I didn't get when I was dropping emergent when I was dropping German things. I didn't get emergency start. I mean, I did score about negative two and a half thousand in the scenario. That's fine. That's a good score. <laughs> That's a good score. I remember one German scenario. I got one hundred and sixty thousand negative. Because I misread the signal, and, then, <laughs> and I missed the fact that I was doing 160, and it told me at my next signal I should probably bring 60. So I blew into the 60, doing 160. Cromlington Station, once again I've actually lived in Cromlington. My first spot for 37 from this platform. My aunt and uncle live here. Oh, my mother. Hello, 66. Shed hype! Just be able to put a lot of things for to put in an open case rotation. Lord Winter, glad you're enjoying TSW. Very much appreciate. Thank you for that feedback. Yeah, all of my failures on my streams uh, and on these streams are entirely the viewers' fault. I'm just just putting it out there. It's so can all my failures be your fault? What? <laughs> Uh, Speedy Pete, the Class 89 is next Thursday. As is the... Um, everybody's saying it next Thursday. Uh, so now I don't have to remember the dates, because everyone else remembers them. Um, so Class 89 is next Thursday. No, yeah, yeah. Next Thursday. Uh, the MP15 DC for Train Sim World is next Thursday. And the Hubstrap for Ryan Raw is the following Wednesday. But the pre-order for Alps Trekker Rain Roy is up now. I've got to say, like, the amount of, like, I'm sitting here, like, driving this, and my arm match got go and save. Like, this is an endurance run. It is an endurance This run. well and truly is the long distance challenge. Except we change the drivers four times, so. Well, a driver relief at Newcastle isn't implausible. Yeah, the caps is swaying, but I, I would point out that some of that could be coming from the route. Uh, you should try and get the Mallard to 126 miles per hour. That would make a good challenge. Yes, it would indeed. Um, so, little, little, um, uh, little quiz for everybody. Uh, when the Mallard broke the world speed record and got up to 126 miles an hour, it broke the second world record as well. What was the second world record? That broke? I actually don't know that. No, no, most of them don't. It's, it's almost entirely forgotten. And yet, it's one of the most significant things that affects modern rails, uh, modern railways, and how they are designed. It saved millions, if not billions. I'm going to just look in the chat, and then as soon as I see, um, as soon as I see a response, oh, is it that one? Shortest stopping distance from 126 miles per hour. So the whole point of that test was to see how fast they could stop 125 mile an hour train because they wanted they were, they were the speed limits at the time were 100 miles per hour and they wanted to know if they brought trains up to 125 would they have to make the signals further apart so that they would be able to still stop trains on sighting distances and this was a test run of, uh, in part by Westinghouse uh, and they were testing a new braking system, a quick release brake or something like that and so they, um, as soon as they got it up and they hit the, the 
the point because one of the things that it's criticized everyone who criticizes this for is well they hit 126 miles per hour going downhill that was the point the point was at the worst possible moment going as fast as you can slam the brakes on and how fast can you bring that thing down assuming you just saw there was a red in front of you and if you look at the speed graph you can see it dives down and what that meant was they did not have to re-signal railways to bring them and allow them to go up to 125 miles an hour. And the results of that test affected railways around the world. Why well, have I got a dual amber cameras going? That shouldn't be there. I may have to stab you at some point. I am just breaking down quite drastically because I'm not sure what the where I'm gonna get affected next. No, Ellie doesn't drive with a HUD on, but I'm completely huh? hooked on HUD, I can't live without the HUD. 158! HUD! 3 car 158 though, oof, it's only If you emergency stop the train at that speed though, you'll throw your passengers or cargo around and may not be very happy. No, the point was, could they do it in an emergency essentially? If they saw the signal and they, and they needed to stop to, to in, in advance of a red light, could they do it? Because there wasn't confidence they could. And the di distances between signals, the reason that the distance is where it is, is based on how fast a train can stop. And if, when you see the signal, you, um, you slow down for it, can you stop in time? And that's what controls the distance between them. Um, so to get trains to go faster, they might have needed to make the signals far, uh, further apart. So yeah, I did bring the speed back a little on the other side there. That was just because I had those signals and didn't know what I was going into. So it's always better to, it's better to be safe than what happens. So we're now, uh, we're now going through Biker, which is Biker Grove. Oh, just to watch that. Yep, that was around these parts. It's not the nicest part of Newcastle, but it's here. I was going to say, is there a nice part of Newcastle, but I like it. I mean, I'm not from Newcastle, so I can't say that we're not from Newcastle. <coughs> the two. My mum is a Macon. Well, she's not Jordan, she's a Macon. My rating of nice. It's best. It was already really low. This is the Ooseburn. Really nice. That done it again. Come back, game. Every, yeah, and that is the um, the Eastburn Viaduct for the Tidewater Metro. So you've got the turn back sidings <laughs> for the Metro here. So when they bring the trains down from Gosford Depot, they go down the old uh, line that would that when um, line mainline trains used to run to Gosford, uh, they, they go down that line uh, through uh, Manor Station for the Metro. And the reverse here to get into St James. Yeah, again, sort of a little on, on, yeah, on the safe side, but yeah. And we'll do to 40 for a bit. Why am I not safe 30? I think, again, the, perfor the performance of the train's been. The, 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 we're on a newer version to what I was voting this on. Um. Benji, the tenor. Ben, Benry? Benry. I think it is. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I butchered your name there. The tenor we are met from Jen was brilliant. There's everyone from Newcastle. Again, I've uh, got Pilgrim Street we're crossing over now. There's the Tyne Bridge. Yep. I've got 20 foot for now. We come in at the station approaches. a little bit of a cautious arrival there, but again, better to, to be a little bit on the slow side, especially since the handling, yeah, the handling for that has changed a lot. That's stopping a lot better than it was. <coughs> yeah, the single land we'll be stopping on half 
one four. Look at that. I think that's number so it was two, three, four. Platform layout at Newcastle is bonkers. Last time I went to Newcastle was for a virtual reality conference. Oh, cool. Surprised I had to go in there for a VR conference. <laughs> It was the first VR conference, so no one had, no one had, there wasn't VR, much VR. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll have to give you that one. Get that coaster in. I think that's one of my favourite stations on the East Coast. A lot of my favourite stations on the East Coast, that's what it is. So, um, so, th so those of you who know the song The Blade and Races, um, they, um, Mind blank. Mind blank to come back to me. Did you actually have a GG there? You've got some GGs. My life's complete. Mind you, I can still fail it now. I can still go through this red signal. <laughs> One of the benefits of having four different scenarios is it's not a problem. <laughs> There you go folks, that was Edinburgh to Newcastle. Get a round of GG's for Ellie. Brilliantly driven. It is we outro. Cool little fact. My last place of work before I moved down to start a dovetail was pretty much where these offices are now. I'm um, actually a little bit further away, so sort of over there. But my goal on the Saturday was always to come in, be first, so I had a view of the train line. And I could train spot all day. Nice. Thank you very much for the GG's folks. Got a request to fly case. around the station a bit. So, um, <coughs> 158 in. I think this is the old. You did not cut. Flip's desk. Oh, I'm now going to stop. We got to Newcastle, no one died. I've got my celebra celebratory Greg sausage roll from the, from the, the, the uh, Greg's at the station. So I will see you guys later. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ellie. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Right. right. Yeah. Let me just um, put it over on the uh, on the chat thingy um, for a minute. Right. Oh. Right. I'm going to just give the game a a quick cycle. I am going to shut my laptop down and I'm going to move outside and oh. appear in the chat momentarily. Right. I'm going to. Change this to. Oh no, I won't mess with that. Okay. Evening, Dex. How's it going? Full screen, Matt. And full screen, Dimitri. Hello. It's Dimitri, folks. Dimitri said he wanted to drive this leg, so I said, if you want to drive. Noob alert. I have no idea what I'm doing. Disclaimer. Oh, Dimitri, I'll, um, I'll get you my notes. You can drive without the hood if you want. Um, next time. What does everyone want? What do you What do you folks want? Do you want Dimitri to drive or do you want Matt to drive? Dimitri. <laughs> Matt. Dimitri. Matt. Dimitri. Well, I'll have to be driving anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, I mean, I'm just taking it into account your advanced age, Matt. Oh <laughs> so if you want to like chill out, relax, and just look at the chat, it's about fifty-fifty actually. So that means Dimitri. Do you wanna play, no, it's uh, not about 50 50 actually. Do you wanna play uh, rock, paper, scissors and decide who's driving then? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors seems like the official way to do this. I, I oh, we we'll want some audio as well, probably. I will stand just out of shot and adjudicate that no one is cheating. Yeah. <laughs> do you want, can you go and grab my headphones for me? I can actually, yes. Thank you, Kill. So, Come on then. So, you? You driving? Yeah, okay. I'll drive. Ugh. Easy, Matt is younger than Moggy. Yeah, yeah, I know, you, but you're really old, Moggy. Sorry. <laughs> Matt is better up. than Dimitri. I, I agree with that. Matt is much better than Dimitri. Oh, I disagree with it's that. Just, it's actually. just a different Dimitri we're talking about. Oh, nice one. I'm going to sit like really close to you to make, make you as uncomfortable as possible as well. Someone of tea duty. Do you want, would you like a tea? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. We have a minute if you want to go and make a cup of tea. 
If you want, I can do that. How strong do you like it? With milk? With milk, please. As it comes. Dimitri's making tea! I have never got a cup of tea off Dimitri! Full credit to you. You guys, that was your idea. Dylan Heaton, I salute you, sir. Right, we're doing uh, Newcastle to York now. So this is the um, Darren Porter leg. Have a beer. No, I don't drink. <laughs> Alcohol and me don't mix. Does Dimitri know how to make tea? Of course he does, Moggy. Of course he does. Nearly there. Part two. East Coast, Main Line, North East. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and get started because otherwise we'll be here all night. <clears throat> I can't really see the chat particularly easily from sitting over here though, so uh, you'll get more interaction once Dimitri comes back. Have an iron brew. So now there's an idea, Dex. I didn't remember to bring the iron brew with me. I'd have to try and remember some iron brew for the next stream. Proper driver's tea stirred with a BR number one key. There you go. <laughs> headset delivery. Oh, headset. Thank you. Well, I need now as well, Dimitri to figure out where to plug it in. I'm going to take my celebratory sausage roll in. Yep. Go on, Pierre, on the chat. The man who comes with, uh, with, with tea, and hopefully he knows where to plug this. Yeah, good. I, I only really wanted to show off my cup, my, my tea mug. Oh, straight out of Crompton. No one has the one like that. And you get a normal DTG one. I get a normal DTG one, but they're, they're the best. Probably want to change the screen so you guys can see. The number of times on my stream, I've been playing for 20 minutes, and all the chat is just saying, can you please turn it back so that we can see it? <laughs> it's sitting on the please wait screen. Because uh, severe lack of chocolate digestives, yeah. Absolutely. It's just incredible. Yeah, we've got some uh, Pringles in here. We, we we don't really make a lot of DG mugs recently. I think everyone who joins the company gets one um, eventually um, as they're closing their probation period. At least okay. that. According to this, we don't have an audio output on this machine. Okay, I guess AWS is just going to be uh, winging it. Well, I mean, we kind of need to fix it. Let me find that little cable in the middle. Bear with us a minute, folks. I'm just going to put it back on the on this screen because the game is frozen at the moment while I'm doing this anyway. Oh! Oh. You got sound? No, I have sound. Suddenly there's an extra option up here. Now, will the game use this though? I might have forgot to restart the game. <clears throat> yeah, so as I said, if, if you want your uh, tea bag here, yeah. I think it's, it's good enough. It's strong enough. There's no such thing as tea that's strong enough. You can stand your, set your spoon up in it. It's like three spoon. minutes. It's three minutes. It should be three minutes. I do leave the uh, tea bag sometimes a little bit longer though, if I want to cause more energy. Oh. Are you still setting everything up? The, the, the game is misbehaving. I don't think it liked things being plugged in. So, uh, let me just, just turn it off. <sighs> I 
can hear game audio. Yeah, you probably fun. could, but um, I couldn't get the game to come back up, so. There for some fans running there. You love the headphones, do speedy Pete? I know, I'm sporting the top in fashion. Right, let's try this again. With style. Yeah, so as I said, everyone who's joining the company will get their own uh, their own um, mug with their name and DG logo. But I don't know if they, if they still do it. I think they do. And we've got some leftover uh, mugs from people who left the company. And uh, yeah, some of these mugs have been used for many, many years, I think. I've got one, but I've had a better one. I have a better one now, so I don't need it. I'll show it once again, just in case. I said straight out of Crompton, no one said anything. I think, I'm guessing you're just, but just, ugh. This, this tea is thanks to Dylan for inspiring Dimitri to make a cup of tea. And also thanks to Dimitri. That's fine, Matt. This is the least I can do for you. The game's loading, it's coming back. Everyone, keep the faith. Oh, I just saw Sam. Sam is joining us today as well. Pink headphones. Yeah, what do you guys think of the 89 so far? I've only been looking with the side of my eye, really. I haven't had a chance to properly check it out. Thankfully, it's Matt who is driving it right now. I'm looking forward to a drive. I've only had a brief drive of it so far, just to test the scenarios. Yeah, sorry, Spoon was there to take out the tea bags. so... Spoon is a nickname for a train. Oh. Okay. Well, Spoon is still there anyway. I know, but they want, they want to see a rat in your drink. A rat? Yeah. Why a rat? It's name for another type of train that looks like that. Stop dropping the, all this train's knowledge on me. At, uh, seven, I'm turning you into a train enthusiast, whether you want to or not. I am. A train our, our goal is to turn this man into a train enthusiast. I am a train enthusiast. It's just that there is so much knowledge; it's difficult to know. Everything. Proper train enthusiast. You're not a proper train enthusiast until you're sitting on the platform, waiting to just use the train to go out somewhere with your mates, and the train rocks up, and you say, without even thinking about it, "Ooh, that's a different livery for a three seven seven." That's also the moment where your friends generally walk away mm. quietly and yeah. pretend they don't know who you are. But that's their loss, frankly. I mean, if that's the case, normally, you wouldn't have any friends a priori. Because like, if, if you've had friends for like 10 years, for example, and then suddenly they realize that you're a proper train fan, that just doesn't happen in real life. They probably would know in no, advance. No, they would. Get the lad watching bashers, absolutely, Mike. You're not getting a game audio through, are you? I'm going to wait until it's finished loading before I confuse it by clicking on something. Yeah, there should be no um, game audio, or should there be, actually? Yeah, yeah you, you, you get the, um, yeah. the train running noises yeah, yeah, in the background. Yeah, random sounds, yeah. Uh, what do you mean, EC? No? No sound? Still not capturing the desktop sound. Uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Great job, Matt. Right, we're in business. I didn't spill anything. Right, new cars. Yeah, that looks good. I like the model a lot. It's yeah, nice. it's really, really nice. Captures a lot of the nice the detail of the 89. Is there a field of view set up? This seems good. Seems a bit different from the normal setting, I guess. Are you going to be driving with the um, cruise control? I don't believe in cruise control. 
Cruise control equals cheating. Uh, we can see the train. Oh, you probably want to do that. Screen. See, I did, did, it's not the first time this has happened. So, all this time they were just looking at us. Yep, they were just looking at us and our happy faces. Can you see, his, can you see it now? Have a good one, Speedy Pete. In the park. Cheers, Pete. AV 10 out of 10. Waiting for my right away. Just make sure the light's on. Dylan, can we have the train? You can have the train next Thursday. Next Thursday. How's that sound? Probably going to be between 2 and 6 p.m. Uh, in the UK. I'm not entirely sure what time exactly it will be. Yep, yeah, this is the DPS, uh, Darren Porter uh, version of, uh, or upgrade of the uh, ETML Newcastle to York route. You can get this on Steam Workshop, as long as you've got the base route, the Newcastle to York route. This is from Darren Porter's, uh, I think he's got another version on his own website, but the, this is the version that's on Steam Workshop. Yeah. Don't forget, so it releases next week on Thursday, which is the same day when um, the MP1540 SW releases as well. Um, yeah, same day, and uh, we'll be showing both the MP15. We'll be showing MP15 this Friday, two days from now, 48 hours from now, roughly. Um, we'll be we'll also will be part part of the March Madness stream, so we'll have um, a schedule. But the very first thing in the program will be uh, indeed MP15 stream, and there will be some more fun stuff after that. I can't even remember now what we're doing. Fun stuff. Yeah, I think sums stuff. it up. I think we're gonna we've got some wackiness planned. Definitely, yeah. It's it's like driving blind but worse. Which is basically me, another way of saying putting me in charge. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. <laughs> yeah, and um, HRR will be shown on uh, a day after that on the, on a Saturday. Um, as well will be the first thing in the whole program, but it will be a slightly longer stream because obviously it's rude, not the locomotive, so a little bit more to show. So I think Camp CG Live is this yours? Is, was this one? Is this your scenario as well? So just a reminder, folks, of what we're doing. Um, we started in Edinburgh and we're driving. We drove on the Just Trains Edinburgh to. Newcastle. We're now on Darren Porter's um, Newcastle to York, um, and this is um, CG Live's. Uh, yeah, this is CG Live's scenario. Um, we're driving the Class 89 Badger uh, on there, which is coming out next Thursday. After this, we will be driving uh, from York to Peterborough on the Creative Rail um, Peterborough York Modern, and then after that, we'll be doing the final leg from Peterborough into London Kings Cross. Yep. Shout out to Just Trains for um, letting us use their route, and yes. um, for, to shout out to Alan Thompson as well for cooperation. Although we didn't really use the merger exactly the way we wanted it, we um, did want to use the merger, but unfortunately we weren't able to um, get that um, the way we wanted to. But um, no, do uh, do go and use the uh, if you, yeah. If, if you, you want, want to use the merger without any breaks in your route, um, go to Alan Thompson's website and um, find that it's part of the subscription. Thing. So yeah. yeah. There are many other benefits they have to, uh, to their subscription, so it's um, definitely worth it. Hey, to to see him. Nice to see you. Yeah, you can post a link, sure. I like this bit coming out of Newcastle because of the way that the two lines are at different heights. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting. It's different. Yeah, I've, I've been in Newcastle traveling from Edinburgh a couple of times. I think to York actually. No, I think it wasn't York. Yeah, I think it was York. And uh, I found the architecture quite cool in there, at least around the train station. It's like a little bit elevated if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it, it does look really cool. You're off bed rest now, 82. That's good to hear. Brony, what was your question? I was 
the weather in Newcastle today. It was great. Well, it's not raining, so I'm considering that a win. Yeah, the weather in Chatham has been quite, quite sound the past couple of days, actually, especially yesterday. You can feel the spring getting in there already. The cats uh, in my, uh, in my, in my neighbourhood started screaming again, no. which, which indicates that the time is coming. The problem with them, the only time when they are not screaming is like December to February. So it seems it's spring for them all the time, really. Right, pulling up to the 100 miles per hour, then we get the 115 shortly. The next station is Durham in 11 miles. How does it feel driving this? It's nice. Nice. <coughs> nice. Is that, there is a phone over there, can you call? No. No? No, I can't. It's just because it's you, I don't want to. No. They told me not to let you talk to them anymore. No, after, no, no, after I, that I, last I'm time. I'm okay with not talking. If you call someone, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I think eventually Train Simulator 2020 should be ported to Android, and I fully delegate this um, task to Matt. Honorable task. Some shed action going on over there. I do like the sheds. Everyone loves them. Tine yard over there. I don't really know my geography. Like I said, I'm near trees. That's where we are. To grab my phone, just want to check our um, schedule. Give me a second. Oh yes, we are doing, everyone should come to the stream on Friday, not only because of the MP15 stream, also because Matt is doing something cool. Yes, we're not going to say what, but it's, this is basically the aforementioned wacky. Yeah, entertaining. It, it's going to be nuts, frankly, yeah. but hugely fun. Exactly. Getting ready for it, I've had so much fun. And Friday, um, sorry, Saturday, as I mentioned, for HRR and then PZB Challenge. So. Now, no, we don't have to wait uh, for Friday for the Ice Bucket Challenge. If what? Matt's, if Matt's up. Who we said anything about Ice Bucket Challenge? If No, this uh, well, Dex Vinyl said Ice Bucket Challenge, lol. And, I, and I'm saying we don't have to wait until Friday. So if you volunteer. No, if you want to do that now, you, you, you go know, ahead. If you yeah. volunteer. You like like what you, you like the wacky stuff, right? You just said yourself. So stream on Friday. What time? Um, it will start at seven p.m. Um, GMT. So um, giving everyone plenty of time to come back from, from work. Well, if you are in Europe, and yeah, seven p.m. GMT, which is. Um, 8 p.m. in Germany and uh, 9 p.m. in Estonia. That's all I can tell you. Uh, Don Wibley, um, there are people that read them. I go in there every now and again and read them, but um, there are definitely people here that do read those some um, suggestions. My God, why are you talking about Sprinter? Ice cubes damaged the trousers. What is what wrong with you? You first, Sprinter. When I can't read what JP coming out. It's coming out next Thursday. Next Thursday is coming out at 9. Next Thursday. Thursday I next. I partly want to ask what JP's written and partly I don't. I can't see it because it's purple on dark blue. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But I've been practicing for the PCB challenge. The, the idea of the, PC, of, of the PCB challenge, I'm gonna let these guy, this guy, or maybe some other guys, randomly choose the Transform World um, loco and route for me to drive with PCB on. So the random service um, as well to make it as, as challenging as it is possible for you, uh, for, for me. Um, I really hope you guys don't choose, I don't know. I actually don't mind any, anything really. I've been practicing, practicing slightly, just rehearsing my skills recently. I think spatted once in about 10 runs, so it's okay. How do you spat when you got PZB? No, I didn't spat. Um, well, yeah, stop that PZB. But only once, because I've miscalculated. I thought my um, I was driving a freight train. I thought my my um, speed on the uh, thousand uh, hertz limit was seventy five, seventy no seventy five, but it was seventy. And I went to like seventy one. The RFB. <coughs> But yeah, they will have a random um, choice of a random loco and random route, and I'll have to deal with it. We should make sure we come up with something devious and evil, folks. They should. Oh, yes. Practice is akin to cheating. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, it's Durham. That's not Nebworth, so we need to stop here. Yeah. Looks like you have decent time. Right or rather distance for the stoppage. How are the brakes doing? Decent. Decent. You like them? We'll see if we manage to stop. That's a good point. Oh, HST. Yeah, we're driving to London. We've just left uh, Newcastle about five, ten minutes ago. On our way to York, and then Peterborough, and then King's Cross, London. So yeah, long night before us. Um, I don't think it's pro DLC um, sprinter, I, I don't think it is. I can check. Right, welcome to Durham. Doesn't the wheat for pasta come from here? Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be pro range. As I said, unfortunately, or fortunately, don't know. Let's get some people's ons and offs. Then we can make our way down to where we're going now. Darlington. Darlington. You love this place, don't you? Maybe we should have hopped off and got into the time machine. And then take a 101 to yeah. uh, Middlesbrough. Do you have a time machine? No. no? My time machine's broken. Yeah. I used it too much. Not enough QA. QA was fine. But for those that this is the Darren Porter route, it actually does include the line over to Middlesbrough. So uh, so this is part of the Tees Valley route, uh, over as far as you've got the Tyne Yard here. 
or tees yard, sorry, here, and you've got the Middlesbrough there. So, so there's something you can actually you can actually do that bit on this route. Man, you broke your time machine by going back in time for cheaper Jaffa cakes and iron brew. Yeah. Is that what actually it's a true story? Yeah. True story. I just kept going back, get some more, bring them forward, go back, get some more, bring them forward. What actually happened was that I, I, I eliminated the modern day supply of Jaffa cakes by taking by stealing them from the past. I can't Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I really don't I don't really like Jaffa cakes, actually. Jaffa cakes are lovely. But you're not perfect, so this is fine. We're accepting. Here. Well, I don't like Iron Brew either. Okay, that's too far. It's too much. It's really like I don't know. I, don't know. I used to much. like it when I was. Uh, I can't relate to you anymore. You know, we actually had it back home, and I was like, oh, man. I remember drinking it was like nine years old, eight years old. So it's been very popular around the world, I believe. Mm. Oh yeah. Just in the UK. I really liked it back in the day. You need to try proper Scottish Iron Brew in Scotland, though, from the the, the um, dispenser. Somehow it tastes so uh, much well, better. Uh, well, they, well, they had them all, all over the city I lived in. Everywhere. So you just want a little, a little bit of iron brew. Anytime. <coughs> oh, yeah, that explains it. The GP explained it for you. Is it deep fried and battered? No, it's not a Mars bar, Danny. Have you tried that? No, I've never tried a I bar, have. a deep fried pack of bars bar. You have. You have? Yes. It's good, isn't it? Yes. Well, okay. It, it's okay. It was a stone heaven, I think. It, it, yeah, it, it's, it's nice. It's nice. The, 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 um, the rain wasn't nice. Unfortunately, it was really windy. It was, it was February. February in Scotland is just... Yeah, my favorite will be I don't I think Dr Pepper probably. Oh, I do like Dr Pepper. Yeah. Although I don't really drink a lot of soda generally. Twenty miles to Darlington. We just left Durham, heading south, continuing our journey towards London King's Cross. This leg will take us to York. Deep fried Twinkies? See, no, that's hard to see. I've tried right. Twinkies, I didn't like them at all. Twinkies used to be good, and yeah, then they the changed film. the recipe and made them not good. Yeah, they really felt, I don't know, they didn't feel natural to me. I, I don't know, just. Well, no, there's definitely nothing natural about a Twinkie. I mean, let's just be really clear here. There's nothing natural about a Twinkie. Yeah, but. What that doesn't had, stop them tasting good, though. It wasn't there for me. No, the modern, they, they changed the recipe and they made them all weird. Yeah, it's really windy up there. So this um, graph speed, this is just the leg from um, Newcastle here uh, down to York here. This isn't the merge route. This is just the uh, the first, uh, the second leg of the journey. So since we're at it, Matt, what is your favourite post uh, launch snack? I don't know, pizza. The pizza can be post launch snack. Well, the number of times that we've done a launch. No, lunch, I mean. Oh, lunch, I thought you said launch. No, well, it's just my poor pronunciation. I don't know, I try not to have snacks between lunch and dinner. I, no, fail, so have I fail miserably. After but dinner. Yeah, I have all my snacks after dinner, yeah. Yeah, after launch, what was the latest that you had to stay? Don't know. I mean, we've done all sorts of different things in the past. Like, for example, when, because uh, I was the producer for TS 2014, and uh, what we did with TS with that one was, and which, which was something similar to what we'd done previously, is we arranged for 
um, shifted 24 hour support so we had someone in the office mm -hmm. looking at support at least one person usually there was two um, looking at the support um, email address and looking at social media so that yeah. for, for about three or four days after the launch went out we were just making sure everyone's game was good and so I did two or three of those shifts and they were great fun Oh, How many fun. people did you have in the office back then in the company, I guess, in general? I don't remember. Probably more like sort of 50 or 60. Oh, so it's not too small, the office here. But that was when we were in uh, the TS 2014, we were in the observatory over the other side. Yeah. Oh my god. Blowing East Coastway, British Ace. Excellent. Is it set a couple of years ago? Essentially, yeah, because of the um, the way that the licensing has gone a bit strange on that route. We've sort of set it. I mean, the trains don't really look any different, so um, but it's not 100% modern day, but near enough. What would it take for this to be available on console? Uh, a miracle. Uh, Zeji. It's just the way that Tier uh, Train Simulator 2020 is developed, it's been developed since, uh, well, no, for more than probably about 13 years now it's been uh, in de actual development, even prior to release. Um, and it, consoles were just never factored into how this would work, because at the, you know, back when this game was um, being developed, no one even dreamed you'd even want a simulator on consoles. Which has since been proven to be incredibly false. Um, but um, that's why sort of the game doesn't really, um, it's not really been coded to support it. So you'd have to start again that's kind of where Trends in World comes from. This is from the times of, you know, guys, PlayStation 2, really. Yeah. Oh, well, hello. Well, kind of PlayStation 3 was already around the corner at the time, but, you know, still, you know, we're uh, on the verge of getting PS5 now, so. Why do you keep doing that? Just leave it on. It drives me nuts. And they're clicking away in the background. Twelve and a half miles. Decent speed you're going. 106, 105. Yeah, guys, for those um, who might not have heard of this, um, we go to... Um, Usually, we we'll go to a London Festival of Railway Modeling every March. Alexandra Palace, you may yes. know it better as. So some people have, have seen us there and we usually sh you know, shout about it on social media. It's next weekend, isn't it? I think so. It, it would be. But well, uh, the show isn't cancelled. Uh, we're not going to it. Yeah, we're not going to it. The show isn't cancelled, so it's up to you if you want to go there. But we're not going, unfortunately. Which is a shame. Yeah, I was looking forward to that. Because we don't really go to many shows, really, um, throughout the year. We'll only go to two shows. Um, we're only in this, in Ali Pali, and this, this one at Wars Council, so... Yeah. For us, at least. You can still go. But take certain precautions, of course. What route is used for the scenarios coming with the 89? That I don't know the answer to. Maybe Dimitri does. Um, which route? Uh, London Peterborough, yes. It's London Peterborough, yeah. is it? Okay. Coasting at 1.15 now. You're doing great now. I would say. It's because I'm powered by this amazing cup of tea. It does give you power, doesn't it? Good cup of tea solves all problems. It really does. It does. I've never, well, I've never been into tea all that much previously. But I recently realised that it's just such a nice um, beverage, really. It checks multiple boxes. Yeah, real life, <coughs> the 89 coming back into service is uh, definitely going to be a good thing, I think. <coughs> Are they doing that, actually? 
Because there's only two of them. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've only mm -hmm. built two prototypes. I think. Back in the day, at least. The day to nine. Yeah. Certainly, only one of them made on the rails, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Here be in rail tours, Joe. It's a t it's the electric tornado. <laughs> Seven miles to Dallo. Eighty-five limit coming up. Yeah, another release will um, TS20 release we'll be seeing very soon is the Lake Constance by River Games. Um, this was announced, I think, last week, and um, yeah, it's coming very soon, I think two weeks from now. But um, good idea I can give you is to follow River Games' um, Twitter account, because they post a lot of updates about it. They'll, there's going to be a few dev vlogs, um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, just screenshots and real life videos, facts, uh, things like that, so um, yeah, follow them. If you are into Swiss stuff in TS20, looking very promising. The Badger, folks. Dynamic weather is part of TSX, uh, TS1, um, um, Rob. AP just uses that functionality. Yeah, why is it called a badger mod? Because of how it looks. It's the nose shape, I think, is what they're getting at. There are really good re re particularly great reasons why trains have these odd names. Yeah, which one is your favourite? I don't know. No shape and the black and white colour, there you go. Fair enough. The 89 will be coming on to Steam uh, next Thursday, um, Cadden. He, remember he remembers it now. Matt can answer your question without asking me. Yep. Eventually it does go in. <coughs> Do you know why um, 153 is called in both words? I think it's because of how delightfully lovely it looks. It basically looks like a kennel. I mean, most nicknames are not given for, for polite and pleasant reasons. Hence the 47 being called the Duff. Boxes because of the small cabs, as I think. What's a Duff class forty seven? But well, you've got the body snatcher, which is the fifty seven, because it's the, it's the body of a forty seven, but with entirely new innards put inside it. Of course, you probably need to know what the film about the film Body Snatchers to totally grasp that, but hopefully you can get it. <sighs> 101s are called boggies. The Jog Split Screen Challenge would be a good time. Yeah, that was excellent. Do you want to do one mini talk soon? Maybe for sure. any of the upcoming streams? Yeah. We should do a PCB challenge. PCB Split Screen Challenge. He's Blind, a blindfold, Split blindfold, Screen blindfold. Challenge. And I've got the blindfold. What? Yeah, Duff means it's, agree, it's not very good. It's like saying this if in one it doesn't work, you can say you can't use it. It's Duff at the moment. Teams in class 700 being called the Stormtroopers. They have kind of got that air about them.
Mechanical issues when they were first introduced. There we go. It doesn't take long for a nickname to say. How long have I been here, um, British Ace? Um, must be eight or nine years now. That's wow. That's how long I've been in the, in the UK. That feels like forever. Does that mean they're terribly hitting targets? <laughs> Yeah, PCB challenge, heavy metal scenario, yeah, definitely. Whenever you guys put it out there, what is it there? B. There. See ya, Chris. See ya, Chris. Recognize this place. Recognize the um, the train station. Station. Release date and the Caltrain switch locomotive is next Thursday as well, Duncan. Turn that off before Moggy gets upset. Okay, round of applause for Matt. We're not there yet. Excellent. We're going to York. Excellent. You know that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just really enjoyed just it. Just wanted to be where you Your hands were itching, so you wanted to scratch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 44 seconds late. Man, hey, I've hell? been so much worse, CG. I have been so much what worse. The hell? Don't worry, I will basically apologise to all the passengers when we get to London. Yeah, let's say hi to all the beautiful Darlington people. We've still got plenty to go on our second section. You've got how long to go? Uh, 44 miles. You told me 7 o'clock. I told you. That, that's why we started earlier. You know? I'm the imagine, talent, damn it. Imagine if we started at 7. Yeah. Tough. It would have been yeah, half 9 already. So. Weather's rubbish. Yeah, weather's rubbish. We're in the north. So mm. Weather's rubbish. Yeah, weather's normal. Yeah, so um, you can come in in about half an hour from no. now, I suppose. No. Oh, I see, I want to come and do that. No, you're staying and playing for, for a long time, for, for a while today. You're staying until the end. Because that's the, the whole point of the challenge. That's why there's a word challenge in it. Yeah, right. You're thrown all kinds of, un, you know, situations you're not expecting. I feel like as soon as um, people heard um, um, Sam's voice, like five people immediately left the, left the stream straight away. Just to go and get the other 500 that are waiting outside. Sure. Yeah, anyone doing the challenge with us? I think um, someone on Discord was. I think was. Mad G, if I'm not mistaken. It'd be good to know where are you now exactly. South of Darlington. I'm not talking to you, Mad. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to Mad G. 
What? I was talking to Mad G. Alright, I'm not Mad G. Well, you're not. I'm Mad P. You're Mad P. Um, immense 1986. Um, there's nothing new on Thursday apart this phase at least, apart from this beast. Actually, it's next week. Next Thursday? Yeah, next That's Thursday. That's what we've been saying. Do you need me to tell you when the release dates are? Yeah. It's next Thursday. Where is it? Next, next Thursday. Thursday. Well, the reason why I. Um, I have had this problem is because it was actually I think was planned to be released this week and then we've heard maybe Friday and then after that we got a confirmation it's next week so that's why I thought wait is it this Friday? Am I confusing everything? Yes you're confusing everything. Are you confusing me? Yeah. We'll see you Joe, Joe the Fish 98 have a good one. Cheers Joe! London Underground Routes to TSW. I love that idea. My son has been after me to add London Underground Routes in since he could ask for London Underground Routes. Um, so, yes, aware of the request. Seriously, every night. Steam trains as well would be good. Oh, shush. This one's sending, message, sending me messages all day on Teams. Mm. Why, why are you lying? Why are you lying to people? When was the last time I sent you a message about Steam Trends? I can't remember actually. Exactly. <laughs> I block you now. So. Mm, yeah, you're sure. <laughs> Is the cab sway too much by planet? So, here's the thing. The cab sway that you feel in the cab, if you don't know if you've been in the cab, is actually quite significant. Um, I was in um, a Class 395, the Javelin, which is one of the more modern trains in the UK. It's a high-speed passenger train, does 140 mile an hour. And, um, and it runs on some of the newest rail lines in the UK, the high-speed rail lines. So you'd expect it to be the smoothest it could possibly be. And as a passenger, it does feel super smooth. It's lovely, actually. But in the cab? all the time it's it's amazing i was not expecting it to be quite as much as that and then other drivers that i've spoken to have said yeah there's a lot more movement in the cab than you realize sam we we're using four routes so we started on the um, edinburgh newcastle from just trains um and we're currently on darren porter's um newcastle to york um, we're just coming from York actually 37 miles then we're going to be doing um, the uh, creative rail York to Peterborough and then dovetails Peterborough to London oh, yeah. thank you thank you I will never turn tea down No, it's not the modern routes, it's four different routes, and we're playing all of them today. Well, it's mad, actually. We first had Ellie doing the um, Edinburgh to Newcastle, um, and now uh, Matt is driving from Newcastle to York. And then Sam will overtake for the rest of the evening while we go home. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't mind us, you know chatting to people occasionally because it's a long stream so we don't really have much choice we can be like robots thirty four miles to York currently running about a minute ahead of schedule that's nice uh, no way <laughs> set the alarm. <laughs> oh dear. The 
Is that Sam getting his revenge? No, it's alright. They, they, there was police, but I sent them back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. They were looking for someone called Matt Peddleston. No I idea. Them, I told them we only have Matt Pebbles. Yeah, Pebbleston. <laughs> Pebbleston, yeah. No, yeah, in reality it was um, the cleaners have um, set up the, um, the alarm because they didn't realize we were still here. It's because we're so quiet and subtle. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Mild, mild case of panic. You've panicked a little bit, I could see it. Oh, I, I was, I was done for, mate. I was done for. I'm on, come just coasting. I'm glad it's downhill running out to York. If I was pedalling, I'd done about enough now. Pedalling? Did you use that word on purpose? <laughs> yeah, Colin O'Fairly not on stream yet, but I think he might be reading or at least hearing this. But I'm sure he'll let us know. Sounded like he was watching Farscape. I don't know what that is. I'm quite jealous. Farscape's awesome! How what have you not that? seen Farscape? Science fiction. Farscape. 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 Classic science fiction. Classic British science fiction. No, it's Australian. That's the same thing. It's the same. How is it the same thing? Australian England. Very easy. You even they even have your flag on their flag. I've never heard of that. What sort, of, sort of things they show that? Oh it's been a long time since I've watched it. So. <laughs> Is it on YouTube? Is that like a YouTuber? Probably bits and pieces on YouTube, yeah. No, so it's not a YouTuber then. Okay. Outside! Sure. No, no, it's, it's, it's an old. It's an, I can't remember what it was, eh? Oh, 90s. Was it, oh, oh, that 90s. That, well, that, no, don't go there. It's on Amazon, there you go, it's on Amazon. Oh, it's on Prime, is it? I think when uh, Sam comes in, we're actually going to struggle quite a bit. Because um, uh, he only drives with mouse for all the controls. So I think it should be either of us driving, really. <laughs> <coughs> What do you mean, CG Live? You can get the train from England to Australia. It's very easy. Jump on the train, Eurotunnel, past Germany, and you're there. <laughs> oh, Norfolk Southern, I like the sound of, Duncan. I do like the livery, the um, striking livery, the black with the white. I do like the Norfolk Southern trains. That's a fair point, kidding. Probably didn't lock the other. Um, Side of the office. Ah, oh, star. Thank you. I even bought, bought custard creams. Custard creams. Thanks, Ali. Is that legal? Yeah. Is custard creams legal? No, is that legal? Just you know, you're driving the train, right? What, what, what sort of tea and biscuits are you talking about? I don't know. Whoa, there he is. Overtaken. There he is in the chat. PCAs, PCABs, cement train. What's it all by? A shed. Yeah, I think we can leave um, Colin and Philly just driving here alone after we're done with this. What, sorry? No, I just said Colin, Sam should be streaming on, on his own when we're finished with this. Route. Yeah, I remember um, some old photos of um, 
So it's like all the trains that had their own kettles in there. Yeah. And they have heaters in there and... In fact, I don't know how well known this fact is, but if you drive the Hymec, the Class 35 in TS1, in this, if you look around behind you, you'll find that there is an oven. If you click on the oven, you can open the door. Inside the oven, there's a thing. Pull, if you click again, it puts the thing on the top of the um, oven. It's a Cornish pasty. And then you can click it one more time, and the Cornish pasty will come out onto the desk in front of you while you're driving. So you can enjoy Cornish pasty in the Heimek while you're driving in train set. I mean, we, we think of everything. That's incredible. I think it's also in the Riviera Line Pannier, there's a wrapped up Cornish pasty in the, uh, on there as well. The art, the art team just like to have lots of fun. Mm. <laughs> no, this is not all in one route, this is four separate routes, however, if you would like this to be one route, you can go to Alan Thompson's website, alanthompsonsim.com if I'm not mistaken, and that's where you can, yeah, and that's where you can get the uh, full scale merge. But yes, we're driving the individual routes. We're currently on Darren Porter's um, leg, which is from uh, Newcastle to York. 20 miles from York. Remember that you still have to have all of the content, so all four routes. Yeah, um, it just puts it all together. And uh, one of the routes is not on Steam, it's just trains. Thank you, just trains, for allowing us to use it. And um, yes, you have to buy it from them. That's Newcastle to Edinburgh. Yep, yeah, Newcastle to Edinburgh is the Just Trains a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the most recent um, of these four routes is probably going to be our number to um, London. King's Cross. That was released 18, 2018, I think. Something like that. What do you mean, a bit of a surprise? Oh, what you, CG. What, what, what were you talking about? What is he that probably means he's put something in front of me, I'm going to get adverse aspects and fail the scenario. No, 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 don't do that. We're only 12 minutes away from our destination, so please. Don't floof oh. it now! Oh, it's a nice surprise. See, I know what DLC he's used in this scenario. So, I have to say, I've not seen any four seven two four fives yet. So, oh, a big shout out! Thank you, JP, for sending me that photograph of four seven two four five. That was a nice surprise. Fifteen miles. Is the colonel trolling us? Yeah, I think he is. Um, he's losing his plot a little bit on this one. <laughs> yes, proper trains. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Now, add, on the now, now, the now added to GSW. There, where is it? I've got to go and find it again now. Don't forget that you have to stop soon. 47245! Oh no, gone too far away. Thirteen miles to York. Fresh cup of tea. Glass is amazing. This is better than you expected, right? This is just the best day ever. 
I'm driving trains, so I have a cup of tea. Nice chat. Have great company. Nice chat. And it's raining. Is it? Do you like rain? I don't mind rain if I'm inside. People might be confused about why I'm hyped about 47245. All I'll say is it's an in-joke. I, I missed a certain station while driving 47245. Yes, Ellie. If you look on my desk, Ellie, if you look around the corner on my desk, you can see there's a nice little photograph. Of 245 in BR Blue. So when was it actually that you've um, had this flop in the number of... What is this? Like three years ago now? They will never let you forget yeah. any mistakes. I should have a t-shirt with it. It's a cool t-shirt. That would be useful. Make some money from it. Ten miles! You cannot wait for it to be over. No, I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying it? Well, I'm going then. I'm enjoying it a lot. This is a fun low drive. So you have tea. Yeah, actually, PGT Rail, and that's where we we kind of got our idea from. Well, that's where we got the idea from. Yeah, if I if I was to have some sort of reminder on a, on a T-shirt for Matt, well, a reminder for Matt on a T-shirt, that would probably be somewhere between TSW steam trains, maybe I don't know. Yeah, probably steam trains and TSW. As long as the t-shirt's pink, I'd be fine with it. No, it would be me wearing it. I know, I'm fine you with it. You will never get it. You need to get a big pink t-shirt. I would never wear a pink t-shirt, I can promise. Make it so number one. Well, I mean, I don't know. If it's like a, if it's like a high quality, you know, nice, like slightly lighter shade of pink, with, you know, some accessories to go with, like pink um, headphones, for example. See, I, I offered you to use my pink headphones once, and you refused. I didn't refuse. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You may even have I been cursed. I just don't like wearing all the other people's headphones, because people have spent hours in them. Right, we've just crossed to seven miles away. My ears are very sensitive. Yeah, it is worth huh? It's getting pretty bad, exactly the way I remember your plan to see. Moggy, thank you very much for the pie and ice cream. I'm oh. very, very, um, I feel honoured that you're sharing ice cream, Moggy. That's pie and ice cream. Well, that's what the Colonel and I worked out last week. We weren't entirely sure, I but like we think it's pie and ice cream. A bunch of it's either a bunch of cookies, pancakes, or a pie. I'm going with pie. Why would you put ice cream in a pie? Oh my god. Have you not tried pie and apple pie and ice cream? No. But Can I get a round of booze from the from the audience here? Good. Can I rather apple pie and ice cream? Get, get a proper um, pie with the uh, ice cream. We could always get you a pink head headset. We'll get it because everyone's saying we can always get it. We can always get it. Matt's always saying that you don't like it. You don't. You know you need to wear it. Just get it. Like, I swear to God, I'll be I'll be using it. See, it's got to be crumble and custard, Colonel. It's got to be crumble and custard. I'm sorry. Because then it all swishes together into one loveliness. There was a drop before York from 125 to 60. I guess we have to be careful. Maybe we can find now. Still some time away. Custard is better, ice cream is good. I go with that. Oh, all the British people talking about British food. <laughs> right, I'm 
I'm getting, I'm, some, I'm definitely getting something nice after this stream for myself from McDonald's. <laughs> Who made this logo? DGG made this logo, so it's our logo. How do you mean a broke service, my buddy? You can't just say that. What I'm not denying that I have a broke, but... Oh, Banoffee pies are amazing, isn't you? When I was, I, used to, I lived in Australia for a couple of months, and they've got this thing out there, which is just amazing. It's like a um, a small pie. Um, it's got like a white cream in it, and then it's got like I think it's pink and brown icing on the top. I can't remember what they're called. But they are amazing. And then Lamingtons are nice as well. I enjoyed those when I was out there. You should live in Estonia for a couple. Right, we've got a double yellow, which means we are clear into York. Currently running about three minutes ahead, so I can take it easy as we come in. We're already three hours in. Three hours this stream, this stream has been going on. Can you believe it? It's probably the longest stream so far. No, actually, last Friday or Saturday was about three hours, but this one's going to be probably, long, probably another two hours. I'll well, see you, Moggy. Sprinter, a PB&J sandwich is amazing. It's completely misunderstood in this country. How amazing a PB&J is. I'm going to try that. I do like um, peanut butter um, generally, and I like Reese's, I think they're called, the American yep. sweets. I really like them. In fact... Neenish, that really might be like it, Rob. That might be it. Neenish tart. That name rings a bell. What is that? Where do I get all these nice things? Where can I get the Banoffee something? And where can I get apple pie with ice cream? Do I need to make my own apple pie? Buy ice cream, buy apple pie, mix in same bowl. Where do I get the apple pie? From Tesco. So are they frozen or? Um, you can get them frozen, you can get them not frozen. No, I'm on a diet, I'm on a diet. After apple pie and ice cream, we're gonna die. That sounds good. Right, passengers, we're approaching York. Another round of applause for Matt. Yeah, we haven't stopped yet, but it's okay. I believe in you. I'm not doing 80 miles an hour at this point, which means there's probably a reasonably high chance that I'm not going to make too much of a mistake. Unlike at Network, where I was doing 80 miles an hour. Yes, class 89 hype. So far ahead of schedule. Good. All three and a half minutes. Right, um, who was next on the schedule? Are you tired? How are you feeling? Not fine. You able to continue? Yeah. Yeah. Do you need to insert point to continue, or just, just you still have some lives left? Sorry? Do you need to insert point to continue, or you still have? No, we've got plenty of lives. We've got plenty of lives. We're good. Oh, this is old. That's old as well. Where's that piece of paper? There it is. Uh, okay, our next driver is Sam. He should be here in three, two, one. There he is. Sup? Sup, dude? You're driving. Okay. Congratulations. Alright. There's Goose. You wanna take a break? Yes, a comfort break would be good, actually. I can let you two ad lib on the street for a minute. Uh, can you can you set a set up for us the uh, yep the thing because uh, we're kind of clueless. Let me just switch it back to the camera. Boom. Yeah, because we're a bit clueless. It's a good film. Clueless. Mm. I was thinking about it just earlier. How bizarre. When next year's W stream, it will be Friday in forty-two hours from now. 
Got one on Friday and one on Saturday. Yeah. Don't miss them. They're going to be amazing. They're not, they're not missing them. I can, especially the Saturday one. They're There's going to be a preview of the MP15 on Friday and a preview of Hubstrike Rhine Roar on Saturday, and yeah. Madness. So. Hauptstrecker Rhein 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 Yeah, exactly. How are you ready? Up, up, born ready. Born ready. Yes. Born ready. So you ready, Roy? Actually, if, if you excuse me, I'm going to visit a restaurant very quickly. What time Saturday? Oh, what what time Saturday? I'm um, seven. Seven o'clock. This ain't no finished. I, I, I'm not actually sure. It's not out till next Thursday. What? The 89. What's that? Everyone say hello to Sam. Colonel failure. Mm. 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 I'm waiting for the game to restart and then we'll get on with the next leg. Where, where are we going? We will be going for. We just arrived at York. So My we are now York. York to Peterborough. I pick her up from Facebook on a regular basis. It's a very good connection. And when we go to Peterborough, we'll be um, popping into the shopping centre there. Oh, yes, yeah, right by the station. It is. Yeah. Good. And for a moment there, the name of it was on the tip of my tongue and then it slipped off. Hello, random rail fan. See? You know, you, you, people who say hello to me get said, said hello to, by and large. I'm polite like that. It's one of my call signs. Uh, right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do some social media. Noted JP uh, don't mind me. Bit of bit of social media. You've been media. naughty, haven't you, JP? Keep the uh, <laughs> keep the action going. How's it how's it going so far? I noticed you were you were out relatively early. Hello, Sir Harry. I was about three minutes early coming in. Right. Uh, uh, I'm yes, doing yes, the train driving thing yeah uh, you can watch exclamation mark yeah do I feel like an emoji no I don't feel like an emoji H double T T P is it going S does anybody make don't you really like care it, anymore it auto adds the S if you don't put it in yeah okay twitcho dot television forward slash dove tail Games. Dove to ale. The ovi tail. Games. Games. So. Right. I, mean, I, I, need a, I need an animated GIF of something. Matt. Yeah. Um, sandwiches are in the uh, fridge. Okay. And if you want to join us when we're done with this part. I certainly will. Right, let's. Search. It's starting. And once it's loaded, switch oh, it yeah. over. I wouldn't mess about with it until it's done that. Ron Swanson. I've, I've used a Ron Swanson gif. Oh, you can't beat a bit of Ron Swanson. He Ron is a, Swanson. just a life coach for everybody. Yeah. Right, I'll be okay. back in a bit, folks. Good. In, in, enjoy Bye, Sparky. Thank you, Mad. Everyone say thank you to Mad. Take your detritus off, you, this, off this driver's counter. Ooh. It's all important. All right, flipping it, you've got a warm bottom. I do. Good God. You will need this. It's like it's like having the heated seats on in my Volvo. Uh, right, good. Someone press the buttons that make things happen. Why isn't this chair got arms? You have to click uh, live long distance challenge. Live long distance. Ah, there we go. I know. I've just come in here to complain a lot. Right. right. Okay. What good. What are you going to be complaining about? Let's go. Oh, crikey. Everything. Don't, headphones. Headphones. <laughs> These are a bit big, aren't they? You can see here, he's just had two Red Bulls. Me? Yeah. No, 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 no. no? no Free? No, no, no. No, I've got some, uh, I've got some Coca-Cola on the go. Which is mighty if I can't read the chat. You're going to have to tell me all the interesting things they say in chat so I can be dismissive. Yeah. And or pithy, uh, whichever seems more appropriate at the time. Yes, yeah, Stephen Jam, you arrived at the right time for your scenario. What? Not the right person to drive it. No, really the wrong person. Now the doors are closed, we start our trip south from York. Should be a space before, after that full stop. Uh, once the signal ahead shows green, get going and put on a show for those trackside. All right, jolly goods, get in the cab. Right, what do we got? Buttons. Gonna need some tool tips here, kids. Oh, there we go, right, there we are. So you've got a throttle, 
Oh, let's, let's do the doors. It's T for doors, isn't it? It's T for doors, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, what have we got? Reverser. Right, let's bang that um, into... Probably master switch first. Master key. Yeah, alright. And then... Uh... What? Q, press Q, please. What? How the... Would it kill it to tell me whether it was going forwards or backwards? You got. I'm gonna need a little bit more information here, Dimitri. No, either no, either no. that, or you can tell me I what's going on. Absolutely no clue. Okay. What's the UI on back on button? Um, F4. It's already on, kinda. Oh, I don't. Want to, I don't want the big chunky one. No, well, no, no. We'll, switch it off later. we'll go with. Right. We'll go with that. I'm gonna assume that's forwards. Um. Right, what have we got? Have we got an independent brake, or is it, uh, is it all loose? Okay, there's a brake. Yeah, good. Are the passengers loaded? Go via Arc C up in 30 odd miles. Hello, right, Matt. Hello. You come to tell me what I'm doing wrong. What are you trying to do? Make it move? Anything. I don't know. How long am I waiting for passengers? First thing you want is your master key. I've done it. Then put it in forward. I've done. Okay. I'm assuming that's forwards. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. So, all good then. Yep. Yeah. So, are so we good to go? Release good to go. and go to go. All right, stuff it. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Break. Is that backwards or forwards? Why? No, 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 no. Well, which is it? The other way. No, yeah, this one. The one way. that says rel. The one that run. says rel. Ah, run or release. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Oh no. There you go. There you go. Right. And hold on. That's that's also on. Uh, you can have some of that off as well. Right. Let's grip and rip. Okay, cool. Good. There you are. That's it now, isn't it? Then we just sit here for the next 45 minutes and press uh, press the AWS occasionally. Isn't that it? Isn't that it? Is that the job? Tell me I'm wrong. You're, you're right. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, in that case, I'll, I'll crack wise. Yeah, I haven't even started yet. He is um, not qualified enough, and that's the whole point. Yeah, that's just. You show that any dummy can drive this train. I don't, to be fair, I at least know what some of the uh, some of the buttons are for, but uh, but you know I I miss you know what I miss. Windows that open, for starters. Um, you, we're being done by this flipping cross country number. Oh no, I'm not standing for that. Go on, let's have them. Oh my god, just please don't derail. Please. Oh, tough. Isn't this supposed to be like a big dog, this one? I mean, aren't we, uh, you know, aren't, aren't we the big cheese, the the Grand Ripper? I mean, I can't let that flipping jumped up piece yeah, Well, of look at the seat of the, of the loco, please. Look at what? Look down at the seat of the loco. Your, t your shirt is matching um, the pattern. My shirt's orange, Dimitri. Yeah, but... Oh, there you go, the 90. Part. Right, come on, crank it. Let's go it's and have them. Fine. Let's let's go get that. That's very nice. Dimitri's fashion tips. Train. It's not mine. Uh, good. Right. It was Mr. Scoot twenty seven. Thank you, Mr. Scoot, for this um, fantastic observation. Okay. What else have we got here? Yeah, guys. Shout out to oh. Just Trains and Alan Thompson. Uh, Just Trains. Thank you very much for letting us use your um, route, which Ellie and Matt was were driving on at the beginning of the stream. Newcastle to Edinburgh. And Alan Thompson for creating, <laughs> for creating the fantastic merch uh, in your face, which you can download from their website we've, at alanthompsonsim.com. We've done them at the roundabout, smashing. Okay, good. Although you do have to um, get the subscription, but it's definitely worth it. There's a lot of content in there. Yeah, yeah. Cab light off. Oh, that's better. Right. What else? Markers. Yeah, I'll have them as well. All right, groovy. Now we're cooking. Well, how, how are we doing? Oh, we really are cooking. We're doing no, 90. It doesn't feel like 90. Just don't drop the pentagraph for sure. Oh, what is that? No, 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 no. I saw that. Oh, 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 no. You don't don't click. You off. drop the game instead. Don't click off the uh, off the app. There you go. Here's your panto. Uh, what else have we got going on? There's a, there's a good chunk of buttons on here, you know. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to press all the. Ah, so good. This Why not? selector thing is a cruise control if you want to use it. Why would I want to use cruise control? Um, Look, there's not an awful lot to do as it is, Dimitri. If I just tell the train, just take care of yourself, mate. I'll uh, I'll be over there 
I'll go and I, I bet you missed the ability of uh, leaving the cab mid mid drive. I'll go and chat to go watch chat some to Dexter. <laughs> No, 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 I've, I've got this. If we're allowed to do 125, we should. And we've got to go... We're only going via Arxy up in 27 miles. Yeah, so that's 18. We don't even have to stop there. 18 minutes from now. Press F1 for me, please. Well, why I don't cast... We've uh, got one stop. So we're literally going... No, we don't have any stop. Yeah, we've got... One, one stop at Peterborough. Do you know, like, my whole shtick is doing passenger announcements as we approach the stops. Um, that's my... That's, you, that's can do, you can do passenger reminders. That's all... You can do passenger reminders while we're That's driving. all the... That's, that's my entire joke. You can still do them. <laughs> yeah, try passenger view. Alright, I'm going to try all of them. No, no, no. Okay. Why does F2 no, not do it? Oh, okay, let's try two. Two. Three. Yeah. Four. Action camera. What up? Good. Yeah, I know. It's because uh, I'm breaking the law. Breaking the law. 128. Oh, in your face, goods train. He's went way worse than you. He's way worse. You're flying at this point. Yeah, it, well, it's a straight line. I mean, you know, just put it down. Watch it do this. Magical. Good. That's the whole idea of the prototypes, right? Drive them as fast as you can. I don't, you've got to see where the breaking point is. <laughs> you've got to see where the danger lies. Anyway, we're going to arrive early. I, I, I'm convinced that uh, the pass passengers are always thrilled to he arrive early. He's speeding, but unfortunately there's nothing we can do about it. Because this man, he won't listen. No, I'm going to get there on time. Uh, there is no passenger alive that would complain about you going so fast to arrive 10 minutes early. Good point. And everyone at the platform will be happy because you arrived 10 minutes early. Exactly. They'll be able to get a seat. I'll be able to get out and go and get a brew or, you know, uh, an iron brew. I'll go and pick up an iron brew from WH Smith's. They'll only charge me about 12 quid for it. Um, you know, do a bit of the crosswords, put my feet up for a sec, That's phone the missus. And push off. Sam, you're so funny. You should start a YouTube channel. I should, shouldn't I? Do you think many people would watch? Yeah, I mean, maybe. maybe. Some people would. Okay. Good. Right. Well, we've done 145 now, which means that this has turned into a how fast will this train go challenge. True, yeah. I'm it's using insane. I'm using all of the required skills. Challenge within the challenge. That was a bit of a lump. Oh, yeah. hello. Bit of a shimmy. I don't know what we hit there, but it didn't survive. Uh, that that bunny rabbit is not seen tomorrow. I really hope it doesn't end well. Long and well. Uh, we'll we'll pick it up from the last uh, the last point. If I'm over halfway there, uh, then we can take a moment or two where everyone berates me for driving like a lunatic, and uh, and then we'll uh, then we'll just press on and pick the action up at Peterborough. Fair enough. All right. Good. Uh, no, it won't. It's not coming off the line. No, it's not. A hundred and fifty. Come on, there, big chief. You can do it. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this trick. You know what? Yeah, I think. I think. Stephen says there's some I, sharp curves ahead, so you might want to slow down a bit. I'll go with the track speed. Um, I think this is the fastest I've been in TS1. Congratulations. Here's your medal. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So good. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I genuinely think I, I don't. Uh, I don't recall a time that I've gone this kind of speed. Uh, How can anyone live at 151 miles per hour? Hope you have a plan B. For what? For you in case we derail. I'm so, I'm, I'm sorry for inserting a just yeah, a little bit of reality. It's, here. it's quite straightforward. I shall go home. No, you're not. Yeah. You, you, then you're doing the whole thing from scratch. Alone. Make me. Alone. Make me. It's not. It's not happening. I'll tell Paul Jackson. Okay, he'd be fine with it. Big go, you should have done that idea that you had earlier on about flying I'll, across I'll the Atlantic. I'll tell Theresa May. <laughs> oh, do your worst. Uh, I don't believe she's relevant um, at all. Okay, in this case, I'll I'll tell it to um, someone more important. Okay, good. Have you not driven the high-speed China stuff before? Uh, what the Shinkansen? Or the Chinese rip-off thereof. 
Uh, no, I've not. No. Have you not played Chinese Roots into your swing team? No, I've not. No, 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 no. no. I've not given it. Not, not, uh, I've not tried the Chinese Roots. I probably should. The, the, the Although, if you're going to go for a super high speed number, then you do tend to have uh, long sections of this. Yeah. This is... Right why? I, I glance at this occasionally to see if I need to take any actions. Oh, it's, it's a train look. There you go. And a moment of interest has passed. And then, and now, and now we're just we're riding along. We're we're giving no, it all on the, the on the Chinese route. You can get the, really nice speed. All the riding, really nice speed. which all is really great. Cool. Was that a bit of leftover snow there? I find it intriguing. There's snow on the ground, and yet the deciduous trees have leaves. It's global warming. That's what that is. That's, uh, that's climate change playing havoc uh, here in the train simulator one, which has gone political on you without realising it. Yeah, 11 years ago. Yeah. Good. Right. Good. How long have we got left? Nine minutes. All right. Oh, another bit of a shimmy. Love it. That's uh, a moment of danger. Yeah. It's good. You know, I'll tell you what, the train sounds smooth as a whistle. Come on, bus driver GP, please don't go. This will, what be, up? It will not be forever like this. Woohoo! You know my favoured kind of uh, approach to this uh, this ah. this train driving lark is to do a bit of shunting because you're you're forever stopping and starting and changing points and switching things on and off. Yeah. And this is this is my my least preferred way to drive trains because there's not a lot to it well i mean depends. i mean the views are all good but i mean i um, i understand people wanting to ride entire routes it's just not my cup of char anyway we'll make the best of it we're still in doing 151 i'd hope for more but uh you know you you can't have it all we on a, we on a, we've got a more or less flat gradient okay that's that's good times that's good news We've shaved another 30 seconds off our arrival time. Whole 30 seconds. Yep. Oh, I'm going to get a pay rise. I can feel it. Seconds. Unless I hose up the braking, which is entirely possible. How come the AWS hasn't gone off? Um, I, I, it's normally it's gone off by about, you know, about a thousand times by now. Hello there. It's another train look. Enough respects to the number of trains that we're passing here. That's... That keeps things... Well, because uh, the scenario was beautifully built keeps just things for this zesty. occasion. Oh, that's a wipe. You're absolutely ruining it. I'm not ruining anything. I'm doing it really well. People put effort into this scenario. I'm, I'm, in, to... I'm enjoying it. You said to me, come and drive this train. You did not say I had to drive it well. And therefore, I used my usual... You know what you were buying into... No one invites me to come and drive a train unless they, they you know, they, they fully accept that the uh, that the insanity is about to kick. Steven is a warning that you'll have to slow down to about a hundred while going via the marker, and you, or otherwise you're going to derail going through Doncaster. Okay, well, there's worse things to do in Doncaster. <laughs> Thanks, Dimitri. Good setup. Like it. Yeah, I mean, get off the train is, is one of the things you could do that would be worse in Doncaster. Yeah, get, get him off the train with Ooh. that sort of speeds. Headlights. There we go. Oh, look, that's uh, put a little little overlay card over this. The bottom there. Let people know what's supposed to be happening. I mean, now I know why, why we called it a challenge. Challenge everything, Dimitri. That's how we roll. Would you like me... Would you feel happier if I slowed down? Yes. That's reason enough not to do it. Yeah, just reason enough to do it. No, re reason it. Never mind. Uh, good, right, good. So, hold on, where where are we going to need to slow down? In Arxy up, do we think? Apparently I'm going to get there in four minutes. I reckon I can slow down to about 100 in, in less time than that. So, uh, we'll, we'll run it close. Yeah, who's the drone last scenario? I think it will be mad. We, we might advise... Uh, we might advise the passengers to sit down before I start braking. Because uh, uh, I can't rule out that the braking is going to be quite severe. 
but uh, well, that's a good whistle. Oh, that's the, the where's the where's my whistle handle? There it is. Smashing, good. Right, three miles to go. I'm breaking all kinds of speed records here. You'd be impressed, Matthew. Would I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like. I can see the flashing yellow telling me. That I am. I am record. like a long way ahead of schedule at the moment. Like, I mean, <coughs> I am constant. I'm constantly shaving time off the arrival. It's brilliant. This is great. I actually no. I'll, I'll take this. This is a great way to play it. How early can you be? I mean, I'm. I'll be even train. I'll be even earlier than if I were to drive this off a cliff. <coughs> Which is a joke I make quite frequently, incidentally. Where are you trying to Oh, right, okay, so you reckon I'll to be slowing. All right, come on, grippy handle. Let's, uh, let's be having you do a bit of that. All right, and then, uh, have, I'll, I'll be the judge of what's enough. I want to, I want to see something actually having an effect. I'm going to put a loco brake on as well. It's taking it sweet tight. There we go. 1.2 miles to 105 mile per hour speed limit. Not a problem. Nope. What? There's some signal maintenance guy. Why has the train stopped? Our train has permission to continue through Doncaster at line speed. You'll have to acknowledge the AWS alarm, but you do not have to slow down for signal aspects. Fine. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> no, it sounds like they've just given me the all clear to rip it. All uh, right, there you go. That's enough of that. Let's <coughs> grab that. Come on, off you go. That's why we're not running emerge. That's exactly there why we're go. not running it. There you are. Um, M S G N says I'm a huge fan of the lovely pink headphones. You can get them easily from the um, internet. Um, Stephen Jam says that um, you should be keeping an eye on the window, Sam. I would, some, but some cool signal maintenance coming. I out. don't appear to have much of a much of a control over my neck muscles. Unfortunately, I can only go that far. What? All right, okay, it's all good. Oh, we're a little over speed, I guess. Hempty's uh, Rail says hopefully I'll get an invite to drive a train or two at the DTG Towers. We don't really have any towers, but you're invited anyway. And that's a that's a, a British traditional. Uh, your, 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 your office is always referred to such and such oh, towers. Okay. It is a cliche, but nonetheless delightful. It does look like a tower a little bit. I mean, if your office isn't a castle, why not bother? Well, quite. Doncaster, everybody. Doncaster. Hello, passengers. This is your captain speaking. If you want Doncaster, jump. jump. Thanks, Matt. Blow my flipping punchline. Crying out loud. <clears throat> I ain't got a lot of material to work with. <clears throat> You're gonna, oh, that was a lump. I like it. Right. 125 miles per hour limit in a moment. Let's say now for the sake of argument, shall we? I reckon we'll be safe. There we are. There was some, there was some maintenance going on there. And uh, as long as I hit AWS a couple of times, you know. I understand that Ellie, who is uh, is quite good at this kind of thing, uh, hosed the AWS repeatedly. Just saying. Right, good. Where are we now? Okay, Peterborough. Up platform. 78 miles. What do you think? ETA, 50 minutes. So you've already done quite, quite a bit. <coughs> oh, the, the way you drive, probably 50. Yeah. Flipping better, bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm good, but I can't keep people be. entertained that long without some kind of additional stimuli. Um, all right, marvellous. Let's press four for a bit. Ooh, hey, lens flare. Peachy. It's nice though. What else can you drive down here? What comes? Uh, what comes on this uh, route as stock? This stock of the route is the ninety one. Um, not no, sorry, that's a DLC for this route. There's the HST and the three six five. I okay. Want to say, are the standard ones, and then there's a ninety one DLC for it. Yeah. But you can run the ECML. Obviously, you've got your Flying Scotsman train. You've got your Mallards. Can I take me? Uh, can I take me ninety one off uh, Great Western and bang that on uh, Great Eastern even? Nineties. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it's a 9091 combo train, isn't it? It's, got it's a 90 one. with a DBT, yeah. Whatever. You can use all the lingo you like, Matt. I'm just going to say, yeah, that's what I meant. Because it's probably what I meant. I don't know, folks. <laughs> 90 on the on the East Coast mainline? I know they ran West Coast mainline. I think they ran East Coast mainline. Thanks, Johnny. Johnny Mento's big up the shirt. There you go. It makes a statement. It makes a statement that says that I'm waiting for Animal Surfwear to sponsor me. You know, I've had a number of people remark on, uh, on liking the shirt. I like the shirt, which is why I bought it. Underneath, I've got a shirt that I, I bought as well. Really? Yeah. Well, not just that. But you can buy one too. If you were to go to uh, a certain website. Anyway, right, what are we looking at? What's going on with this? Uh, what's, what's this schnoz all about? It's a bit un, uh, ungainly, a bit unusual. It is unusual. Tell me the story about the train, Matthew. I know nothing of it other than that it's in British Rail livery. So I think you, I, don't, I can't remember a lot of the detail, but it's a prototype, if I remember rightly, to try a bunch of new tech. If I remember rightly, some of this tech made it into some of the trains that run today. Um, but they basically, they, they didn't work as well as the traction motors were prone to unreliability. And, um, oh, I'm quite a lot over speed limit at the moment, but that just means we'll arrive early. It just means bumpy arrives. So, yeah, it's more fun. Uh, where's this in, in, in the sense of APT? This is after APT, presumably. Yes, I think so. Because it's, it's in your BR livery. Yeah, it's in the city. Yeah. Right, and thus, don't know, forty miles per hour over the limit. You know what this says to me? The limit's nonsense. <laughs> it's total nonsense. You can go well far. Look at it. It's just the Romans couldn't have built track like this if they built track, which they didn't. Although interestingly enough, uh, the track is using the same measurements as the chariot. Yes. Because they were built by the same thing. It's like the um, the whole thing about the, uh, uh, the width well, of a rocket booster. That was a, that was a that was something you you would have already known. I'm not going to do you on any train facts, am I? <laughs> no, I have to I have to remember who I'm in the room with. Yes, I know everything about trains. Oh yeah, there is that. Oh, train passing oh, shots. A zoomer. A what? A zoomer. It's one of the new types. Is it? Yeah. What do they do? They zoom. How much? I mean, look, I'm doing about 150 at the moment. Yeah, you're who's, who's going to win it? Probably you, because that guy Come probably on. wants to keep his job. Hey, <laughs> good. This, see, this is this is how you do it. Also, you're only half on camera. If you're going to be checking your Facebook page while we're on, oh, I'm looking I mean, up facts it. on the class 89. No, oh, okay. <laughs> if you're going to be looking up Wikipedia on there, she is not a class 89. Hey, yeah, yeah it is. You're in the we're wrong. About you're in the wrong town. Lovely. I'm gonna suggest that was a that was a whistle moment. What up? Okay, good. Um, it, I like it. This is a good route. This is a this uh, this means. Hold on, Sprinter fifteen and a bunch of threes says that my shirt reminds him of Terry's chocolate orange. If it was blue and if it was blue and orange, I'd give it to you. Uh, not the shirt, obviously. I would give you the reference. I'm getting the chocolate, the, the orange. Don't know, but I could uh, possibly even go with the chocolate given the brown. But where a does the chocolate orange from? doesn't actually have any orange colour in and of itself. The box has some, certainly, to try and the suggest that it is not just orange flavouring, but it might at some point have seen some fruit. Mm, maybe. 1988-ish says uh, Rob J79 on the Twitch. We were talking about when the uh, when this when Examined this was tested. 1986, says CGDAV. 86. 86. So it is more or less the same era as the APT then, in terms of testing stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they were doing a bunch of stuff. So what it says here is that um, they uh, they it was designed by British Traction Loughborough to meet the specification issued by British Rail, which subsequently changed afterwards, but not before they'd already committed to building with them. So basically, they said, "Make us this." They started making it, and then they said, "Oh no, wait, not that." I'm getting you on camera. Carry on. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. You can move over a bit. All right. There you go. I'm just driving the train, but, you know, <laughs> there's not a lot to it, so it's all good. <clears throat> uh, uh, Locomotive was built at British Rail Engineering Limited, Braille, Crew Works, in 1986. APT was 1970s. Was it really? Yeah, the APT's an old one. 
Was it really? I, I remember seeing it on, on telly as a young man. Well, you know what? That's saying something, isn't it? What's it saying? <laughs> yeah, but I, would, I could have sworn it was in the 80s. I, I didn't think it was the 70s. It might be as in development in the 70s. But <coughs> it, was still, it was still falling off the track in the, uh, in the 80s. Got a bit of a when was it making journalists? We just went through it. You missed it. We went through a station there. Really fast. Really fast. Um, that might have been Nibworth, actually. No, Stop trying to insert your running joke into my stream. <laughs> Nibworth is on the last leg. <laughs> I've left all of my running jokes at the door. Uh, Colonel was never like young. Too flipping right. <laughs> I've, always, I've always been the voice of authority. Right, it Matter says we want to slow to 115. At some point, it's going to have me for, for completely hosing the speed there. So I'm going to ease it off a little bit. There you go. That's my nod towards a 115 speed limit. It's 148. So it was hoped the Class 89 design would be used for electric locomotives for the Channel Tunnel. And well, some investigation was undertaken. It was also hoped the Class 89 would be a viable Class 86 replacement. However, an upgraded version of the Class 87 was uh, ordered, called the Class 90. Train. Okay, thank you. Good to know. <coughs> Ultimately, <coughs> only technology and ideas were used from 89001's design on the Class 9 Eurotunnel locos. And some in similarity in electronics lives on today in the Class 92s. Okay. So there you go. Oh, it's up in, up in the speed limit again. Max speed, 125. I beg to differ. There you go. In October 2006, G&ER, who were the owners at the time, put 89001 up for sale with a six-week deadline for bids. The AC Locomotive Group launched an appeal, which I was part of, and fundraising effort to save the locomotive and was ultimately successful, purchasing it in December 2006, where they almost immediately repainted it because it was in the G&ER livery, and who needs that? Well, quite. Well, in I've, city livery beats just about everything. We have saved a bit of time so far. Not much though. It's not actually. It's not actually cutting the time down by a lot, despite the fact that I'm rinsing it. Fifty-seven miles to go, people. It's going to look quite a lot like this. Just FYI, what's five do? Oh, there we go. That's nice. That's. I don't think these are these. I need. This, I don't recall this this carriage configuration in first class on this uh, on this single pedestal. You, it looks fine to me. The seats look right, although mate, oh, I don't know. But if we're in the mid eighties, hmm, <coughs> hmm, couldn't say for sure. I'd like to get up and go because you know what's round there, don't you? The cafe. That's the cafe round there. She's that's, not asking for the toilet, that's, that's all I'm saying. That's where we... I have mentioned this before, haven't I? He's another one of them. If you're going to let me get up and wander around, then let me poke my head in the Kazi. That's all I'm saying. You want to poke your head in the Kazi? So I've not heard that request before. Yeah, I know. If in, in, in the train scene world... That feels there, a bit close. I want to, I want to get out and uh, trot to the, uh, to the water closet, push a couple of buttons, Giggle to myself like a twelve-year-old, and then and then go about my business again. There's a door. You cannot leave a door that is closed. I am the captain of the ship. I I have access to all areas. What we had what we had done, I think, on one or two DLCs is when we put the octopus light on. Then it's completely believable that you can't get in. Which there. is which is acceptable. Every if, toilet being permanently occupied. If cheating or broken, which is more true to life. Um, also, I want randomly opening while someone's in. I want a passenger to occasionally pull the emergency alarm instead of opening the door correctly. Mm. Southwest trains that used to happen all the time. The big dangling orange uh, emergency <coughs> cable thing. You go clang, clang, clang. Whoever's in the bathroom, pull it again. Thank you. What's the noise it makes? It goes clang, clang, clang. Acknowledged. Good. Right. Level crossing. Power cables, although they don't appear to be connected to anything. They just appear to be just just standing there. Empty pylons waiting for a purpose in life. Yep. Rather like us all. APT built uh, in 1970s and the early 1980s. That's non-specific. Come on, Wikipedia. You can do better than that. Uh, it 
So the experimental APTE achieved a new British Railway speed record on 10th of August 1975 when yeah. it got to 152. Boom! Face. Yeah. Uh, only to be bested by the service prototype ABTP at 162 miles per hour. That was down Try harder. with a tailwind. <clears throat> okay. All right. Fine. Good. Fine. Fine. Good. Fine. Consider my knowledge upgraded temporarily until I forget it in a couple of minutes' time. <laughs> uh, and then you, I mean, you can regale with me with it later on. Hold on. It's a train look. Oh, ugly duckling. Oh, I like them. They're all right. That's a train. Seventy. Is it a 70? It's a 70. Okay. Freightliner Power Hall 70. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They, they come out of the Felix time. They do? I know. <sighs> oh, more zoomers. What? Train? Ah, there we go. Can't fool me. Ah, that's a train. Okay, good. Right. So, you're saying that there's a speed limit here. The speed selector. Now, if I is that like bow selector? If I were to set it to ten now, notice how the speed is coming down. It, it only is. All right. Well, we don't want ten. Keep going. We want a bit more mouse sensitivity. Yeah. We want a bit more mouse sensitivity. A bit more on the mouse. Does this? This better go beyond a hundred. Although the number of digits is not filling me with flipping confidence. Hang on. Yes. Good. It better, it better go beyond 125. What speed limit are we doing? Oh, we're fine. That's it. Good. I think we might be able to encourage it on to greater things. No! Oh, and it, you can't take it around the clock, neither. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's a I think that's quite generous of you, given the local... Is there, a, re to is there a reset button? Oi, guard! Get out and push. All right. Okay, uh, going back down again. And, uh, oh, the, the labours of the modern train driver. Although I can use the third monitor to uh, to get a little bit of extra draw distance. There you go. Oh, people are telling me facts. Ran what's Randall later talking about? He's addressed me personally. JT have a thing for that with the 222, or at least on the version on the website. Not sure. I don't know what that's referring to. Smashing. More, de you. more detail around it later. What, did, what is the that? Good. He, he probably said something earlier on, but you were ignoring that as no, well, I because was, I was too busy mucking about. You far too interesting. I know. That's, that's Stop what I'm trying to... interesting. I'm we're driving a train. I'm trying to provide some captivate. Apparently, we're, we're doing the speed limit. Well, that's an accident. That will never... Stop doing that immediately. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we still slowing down? We're only ever so slightly going uphill. Your brakes on at the moment. I have. Well, you've just wasted at least. Five I minutes. have set that to zero. It better not be taking us all the way to zero. How do I tell it not to do that? I think you're just not accelerating. Maybe we said you're accelerating. Yeah, cut your, uh, put your brakes on and release your brakes. All right, brakes go on, brakes go off. There you go, brakes off. There you go. That's it. Good. We've blown all the advantage that I'd managed to build up because I had to muck about with the speed. <clears throat> I might phone my mum and complain. Uh, right. What were we talking about? What's happening in the chat? Keep me informed. Come on. Hmm? Keep me First informed. First time under the limit for a while, says Stephen Jam. He's utterly impressed. Uh, Thanks, oh, the passenger Stephen. pulling the hand no, That's not impressed. That's rubbing it in. That's <laughs> gloating. <laughs> ha ha. We made you do it properly. Ha ha. No, I don't. I do not hold with such things. Fire alarm test. So yes, this uh, the thing that Anne Randlett was referring to on the two 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 was about passenger alarms. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. They've done something about passenger alarms on there. Oh well, uh, well, we'll be bringing them back up to speed. What did you say before? I uh, think um, it says JT have a thing for that with the two two two, and then down here says um, passenger pulling the arrow candle. Right. What else have we got on here? Yeah. I put the emergency brake on a train a couple of years ago, you know? Yeah. yeah. It was the emergency alarm doodah, what's it? It was, uh, it was during that jolly hot summer. You know the jolly hot summer in yes, question. Yes, the jolly hot summer. Jolly hot summer. And, uh, and we'd been, uh, we were on a commuter train coming out of London, rammed to the gills, and it was, uh, it was not a good train. Not a modern train. Air conditioning 
consisted of how fast could you waft your copy of the Metro. Um, anyway, ran, ran to the gills, and something had happened off the track. Turns out some, someone, uh, some idiot had thrown a bicycle onto the track and fused it. Nice. Um, and, uh, and we'd been stopped at a station for 10 minutes. And I went, they could at least open the doors. So I pulled the alarm, I go like, any chance you can open the doors? We're all dying back here. And he goes, oh, you could have told the guard. I said, I can't move. So I talk to you instead. Grand Central 180. He grumbled and opened the doors. <laughs> I got a round of applause. As you should. Yeah, I got a round of applause from people in the, in the coach. It was very nice. It comes from being, it happens at the age of 40, you know. At the age of 40, you kind of go, oh, I no longer care about exactly. rules. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to do what I feel is right. Rules and what people think about me. No, no, no. no. That just don't no. matter. No, see here, <laughs> we we will not be standing I've for this. I've got an opinion right now, and I'm going to share it, whether you like it or not. See here, my good man, open these doors while we're at the station. Turns out that, uh, that the train didn't go anywhere. It was for three hours. Everybody left the station and got on Uber. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, it was some uh, some godforsaken place in uh, in North Kent somewhere. I think it was. Oh, where are we going out? Into it's, going, it's the Rochester line, whichever way that goes. But it's the, the suburbs on the way out of uh, Victoria. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't mean to describe this part of the country as, as godforsaken in the slightest, it's delightful. It's the, uh, it's the handbasket of England. <coughs> That's one of the things I thought it called. Yep. Uh, right, there we go. Look, the speedo only goes up to 150, which means that earlier on I had it off the speedo. We are, however, gently going uphill at the moment, which is a bit disappointing. Anyway, there's now only 24 minutes to go till our arrival. I've managed to shave about eight minutes off our time, even after mucking about with the uh, with the speedo. And the amps are a thousand. Okay, excellent. It's here, isn't it? This is an actual gauge gauge. GP1's on 20. Uh, GP2's on 2. I think we'll use GP1. There's, a, there's a slightly more grunt coming out of that. <coughs> you can correct me any time. Colonel R.A. Failure was not to be messed with. No. Darn, just, just, just darn tooting. You jumped out of 45 Have I tried button? the emergency stop button, says Moztastic. Now, Moz, that's a brilliant idea. I think we might try it in the next station. Uh, that, that looks like an emergency break to me. Shall I tell him? It's a giant red dialy switch. Oh, it's you got to ask the DRA. That's the uh, derailment assist uh, adjunct. Uh, but next to that, you've, you have to flip that over into live, and uh, and then you twist this, and uh, and then the whopper asks you for the launch codes. That's the one. Yep. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, but I can't. I'm playing Train Simulator at the moment. Dr. Dra, yeah, indeed, MSJM. Uh, totally good. Right, good. Good. What are you? There it is! Dang it, <laughs> found it! <laughs> right. Okay, good. Uh, well, it is our last stop, isn't it? Yes. Peterborough is Peterborough the only place we have to stop. It's the only place you're stopping. In which case, I'll chance it. Uh, now, it. Jim, how on. how fast do you reckon we can slow down? How much how much distance do you reckon we need from give or take 150 miles per hour? Hold on a second. I might ease it off a little bit. Doing 50 percent over the limit might be chancing it ever so slightly. What do you think? Yeah. Could I, w I would say probably. I I would. We're have in danger so. of doing Dukes of Hazard impressions. Oh, were that were that the case, we'd all be delighted. Um, I think I think 125 should be safe enough uh, in a hundred section. But I'm getting an absolute belter of a score as well. Standards are out, so no score. In that, that case, means it doesn't matter. I'm getting the same score as someone who drove this flawlessly, like me. There you go. See, that's that's a nod towards safety from yours truly. There, Uncle Safety. That's what they call me. 
Safety is my middle name. Oh, where are we? Uh, yeah, his first name is No, and his last name is Here. Uh, awareness, I think of it. <laughs> Lack of. <laughs> I'm of uh, I'm of Eastern European descent. Lack of safety <laughs> awareness. It's a double barrel kind of affair going on there. Safety failure, yeah. yeah. And off we trot. Come on, 109 in 115 isn't gonna cut it. That's gonna lose us time. But apparently it's not. We're still we're still gaining time. Uh, uh, improving, improving time. It's good though. I like the number of trains we've seen, no? That's good. Yeah. That's, that's, that presumably is custom scenario work. Yep. So this one is done by Stephen Jam, as is the next one that we're going to be doing. Yes. It's worth his weight in gold. Worth his weight in gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big shout out CG Live and Stephen Jam doing a, done a cracking job on those scenarios. Yeah. I might downgrade his weight value in a moment, though, if I don't see another train in, in pretty soon. And it's been a while since we've seen a train now. Here we go. There's one. Now you've Let's seen a train. Uh, Water. Cars, truck. Do they need to be plumbed into the scenario as well? No. They have uh, the route. They auto tiddle, do they? They auto tiddle. Right. That's good. I don't know. You see, I don't, I've been tasked with trying to learn how the editor works to see uh, how accessible it is to uh, to new people. I've been afraid to do so for really? two reasons. One. What if I really get into it? <laughs> right? I well, that spare time that, you thought you it, No, I don't, I don't have any spare time. And that's, that's part of my problem, is that I get into stuff like that very, 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 very easily. Um, but uh, what, was, what was the second reason? Oh, it involves me actually going to look through some file directories to find the thing in the first place, which admittedly is a two-minute job. Um, but even so, you know, that's, that's <laughs> enough of a stumbling block that I haven't done it yet. Although, if my boss is watching, um, getting right to it, I'm I'm on the case right now. Oh, we've got to sound a hooter while we're in the tunnel. We were with the uh, up down up there. Excellent. It's got to be done. That means train and tunnel. Train. I know it's quite a lot of these are stopped. That's because you're going so fast. Or is it simply that we're moving so fast that time around us is bending? Well, you're, you're going so fast that all the timings for the AI have been messed up. Yeah. Uh, CG Live says, Colonel should have done the Newcastle to York bit. All those curves between Newcastle and Darlington and then near the straight section of Darlington and York, you can just go flat out. I've been going flat out on this, man. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not been a bother. I've, I've, you know, I've paid some heed to the speed limit when I felt that maybe I was taking the mic on a little bit. But beyond that, it's, uh, it's all good. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, if you really got into it, you'll have 1,700 more hours. Yeah, exactly. That's why I can't do it. I, I do get into stuff like that. Um, you know, I'll end up seeing how many trains I can run down one piece of track legally with signalling at extraordinarily high speed. Or put them all side by side and try to see if you can race them all. Oh no no no! I don't I don't hold with that. What building a custom a, a custom straight line Just track? Dude, this track was four tracks. Yeah? That's valid. Yep, true. And it gets even funner when you get further down, and the two <coughs> tracks become the four tracks become two, and there are therefore victims. Nice, nice. Yeah, the crashes aren't spectacular enough. They're about as spectacular as a spad. That's, that's not spectacular, and that happens to me all the time. Usually because I'm going too fast or haven't noticed that the signal ahead of me is at an aspect that is not suited to what I'm currently doing, which is moving. Right, how far have we got? Uh, 13 minutes? I mean, the briefing that, um, that Sam was given, to be honest, when he started was drive it like you stole it. So, have done. By now, however, the novelty of having driven it like I stole it has somewhat worn off. Especially when I twig that the, the, the Johnny Law is going to pretty much know where I'm going. And indeed, just change the points and send you wherever they want you to It's go. not the taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3. I can't do anything particularly clever in here. I'm, you know, if I were to stop the train, the police helicopter, which is undoubtedly following me, would go, it's in that field. 
I mean, I could have, I could possibly have lost them in Doncaster. I'd have blended in amongst the locals. <laughs> Although, you know, who knows? Right, good. Where are we going? Okay. Time check again. There we go. Twelve minutes now. Good. That was another forty-five seconds filled. Good. Right. What should we talk about next? Seventeen miles to go. Seventeen miles to go. Uh, with the editor, I could make the June main line for real. True. How is the uh, the the array of dust and sand based textures? Limited. Arrakis has not been high on the list okay. of things to simulate. Train. Okay. You should. You should. Uh, people want to see trains on Arrakis. Uh, they also want to see sandworms as well. If you can make that happen, that would be terrific. Yeah. Uh, sand road, sand worm going uh, going out or or whatnot. Right. Will, will the DRA box be changed for the twisty switch to a push pull uh, with its rotation uh, with rotating isolation? I don't know. It's an important question and one that needs answering. I will hurry and get that answer. I'm really hurrying. When right uh, when did that change? Because presumably it was a twisty twisty at some point. Otherwise, we wouldn't have put a twisty twisty in the cab in the first place, right? I'm, I'm assuming normally a cab like this would be modelled based on photographs. Right. So, but I've not seen it because I've not been part of the team. Okay. But normally they're modelled based on photographs and they will uh, make, it It may have had that control for um, a short time. Sometimes cup holder. Cup holder is essential. Um, but yeah, sometimes you find that, see you later Stephen Jam, and thank you very much for everything you've done. But uh, yeah, sometimes what you find is that uh, well, you get a, a, a photograph or we'll even get the manual in the case of 66 for Train Sim World. We got the manual. And it told us how the buttons and switches all worked. And we implemented it following the manual. And we thought, hey, we are clever. We followed the manual. You can just use the manual to drive the slow code. And then when we released it, everyone told us, yeah, but they only actually built it that way for the first one. Everything else, they did it a different way. Well, I'll be. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a train. Uh, well, that's a good variety of trains, too. Nice. I, I know we saw a red one earlier on. Maroon. Right, I'm pretty sure I've pushed all of these already. It was fun the first time, but doing it again would just be reaching. Uh, right, let's uh, let's try and find ourselves an eclectic and entertaining angle of attack here. That's quite nice. <coughs> I quite like that. And you do some of this. Have it. Jolly good. Okay, smashing. Right, still no sign of a speed limit change. If they're, I mean, if they're planning on making me stop in 10 miles time, they ought to consider possibly making me slow down a little bit. Well, assume that you're just going to do it. I am just going to hit the emergency brake. I mean, what's the restart sequence? Bit of master key, bit of reverse, a twiddlage. I imagine once the train has stop, stopped, you just the full the charge, and go. Just... Well, I'm used to I'm used to those trains that you're responsible for, and the amount of the amount of monkeying around you have to do to get them started after for the fifteenth time that day you've tripped the emergency brake. You know the solution. Don't trip the emergency yes. brake. Yes. You know how, you know why I keep tripping the emergency brake. Your handle's got no stop before the emergency brake. I drive on the handles like a professional person would do. You can tell. Good. There were a couple of trains there. Sorry, I didn't call them out. Trains. What was there? Another one. Is this like yellow car with trains? Yeah. Okay. That's fun. All right. Good. So five minutes to go now. Only eight miles away, which gives you some kind of indication of the sort of speed we're doing, um, which is uh, absolutely super. Absolutely. I might even switch to coasting. The only thing I don't want to do is run out the other side of the station. That would be embarrassing. There'll probably be a red light there to, uh, <coughs> to stop you from doing that anyway. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to read red lights on these anyway. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it in a coast. Yeah. Just you know, just for a minute, just for a little while, train. Ooh, Ooh, Delta. Ooh, a double! double. Oh, double nice! Double Deltic! Wow, that's good. Aye. The treats on these scenarios. That uh, that generated a little bit of emotion here in the Dovetail Game streaming orifice uh, that we're currently finding ourselves residing in. 
Dimitri was was right there with us. He had a he had a little tremble, almost fell off his chair. Mostly, uh, he was in fear. To be fair, he wasn't sure what was happening. No, he's he's reading chat on uh, on the socials media. Socials. I doubt you were looking at more than one. Socials, plural media. Uh, similar, like courts martial. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, where is the javelin? On HS1, surely. Yeah, not on this route. Right, good. Okay, uh, four and a smidge miles to go. I've I've dropped to almost the speed limit. Uh, which is How far you've got? Oh, no, we've only got a couple of miles to go now. Um, See you later, Biffo. And, and we've got it under half past eight is the arrival time. Boom shakalaka. I don't know if I should love your hate yourself. Ah, uh, try both at the same time. It's what most people do. They kind of go, oh, I wish you'd stop clowning around. I always do these properly, but that said, it is marginally entertaining. <coughs> um, oh, Darren, wrong. Is, is it, it, you know, you carry on. You were talking to the people. Throne, is this game difficult to play? Um, there's tutorials to help you. In Train. TS1, there's tons of um, things in the academy which will teach you how to do things. In TS World, there are tutorials. Um, and then you can dial up and down, make it more or less difficult by making controls visible or, um, you know, making helpers visible. Um, is it difficult? I would say no. Um, you can make it difficult um, as you get more skill. But the difficulty comes in doing it spot on. Yes. Uh, you know, getting getting fairly close is fine. I think we had a flashing yellow there. I'm not sure what that meant. But uh, there you go. I've, uh, ooh, hello. Right, okay, let's put a bit of that on. I'm not going to use immersion. No, no, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm on it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. There's a 30 mile an hour coming up. I didn't want to jump over the top of that. Right, let's take that off so that we're ready to uh, ready to cook. It does sound like it's turned the power off, which is a bit alarming. Um, but uh, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll. Go. It'll be fine. I'll tell you something else. That emergency brake, pretty effective. Oh yeah, they are. We've we've dropped from 120 in no time at all. Now, obviously, that uh, that Austin Montego that was parked over the level crossing that we were trying to stop before, we wasted that. That's yep. uh, that's toast. Uh, but other than that, it's all good. Right, come to a full stop. Do it to wait for brake cylinders to charge and, and that kind of nonsense. There it comes. Yeah, give it a moment. And then look at the dial to the left. Which one are we looking That's for? coming off. Oh, there we go. That's it. Brake cylinders are off. Now you can put power on. Booyah! Okay, good. Let's go. You had a flicker. Go on. Oh, you broke it. Yeah, broke it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, no, full restart needed. Oh, no, no, the reverse is the reverse and moved. Why would it do that? No, I'd buy it. Power's coming back on again. There we go. There you are. Right, come on then. You can feel the moves. Ah, we'll still be early. It's all good, but now we won't be over speed. But I will this know. This makes, makes up for all of the previous. I will know for future reference. Uh, do you know what? That's the first time I've deliberately used the emergency brake. I've never done that before. That was a new experience. Or, oh, you know what else? A bit of a slow move drive by with, with our gradually moving lens flare here. State of the art. Never mind. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the, the trackside camera there is a little way off. Come on, shake a leg. We haven't got all day. Give it a bit of that. Uh, definitely Fox the police helicopter. I should Coco. Good. Uh, flashing yellow just means that I'm coming up to a junction, so slow down. And I did. Right, okay, so 30 apparently is what it wants me to do in half a mile or so. Well, I think we need to stop in half a mile or so, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to coast that sucker the rest of the way. Can't rule out I'll use the e-brake again, but you know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. This is what I see the pros do. You know, do you do this sometimes? Yeah, especially because it gives you good visibility. No, I get it. I get it. it. It makes it makes total sense. It's uh, it's a good idea to have, especially if your if your aim is to uh, authentically whatnot. 
uh, then you would want to read the track, wouldn't you? Right, okay, slowing from 40. We haven't got a lot of space here. I'm going to have to... Gonna have to be a little bit aggressive with the brakes. Feels good so far. Feels good. This is definitely Peterborough. I recognise it uh, from well, what I can see of it. Anyway, no, we, a, a bit less, a bit less, a bit less. We've got a bit more rolling to do yet. A bit more rolling. I want to see if there's a are there signs telling me where the car stop area are, area is. Because I try and look for that. Apparently this train's going to York. That's a lie. We just came from there. I'm not going back. You can't make me. There we go. Now let's do it. Maybe. Maybe a little early. T is for doors. How much do we miss by? With passengers in the rear of the train, like to move forward by a couple of coaches. Uh, it's, it's in your own interest. Continue. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong screen. That was me. Three. Three coaches ought to do you. Maybe the front end of that. I I did seem to... I don't think there's enough room to get all three of those in there. How short did I come up? Evidently a lot. Didn't feel like much. Didn't feel like that much to me. Obviously you're more familiar with this station than I am. I, would, <coughs> I wasn't time for a short break uh, before we continue our way south to London. Yes. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> There you go. Good. Right. Good. Don't you need to push buttons and do the uh, do the magic thing now? Yes. Yeah. Right. Let me switch it over to. You're finally done. What do you mean finally? I'm early. I came in at least 15 minutes ahead of schedule, which is fortunate because uh, you know I, I was starting to flag as far as uh, keep riveting while we're uh, while we're traipsing through the, uh, the the north of the country and it's and it's many varied and. And mysterious landscapes. Mm. Well, it's time for the last leg now. Oh, Peterborough to London King's Cross. Now, who wants to do it? Oh. I can I, do it. It's your go. Yes, yeah, my go. You haven't done one yet. I have. Have you? Yeah. Well, I'll do another one. I would be happy to do it. Do you want to go, Sam, or stay? I don't know. I'll, I'll stay. I'll, I'll keep you all entertained with my many varied antics. Uh, that's all good. Oh, I've had some. I've had some social media action. I'll, uh, I'll go and see what's going on on that. And I'll park it over here and keep you regaled with the chat. Me and the chat are going to get on famously, I'm sure. All right, let's see what we've got. Uh, the, uh, the the Road Trains channel. I don't know if that's Romania. Uh, the Class 395, please. Mm. Have you got one on you? Not on me, but there is one in the game. Pity. There's one in the game. Good. That's, uh, that's one we can tick off the list there. Uh, Deltic is missing from TPF2. We don't, we don't make that. TPF2, no, that's uh, that's those Swiss people. They make that. Uh, how many pints has Colonel Failure had? He's going to put me out of a job. Uh, none. I don't need them. I'm, uh, I'm just too, naturally like this. I'm too All busy being day. high on life. Mm -mm. Uh, right, okay. And, uh, need to turn the tail lights off. Needs a very strong word. I think uh, it's advisable to turn the tail lights off. Uh, a T40 tyre, no, T4 Tyler, oh I see, Stepford County Railway, uh, the number 141 Pacer. Oh, Pacer! That's, I mean, it, it was a comment in isolation, so I'm not saying, I, I don't know whether he thinks it's great or not so great. I think he wants one but desperately and he wants one in pink. Well, don't we all? Yeah, I'll take two in case I lose one. Um, uh, class 142 all the way, says Johnny Mentos. Any, any form of Pacer? Whether it's 140, 141, 2 or 3. Right. Okay. Uh, are we going to see the shirt under the shirt? No, because it would be considered advertising. Now, normally, if it were a regular brand of the, uh, you know, Nike or your Coca-Cola there, that would probably be acceptable. But uh, no, it would be crossing the streams between my two separate existences. But if you've got a if you've got a T-shirt that's got a bit of this in it, there you go, just a little bit of that. Then you know what you you know what's on. I'm wearing it because it's jolly comfortable, and that's not me saying that you should buy one because they're jolly comfortable. No, perish the thought. But they are jolly comfortable, stylish too. That's people talking about Dolly Parton in space. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going to see if we had any response to what was happening here. <laughs> sorry, I put Dolly Parton in space earlier on today. Ah. Uh. Yeah. 
you go. Right, okay. Uh, when will be live with American Trains? I had a concept earlier on, and it foxed Dimitri significantly. Uh, Matt will get it, because he's, you know, we, we see eye to brain occasionally. Um, once in a while. Uh, once once in a while. Why, did you just shameless plug. Me? Yeah, of course it's a shameless plug. Um, uh, but no, uh, no, I didn't diss you. you. You looked at me like I was mad, but you look at me like I'm mad most of the time. Um, uh, but no, I've got a concept for another for another lengthy route. Go on then. Right. Uh, so uh, so we start out somewhere. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a good place to start. I haven't decided where yet. Right. I've got to do a bit more. I've got to do a bit more homework. Uh, but then we we'll, we end up in Europe somewhere, where we jump into a truck. Oh and, yes, and we take and we take the truck uh, all the way to uh, to the coast, where I'm sure there'll be a ship of some description that we can pilot over to the United Kingdom, uh, where we can jump on a train, and uh, we jump on that train and we drive the train to Heathrow, at which point we get on a plane and fly it to JFK. Then get on another train and take that to somewhere else, and then uh, and keep going till we get on another truck. Until someone basically tells us to leave. I was trying. I was trying to think of a way that we could do a sim Phileas Fog uh, without just FSXing the entire thing. Um, oh no! As as Kerbal got a uh, uh, a planet Earth map. That I don't know. Oh, if someone had got a, a Kerbal. Planet Earth mod. We could do a bit. Of, we could do the Pacific in a Kerbal rocket. Do a two orbits and then come back down again. Mm. Anywho, that was the concept that I was trying to communicate uh, to Dimitri earlier on, largely using interpretive dance, as to be said. Um, uh, and he didn't really follow what I was talking about. That's about right. No. Yeah, see, see, he, he, he largely didn't get it. Didn't have a clue. Uh, and told me just to do what. Oh, there we go. Randallator. Yes, there is a KSP Earth mod. It's like, Options. It's like it writes itself. Uh, okay. Splendid. You mean crash into the Pacific in a Kerbal rocket? No, I would. I would get someone else to do that bit. My my Kerbal exploits are not the best. Oh, that's where you're supposed to park. Well, how are you, how are you supposed to know where you're going to park if it hasn't got the little sign that says? 12 car stop here. That's S. That tells you where you're allowed to smoke. Mm -hmm. 12 car. Oh, the 12 car stop sign next to it. Oh, you know okay. what I want them to do on the railways? What's that? Yeah, you see where this is an S car stop. When mm -hmm. it's time to go, I want it to flip S around. S car go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. Why has no one thought of this? That's very good. Very good. You should write to uh, should write to whoever, which, uh, which miniature for transport we've got at the moment. And, uh, and tell them. <clears throat> Get them told. Get them told. Oh my word, look at all the AI coming on around here. Uh, Turbo Star off to Ipswich, apparently. Could be. It's an Anglia one. Could be. It's an old one railway one. Could be. Could be. All the jokes tonight. Yeah, both of them. Grant Shaps. There you go. Grant okay. Shaps is the is the miniature for transport at the moment. Right. Uh, get him on the case. Yeah, we need S cargo signs. S cargo. Are we having snails from Algeria? Uh, Lost Southwest trains 158. There was a there was a 158 coming yeah, in. There was a 158. Yeah. And, it, and actually, I did recognise it. Therefore, it probably was Southwest trains. It just re upcycled. I would expect. <clears throat> Uh, ben Ripstart there with uh, with a, a, a Nadine uh, Dory's gag. I'm, I make reference to it, but I'm not going to read it out here because you know it's not appropriate. Let's get off politics because otherwise people will start shouting at each other. Peterborough to Ipswich coming soon to ATS. What? <laughs> American Truck Simulator. <coughs> what? Did I miss? Did I miss a memo? It seems seems unlikely. Is that kernel failure? Yeah. The last time we checked, anyway. Checks in the post. Um, right. Okay. Good. What else we got going on? Uh, Southwest trains and three seven sevens in PBO. Surprised face. I don't know what that means. Should I also be surprised, or can I take that one in my stride? 
Well, I think it's because um, the author has used some stand-in trains and deliveries where there aren't real ones. Gotcha. You're being dumb again. Come on, man. What do I mean I'm being dumb? Have some pride. Oh, you, you, he's doing he's it. He's stopping. I've got green light. I'm out of it. It, it looks like it. What notch have you got it in? Put it in notch all of them. Notch all of them. Oh, okay. All right. I'll allow it. Oh, ATS is Alan Thompson. Thank you. Sorry. I don't, I'm not. I'm not immersed heavily enough, and I realise Alan. I think Alan's in the room as well. So, uh, hey, Alan. Lovely work. Uh, where did Flight Sim World go? They cancelled it. Yes. That's what happened. That basically sums it up. That, that was that was basically it. Uh, noble effort. Uh, power boost. Says DPSO Woody. Yep, but he would do. Uh, right, what Train Sim World DLC <laughs> is coming after the German and the American DLC? A different one. So, we've, we've just had a British one. No, we've just had a Canadian one. Mm -hmm. Now we're dead, we've got an then German and an American one. I couldn't, I couldn't think what, what country the next one might come <clears> from. <throat> if, I were, if I were a betting man. No, I, I have no idea. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, Alan Thompson's where you want to go. Interestingly, for those of you of a YouTube persuasion, Alan Thompson's where you want to watch if you want to see it done properly. Uh, not properly, you go and watch someone else. But uh, no, Alan gets Alan gets it done. He's not a fan of being called a ATS. Uh, but you know, well, I mean, air traffic, uh, the American truck sim. I got no problem with that. That's that's fine. Uh, right, okay, there you go. I'd love a video of, a, of the Colonel piloting a DC-3. So would I! It'd have to be a real one. Yes! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, Except, of course, I wouldn't actually be able to do it because I'd be in the back just making that face again uh, with the engines on. Going, <laughs> oh, very happy. Uh, Daniel, do I enjoy driving the 101? It's my favourite on TSW. It's my favourite on TSW as well. I love driving the 101 because that really is driving it like you hate it. Absolutely love it because it's a pain in the bum to drive. Uh, brakes pretty well, uh, but I love changing gears, all of that kind of business. That's, no, awesome. that's great fun. Uh, hold on. What's this? DPSO, would it? Beans. We are supplying the beans. Oh, giving it, giving it to the beans. Yeah. Jolly good. Tractor action. Uh, I, 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 Randall, I'd argue the guy beh beside you is also quite good to watch on YouTube for Train Simulator. What, Dimitri? Dimitri? <laughs> you started doing YouTube videos, Dimitri. Yeah, he's doing Train Sim vids. He's, he's moving in. He's moving in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's come to take over the yard. Uh, right. Uh, I don't, I'm not. I'm not talking channel stuff here. I'm talking to uh, to Matt, who uh, who also does the, the the train simulation. I yep. believe once in a while. You're kind of into it, aren't you? Uh, for a little while. I, yeah. pref I prefer your one house railways. Oh, they're good fun. I like them uh, because uh, I grew up near one house. We've had this conversation. We've had this conversation many um, times. Okay, good. Uh, not sure beans in an electric would be good for the loco. Everything's fine. Beans are good for everything. It helps conductivity. Total beans. All the beans. Uh, looking forward to OMR at Easter. Yep. Oscar Mike Romeo. Yep. Get some one else model railway action going in over oh, Easter. No, OMR. I'm flipping it. You people and all of your TLAs. three letter conversations going on there. TLAs. <laughs> Title limitation. Three letter assets. acronyms. I'll get knotted. Um, <laughs> Someone give Dimitri some food. He had food. I think he's. I think he's gone to go and have some more Haribo. No, I'm oh, he's eating the Pringles. Um, okay, good. He's on the oh, he's lying on the floor. You all right? Yeah. You've just had enough of it all, have you? <laughs> you recreating a Radiohead video? Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Dimitri's done it to himself, and uh, and there you go. Uh, Surprise! This thing hasn't exploded yet. Well, to be fair, we've had four new ones, so... Yeah, we get a replacement. Not, not only a replacement driver, but a replacement loco as well when we, uh, when we switch it up. It's good, though. It's good. Oh, hello. Damien has, uh, has sent us uh, 10,000 of the mix of... And a, uh, and a pie with a dollop of ice cream on the top of it. He then followed that up with, another, th with another thousand. Another thousand... Uh, mixer, who put points, thingies, thingies. 
Uh, and uh, and a W made out of dots. You think it's domino? I don't think it's domino. No, I think dominoes. it's a special domino, a W. But it's the same shape as the mixer V's there put next to it. Whatever. There you go. That's what it looks like. So there you go. For those of you not on mixer, you're missing out because all of that's a thing. Right. Uh, looks like these guys weren't quite ready to see you play this. Which guys? Who's who's not ready? Sorry, was there someone in the chat there who, who isn't quite uh, isn't quite prepped? Mr. Scoot? I don't, I don't, I don't spot any of that. Uh, Mike, 45596. Had four times the number of the real thing. Yep, yeah, because there was only one of them in real life. Good, good knowledge. I don't, I'll just tell you what they're saying. You can tell me what it means. Um, uh, even then, says MD420. Japan has a Pikachu train. It does. It's got a, my, a, um, a, a Hello Kitty train as it's well. It's one of their most transcendent pieces of international culture. Which, I mean, I don't know whether you'd say that that was disappointing or whether that was something to be inherently proud of. I think any piece of culture that spreads around the world, you should be inherently proud of. Oh, totally. But, you know, the Hello Kitty train is a Series 500 Shinkansen. Uh, have you seen the uh, the, the Hello Kitty, uh, Kitty uh, Toys That Made Us on Netflix? No, I haven't. It's very good. In fact, I would argue <coughs> that for all the toys that have made us, this is on Netflix, incidentally, the toys that made us, uh, all of the stuff that is kind of traditional girls' toys are way more interesting than all the stuff that is traditional boys' toys. No, can get out of that, yeah. Now, obviously, I use the word traditional there with purpose. Everyone remain calm. Uh, right, there you go. Uh, let's face it, if this run was in real life... It would have broken by now, says Ben Ripstar. Yeah. yeah. I mean, only because these things broke down on a regular basis. Oh, uh, Damien, uh, CO6 there. He sent a hundred of the mixer for his wrist. And, uh, Thank you, Damien. And a, and a mixer heart. How do we cash these in? Uh, Colonel saying something good about mixer. No, I'm just mentioning mixer. I, I'm, I'm making no judgment one way or the other, other than... People keep sending us things on it, and, uh, and I want to know how to cash it in. How do I how do I put that in my PayPal? Because <laughs> uh, uh, you, know, you know, Papa needs a new motherboard. Uh, right, good. Uh, did you know? Says MD Fortran. Uh, Japan has a female-only train for very obvious reasons. Oh, we didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm also not entirely certain what the obvious reasons are. <laughs> I am not going to ask what the obvious reasons are because I think this chap might suddenly implode about itself and then Dimitri will be in there like a whippet with a hammer uh, if you've never seen a whippet with a hammer before stay tuned um, right good uh, what else oh Red Mozzie's messing around I don't think he's messing with me though no he's he's uh, he's, he's taking uh, Ben Ripstart to task uh, I don't know what Ben's done to deserve that Oh, he was talking about Leeds and Bradford. Oh, I see. We're, we're turning this into some kind of local throwdown here. Oh, CG Life. By the way, back to earlier, APT was first revealed to the public in 1978 and was in service until 1986, which is why I've only seen it on the telly. Okay, I mean, that said, uh, I was around in 1976. I just wasn't aware of that much. I was aware of a fair bit. Um... Good. Right. Next. Moving on. Uh, get Dolly Parton in the cab radio. All oh, that we could. Whoa, that we could. Um, that would be... Uh, who is Dimitri or what have you? Uh, Dimitri or what have you is, uh, is the community manager on, uh, on, the, uh, on the Dovetail Trains experience in both flavours. A genuinely awesome person. A gen genuinely awesome person. And hungry. And he's hungry. Why don't you have a sandwich? I've already had one. Okay. Well, that answers that. Uh, but uh, but no, for some <laughs> reason, he decided to, that we should do this. Well, I mean, Matt's usually okay, but, you know, he's decided to let me do it. <laughs> Big mistake. And uh, and there you go. Why is... <laughs> why is the colonel dressed like a train seat cushion? Says Moztastic. Now, Moztastic comes from my lot. Or is one of my lot. And therefore, I'm going to find a way to punish you, Moztastic. I am. It's uh, it's going to happen. He's not wrong, though, to be fair. I know he's not wrong, 
Which is why I'm not arguing with it. Uh, but I will find a means of punishing him. Uh, right, because the colonel doesn't know what to do. The colonel always knows what to do. It's uh, just not Even if it's just the press right that button. Thing. Good. Uh, what time is the stream ending? When it's done. Hold on. Uh, in about uh, 36 minutes time, give or take, depending on how poorly Matt drives. What's your estimate there, Sparky? See about that? Yeah. I'm running to spark, running to time, running to speed. There you go. Uh, good. Right. The shirt used to be white, then it met some iron brew. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Iron brew jokes are plenty. <laughs> There's a lot of trains going to Peterborough. More than in the real world, one might argue. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, you know, but if you don't put a lot of trains, uh, and everyone says, "Oh, it's boring. There's no trains." Uh, no, I, I like it. I, I think it, uh, oh, it, it breaks great. things up, particularly on these longer routes. Uh, Dimitri doesn't exist in a physical form. He's more of a concept, an idea, an all-knowing, all-hungry being. Are you Cthulhu? No, no. Okay. I'm, I'm Orthodox. <laughs> hey, all right, he's good. He's uh, he's dropping it in there. Uh, right, good. What else we got? Uh, to, uh, I, I got very confused then. It says your boy James, 97. I don't know if he is 97. Came into being in 97. If you use ya yeah, boy, I would imagine that he possibly came into being in 97. Probably. And if he hasn't already started regretting ya yeah, boy, at the start of his name, <laughs> uh, within the next couple of years he will do. Uh, right, I think uh, Colonel's drone caused a mass exodus at KGX. King's mm. Cross. King, at KGX. Oh, okay. What a king. What, what's the X? Cross. Oh, see, I call it KCSP. Just like nobody else, huh? Yeah, no, I, but I always, I've always referred to it as KCSP because that's what it is. But everyone else, including the railways, calls it KGX because we're weird. They're wrong. Okay, good. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, quite possibly. Well, in which case it would be a good time to get a train out of your KGX there. Uh, right. Yeah, just shocked by the AI. It says Intercity 89. What is it? He's, he's shocked at, at the AI. He's shocked at the AI. Oh. No, I, I, and I think that goes to the scenario creation, to yep. be honest. Uh, which is Mr. Stephen Jam. Plenty of, uh, of attention to detail has gone to it. Here's a train. There's one. What? Two, two, one. It's going somewhere. It's doing things. It's a dusty bin. Literally is this nickname. All right, good. Uh, do you know what a host is? Yes. Asks Damien CO6. Well, I can mean anything. I guess. In a, in a streamy sense. In a streamy sense? Or but, is he's, it, but he's on the mixer. Is like a... He's on the mixer. Can they do hosties? I don't think they can. Oh. No. I don't. Or is this some body snatcher thing? Oh, yeah, or we're about to be possessed. Yeah. Because... Um, uh, Max von Sydow, he, he died earlier this week, so it's not like he can get to save us neither. No. Crikey, two trains! Um, right, there's nothing wrong with your boy, be nice, or I'll talk Dimitri into getting you to do an eight hours an hour scenario or something, says your boy James 97. Um, okay, you can try, but I'm bigger than he is. He scowls more I mean, than I do, fair, which I wouldn't have thought was to, possible. But, to, do it, uh, to get the Colonel to do an eight hour scenario, you'd need to make it 12 hours long. Because he'd overspeed it so much that it'd, it'd be down to eight hours at that point. Oh, very good. Oh, slightly backhanded compliment. I'll take it. <laughs> Marvellous. Okay, good. Drive a train, will you? Yeah. Oh, you are doing. Uh, Insert your nine. If so, I don't remember. 377s, 321, and uh, 365 and 800. That's number wang. Uh, running down the ECML at this time. Um, so this is situated. This this scenario, the whole sequence is actually set modern times, and this is meant to be a rail tour of the re repaired and re um, reimagined um, thing put back on the tracks today. Rather which is why you've got a zoomers and this rusty right? shell, of a rather than the old one running in the 1980s. Non-functional piece. You forget the three hours of disabling the emergency brake <laughs> after going backwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's entertainment. That is. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what the people want. What I'm curious, though, is how you'd get on with a little shunting puzzle. Train. What do you mean a little shunting puzzle? I've, I've done some shunting. Uh, I, I frequently, I frequently have to, uh, have to go, oh, flipping heck, it was that set of points. And go back over and, and change them back up again. Uh, but I prefer the American trains. If you're going to set me a shunting puzzle, or, or, an, or a gonk. A gronk. A, a nice gonk in my house. Okay, it's a gonk. gonk. 
I've even got a little one. I've got a little uh, end scale gonk in my uh, on my shelf. Um, gonk is a better word. Gonk is a better word. Right. Uh, BA Bangers says uh, Colonel eight hour scenario. Sure, it's it's far more like to be a really short one with lots of red signals in. Yeah, an eight hour scenario. I'll be done in about fifteen. Because uh, I'll go through the first red. Uh, JP forty four sixty eight hundred saying this run is not meant to be following any realism. That's not true. It's a modern era uh, kind of mix of AI traffic uh, with a classic locomotive and consist being flung down it with abandon. Although you are doing the limit. You in fact you're doing one hundred and twenty four. You flash git. Did you set the speed limiter for that? No, I don't use that. It's cheating. Right. You're you're legitimately trying. Uh, you're legitimately doing 124. Yeah. Uh, Damien CO6 is back. Oh, what's he sent us this time? It's a fox in a smoking jacket and a pair of sunglasses. That's cool. And 500 mixer yahoos. <laughs> uh, which is super. Um, there's only half a dozen people talking in here. It's just like a little club. It's great. Um, so one of my favourite shunty things that I did was on the Riviera line. I was driving a 56XX and... Um, it's one of the advanced locos, and I kind of got right. a little bit confused about what I was doing, which controls did what. Wasn't really paying enough attention because I was looking at the chat, and may or may not have pushed all of the wagons into the river. Oh, if that's Slash something, C. if that's something you can do, sign me up. Try. Um, good. Right. My excuse was I was setting the fish free. The Intercity 18 hours gate has got a Western Mainline 6 hour scenario from Paddington to Penzance via Bristol if you're up for it. Oh, overtake. Um, uh, no, I'm probably not up for it. I don't, I'm, I'm probably not. That, is, that sounds like, I mean, it's a nice... To be honest, I've ridden the train down from, from Paddington to, to Bristol a few times and, uh, and that was more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> And I, 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 I was more enough. Not, not, not a bad train. Just you know, I've, I've done the real thing a couple of times, and that's that was sufficient. Um, it also stops whoever's driving from going peculiar. That's way too late for that. Yeah, went peculiar a while ago. Damien CO6 has pointed out that they're called Sparks, which I think rather undermines the fun that I was having in mispronouncing the name repeatedly. I was trying to turn it into a running gag that we could have used for decades to come uh, to regale and enthrall. The recurring uh, stream-based audience, but that's 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 busted now. That's that's broken. That's that's done. Thanks, Damien. That's another one gone. Uh, Railroad crossings of Lithuania says, "What a long line." What a long line. This one. Yes. Yeah. This, this is. is the shortest of the three journey of the four journeys. How many journeys? Four. Okay. I'm just making sure you knew. Uh, can't wait to see. Uh, when to KGX, <coughs> KCSP, I think we'll find. Um, uh, the game will probably break because of the amount of, uh, of AI. LMAO uh, says Yowie. Well, he, he LM'd his AO there. He LM'd his AO. He did. He, he, he led, he, uh, no, uh, he LH AO. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. 313 is everywhere. <laughs> says uh, says Matty Matt G three one seven in in a pandemonium outbreak of caps lock with an emoji and its tongue sticking it's, it's out. It's the emoji that there. pushes it over the Gee, edge. He's uh, he's got he's uh, it's it's almost done. It's almost done. Him. He might stay calm there, Matt. Stay calm. Just you know keep it under control. Damien is back with a slice of pizza and another hundred sparks. See, it's not, it's not funny. <clears throat> Pancras. St. Pancras. King's Cross St. Pancras. KCSP. See, I got that. Yeah. Pancras, isn't it? KCSP. Yeah, see, look, other people didn't even explain. Klaus or Cloes. I'm going to go with Klaus because that sounds more, you know, humorous or accurate. See, Lowe's. Could also be. There you go. So you got it. Didn't need an explanation. Uh, you can drop three from that. Uh, and uh, the Matt G seventeen was already taken. Uh, <coughs> he's uh, he's quite fond of the uh, sticky out tongue emoji as Matt G. Yeah. Don't say three one seven. 
You've got to, that's what it's called now. Matt G, don't say three, 17. <laughs> uh, uh, CG Live, all of us spell it some pancreas. Uh, Pete Wells is going, are we there yet? No, Pete, regrettably we're not. And we're, now it's starting We're just raining. looking for somewhere to park. Yeah, yeah, you told me you used that joke a lot. Get new my, material. My kids loved it. And, uh, to be honest, hmm? I never got to get new material because it's not slowing me down. So. Biggles Wade. You're a Biggles Wade. Um, uh, uh, Rob J79. Uh, Liverpool won at the moment. Uh, zero games in the balance. 15 left. <clears throat> there you go. Did they say, uh, I don't know who, is that Atletico Madrid, ATM? No. See, because that could be Liverpool 1, ATM 0. Yeah, it could be. I, yeah, I don't know. Aston Martin. Oh, well, some will, some will tell us. There'll be, there'll be a thing in there in a moment. Hold on. Damien uh, CO6 has now responded with uh, face palm emoji followed by uh, several of a slightly unhinged emoji and then an eyes closed <laughs> tongue out lost just all of them there uh, can I ask our sensitivity 89 uh, why didn't you use the ATS ECML merch why didn't you we did we did get it on Monday huh? night from uh, huh? from Alan what's the matter with you we just weren't competent Fuck enough what can it. I say uh, right restream.io that's Dimitri that's why he's left the room he's gone to find some pizza um, good. Enters <coughs> universal power. Cyclone GU enters the building. Is hey, Cyclone GU. No, he's remained. He's remained undercover until the mention of pizza. Solid. Oh, Mr. Scoot Twenty Seven. Hello there. Uh, I love how there's a solid number of English town names that double as insults. All of them, frankly. All of them. If deployed correctly. Some of them are so obvious, though, like Six Mile Bottom. No, that's good. That's nice. Mm. Uh, that's good. Um, right, yeah, good. Uh, Yowie, again here. Oh, hold on, well, I missed, sorry, I've missed Mr. Scoot, who says, no, I just quoted him, hang on. Did Railway crossings so of Lithio Lithuania, uh, saying, so we could get a line this long with one payment, or is it going to consist of a few lines? Yeah, it's several routes bolted together. This is four routes bolted together. Well, if we're doing four routes separately. On Alan Thompson's they, their site, they, you take those four, and then it merges them into one thing. If you need a better explanation, good luck. Um, uh, EC underscore M2 equals MC squared. There's something going on that you've got it's your easy, font. It's easily confused with Mach 2, as in the younger and improved version. And, uh, easy, I'm easily confused. Uh, you've got your formula on there. Um, anyway, yes to the football reference. Good. Glad we've had a bit of service there. Oh, it is Atletico Madrid. Ha ha ha! And it was zero, so it was uh, Liverpool, Atletico, Madrid. Okay. Flipping heck, I got a football reference. Someone tell someone. That's, no, that's unusual. <laughs> um, right, I love uh, Matt's dedication to this. What? That was Alan. Alan. Alan Thompson says he loves your dedication to this. You go, Alan. I, I don't get any props at all. Nah. It's all you. It is. You know, you're the talent. I'm just some kind of flipping performing monkey over here on the side with my symbols <laughs> and my little banana. Yeah. Although we don't talk about the little banana on the stream. Uh, chicken parmesan is on today's menu. Menu member. What? Oh, yeah, never mind. Um, what's the next UK TSW route? Oh, you were going to tell us what that was. It has tracks. Thank you. Uh, ironically, stuff bought in this sale might be a cure to boredom for the next few weeks. If things keep happening, lol. Oh, that was Cyclone GU there. Yeah, the, the pizza has woken him up. He's got all the yeah. comments now. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we might be able to silence him. Oh, hold on. Is Deltic Dan 900? Uh, how did you manage to get the sounds, sounds for the 89? They're, they're uh, repurposed from other things. I don't know exactly what they've used, but you can't get sounds for an 89, obviously. Because there, there isn't one that's working. There isn't one that's working. It hasn't been working for a long time. Although they are getting it working, from what I understand. So, based on what we understand of the uh, the likely uh, <coughs> the, 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 the team have just assembled sounds it. from what we've got. Yeah, I'm sure someone will do a sound patch for the loco when it comes out. Yes, I'm sure someone will go and sit in the cab of the real thing and record the ambient noise of it sitting there. Silently, uh, that that will help <laughs> dramatically. Oh, I, I, I know, Carl Leonard. Oh, that, that was who I would, I just kind of you know I sent stuff to. 
Uh, then we got uh, MTA NYCT fan. That's New York City, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. Not New York Cats Transit? Nope. But MTA would be uh, Metropolitan Transit. Uh, which train operating company do you prefer? <coughs> Virgin Trains or Avanti? I yeah. used to love Virgin Trains. I found them to be fantastic. They were ride. always excellent when I rode, rode on them. I've yeah. never been on an Avanti the, train the, yet. The, so the I Pendo up to Liverpool was brilliant. Yep. And I used to use that every week. Uh, Orb 505, on a serious note, as a casual TS, TSW user, is TS still a going concern as a platform or is it being wound up? Easy question. So there's lots of new content coming out for TS, so no, not being wound up. It's not going anywhere because we understand that people have uh, amassed vast collections of, of <coughs> bits of train sim stuff over the years, so we're going to continue supporting it for as long as... As long well, as people as, want it. As long as we have currently foreseen. Yeah. There's lots of plans in progress for lots of great new content. That's great. Right. Good. Not going anywhere. Johnny Mantis. Colonel, may I say that... Uh, no, you're talking about my channel. And yes, it is very funny. And it has Dolly part of me. Um, right. Thank you. I appreciate the comment, but that's not why I'm here. Uh, Ollie K123, Evening Minister Pedalston. Hey, Ollie. There you go. Uh, Mike... 45596. Will the Colonel be a feature of future streams? Not if Dimitri can help it. We definitely want the Colonel on some more streams. Yeah, I'm back on Saturday, I think. Back on Saturday. Back on That's Saturday. for madness and wackiness, isn't it? Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, I'm abusing you again. Yeah. Matt Abuse 2. Electric Boogaloo uh, is what's happening on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Matt and the Talking Train set. Oh. What's the Talking Train set? I don't know. We should make one. Um, right. I oh, did make it to where I could talk to my train some at one point. Uh, Rionix says, Matt, I need medals on all my TSW routes, please. He wants them now. What you need to do is earn them. There you go. And then they're all yours? All right. Okay. I don't think that was what he was asking. I think he might be back, you know. Uh, Sprinter 15 and a bunch of threes. Does Barrow Hill have the <coughs> Class 89? Yes. There we go, that was another easy one. That's a question for me. Uh, what's my favourite train? Uh, SD40. Yeah, I know, it's heresy, it's American. Solid, <laughs> solid locomotive. That's because I like muscle cars, and that is the muscle car of trains. <laughs> um, uh, what about Colonel of Success? What about him? I don't. Uh, the success comes through failure, therefore I, uh, I'm a paradox. Me. Yeah. yeah. And a palindrome. Uh, Nathan Kemp, uh, when is the stream for the MP15DC? Uh, that is on Friday. That's on Friday? It's on Friday? What? Okay, yep, Dimitri's on board as well. Um, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 47245 hype there. What? That was the Nebworth loco we just passed. Oh, I see. Okay. My, peep, my peeps keep bringing stuff back in. No, they play. haven't said it for ages. Stop stop trying to make it happen. It's not going to happen. It's not a joke. That's got, it's not going to work. <clears throat> no one thinks you're funny. Except um, me, and that's all that matters to me. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, AP EPs are incredible. I think that was an internal conversation going on there. Uh, <coughs> I, I can't tell you, Sprinter. You're going to have to find out for yourself by watching it. Oh, with you, <laughs> just grow up. You have to, you have to put these things to bed sometimes. <sighs> no, you don't. Move on. Generate new material, man. Keep, keep innovating and evolving, and, uh, and keep things moving forward. Um, see, EV or we were suspect was Australian or Austrian. I'm going to go with Australian. Apparently, I'm very entertaining. Yes, you are very entertaining, John. Uh, CG Live. I went on Virgin once to the crew diesel depot thing. Uh, the train back was late, but had quite communication from them on the train. Breaking news. Cool story. Uh, can't really complain about Virgin. That's true. I completely agree. Uh, Lord Winter 15, do us a favour and slap Matt on the back of the head. He seems to be sleeping in the engineer's chair. What are you doing wrong? I don't know. Driving a train. Do you need to whoop him upside the head there, son? He's even slowing down for the 115 that's coming up. That's more than I would have done. Train in the tunnel. You don't want to do that, really. Uh, right. That was a different 47245. <laughs> uh, which one's which? Someone's, someone's clearly said which one's which. Colonel is the funny one. Matt is just the driver. 
just the driver, just the driver. Feeling that burn, just the driver. You're just the driver, man. Just the driver. I'm the funny one. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I was surprised Stephen didn't try to get you to stop out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah stop it now. Worth just seeing this. Stop trying to make it happen. <laughs> Genuinely isn't. Simulator gameplay says hi, Colonel and Matt. Oh, I'm and Matt. I've, I've been upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, Colonel and Matt. Neither of us are capitalised, though, no. so, you know, okay. we're both informal, <laughs> evidently. Good evening, Simulator Gameplay. How charming of you to join the stream. Uh, right. Uh, Australian, and he's just woken up. All right. Uh, good on you. Good day, mate. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's that's some, some weak-ass poms there doing some Australian for you. Uh, Grant. Uh, train. Oh, I missed it. So Gremlin has been nicking my material. Oh, bum. I missed that one. Uh, you, you can have if you've got a funny. So if I've got an official certificate, send that on the funny guy. <coughs> uh, Nickers. Um, Matt doesn't like to use speed control because he's scared he will do a Nebworth. You're only encouraging him, people. Look. If you can get him off this Nebworth thing, we can get him to make whole new memories for you all. Uh, you know, there'll be a new dream that you can all share in. Oh, in, oh, got two new people. Super Puffin Trains. Ready? Steam Trains for TSW, please. He's clearly not been in the stream long. No. Uh, he's, clean, he, he's turned up just to tell us that people would quite like some Steam Trains in TSW. It's a good idea. Don't know why we didn't think of it before. Yeah. Um, that, that, there'll be no... There'll be no uh, poor Australian impersonations in the chat. That is reserved for those on camera uh, who can then be abused accordingly. Uh, hold on, that's uh, B7RLE Samuel. Was a class 755 for TSW. <laughs> oh, I'd love that. Oh, yeah, me too. It's the ones that run on your line. It's the which, which line? Based on. No, is it really? The new ones, the um, flats. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. They're awesome. Okay. All right, good. Uh, Rich Robinson says, uh, hi, Matt. Full stop. Hi. Hi, Colonel. Full stop. Full capitalisation. Full capitalisation. He's uh, me first. He's throwing all the grammar at it there. He's, uh, he's dressed to impress. Uh, Blaze, uh, uh, Blaze, rather. Hi, Matt and the Colonel, the other one. Must mean to be true. The Colonel and the other one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, there's the, the Nebworth Defence Squad is out there. Uh, most fantastic about uh, just out of curiosity in the Logitech dovetail video. How come everyone seems to have desks and yet the colonel is sat next to a wheelie bin? It's well, true. It's true. I'm in. There. I'm in. A, in what I like to call a blink and you miss it shot. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't invited to talk to the nice people from Logitech. Can't think why. Um, but uh, they'd well, still be here. Yeah. Lord Winter 15. Come after the stream. Dump a bucket of ice water on Matt and post it social media. If I can find one, I will do. Alex, I, I, I assume this is Alex's stuff. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Dutch stuff for TSW, please. I love that idea. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Um, Scott Rail on five six four three three says yes, yes, with Scottish accent, but I won't do. Uh, I'm looking for new people because there there are some now. We've woken them all up by our incessant bambling, burbling on. Uh, oh, there we go. Gangster Tears. Gangs. Hey, Gangster. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it is Gangster Tears. Well, what's up, guys? Much love from NYC. Throws horns and a beer with a heart on it. A beer with a heart on it. That's the deluxe beer, that is. Yep. Special hearts. Uh, uh, Matt G. Don't say 317. Says, oi, get out of my state, Gangster Tears. Uh, Blaze says, Matt is Captain Slow. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I know, because I know I'm that makes that. me... Then I'm, I'm less comfortable. <laughs> uh, ooh, the guys at Logitech saw me drive a truck with a joystick, that's why. True, not, I wasn't particularly effective driving a truck with a joystick. So it's very true. Uh, more chatting, less concentration is good. So it's KTL Rob Powell, new to the chat. Well, oh. he was there since the beginning. Hey, Rob. He's obviously had his, been having his dinner or something. Probably. He's you know, been sensible. Or he muted us. 
You probably muted or something. Muted. So there is a point where you just need to take a break. And another, and and another run through Slay the Spire and, you know, failed again <clears> on <throat> tier 16 and decided to come back into the chat. Um, apparently I'm doing great, says Restream.io. You can just say stuff out loud, Dimitri. You're allowed to partake, you know. I know you're sat there managing the whole of the internet and stuff, but, uh, you know, all of, all of that. Um, I'm Richard Hammond. I oh, how very day. <laughs> the lady's favourite Richard Hammond? I don't think so. Um, yeah, that probably does mean that Colonel is Clarkson, unfortunately. Uh, well, Randall like Colonel has clearly typed that. I didn't type nothing. Oh, <laughs> but you know what? I could in the future. Thing to do, or I could just log in. I could keep. I could join a conversation on that. Anyway, um, uh, Lord Wentz says, "When am I coming to the states?" I haven't got any plans at the moment, uh, but you know, the states is somewhere I tend to visit, although not so often on the east coast. Uh, I've, I've been to the west coast more times than I can count. Uh, don't hold it against me. It's, it's nothing personal. I've been to New York once. I haven't been to New York at all. I've looked at New York from Newark Airport. It was dark the entire time. I landed, it was dark. I had to go and get a plane in the morning. It was still dark. <laughs> what made it even more exciting was that the plane I got in the morning was to come back again. <laughs> there, that was when I worked for, worked for the, the, the Evil Empire, that one. Um, uh, there, EV Australia says that I'm his favourite colonel. In your face, Sanders! Uh, right, good. Uh, Yowie needs pancake. Uh, Sir Gremlin needs bacon. Um, uh, 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 Ollie K123. Hold on, which comment did I miss? He's, uh, he thinks he's being ignored. I just You're never it. being ignored. No, it's, uh, I only ever miss it. Or you're being political in some fashion. In which case, being ignored. <laughs> in which case, you're probably <laughs> being ignored. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying to get as many new new names into the chat as possible because people like that. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing that people like. Um, repeat message, Ollie. Repeat message, and I will read it out if it isn't horrible or offensive. NER train says hello, everyone. Hey there. Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah, so that was Hadley Wood we just went through. Cracking spot in place. Uh, all right, I said tell Matt to take his smile to Wally. If he's going, well, oh, you've got we should find out. We shall see. If it's not cancelled, if it's not cancelled, well, Alexandra it? Palace is cancelled. Well, no is November, so it's a way off yet. Yeah? I'll come with it. Sounds like a good one. <coughs> I've always fancy going. Yeah, you should. I'll come with it. I'll do, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a vlog. Oh, fantastic! Right, right? Yep. and you can uh, you can hold my stuff. Uh, I get to good. hold your stuff. Yeah, you can hold my stuff while I vlog. Wow, I wear sunglasses <laughs> and uh, act like I own the place. Uh, Will of Dale, Randall says, would have derailed at uh, Crugentini. Crugentini? Crugentini. Crugentini. Crugentini is better, Scotland, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I get that. The, it's got all of the Scottish kind of uh, well, Except Tinny, there. which is Australian. Uh, cheap plastic Tesco Express trains, says Samuel, earlier on. Uh, LNR trains, says Hadley Wood. Mm -hmm. Geography. There. Hadley Wood. That's where we just went through. I figured it was. Uh, <coughs> B7R are oh, really Samuel so is kind of like a, a special guest or does he work for Dovetail directly I work for Dovetail directly for three days a week uh, in terms of what do I do for Dovetail I, uh, I, I understand the players I work to understand the players and the things that you like and the things that you don't like and so I those surveys that go out yeah and some play testing and some general poking around the internet and uh, I, I gather all of that into a big ball of knowledge and then spew it to anybody who, who deigns to listen. I do a couple it's of very good. as well, but, uh, but that's, that's my main caper. Um, I hassle Matt a lot, basically. I tell him when I found a bug, uh, that happens quite a bit. Um, do I get the secrets of future content? I have all the same secrets of future content that everybody else does. Regrettably, however, as a long-standing member of the video games industry, I'm uh, I'm about as likely to spew those uh, those pieces of, of information as much as anybody is, as in not. <laughs> also, they could go, oh, it's a class seven one five two nine. I'll go, oh, class one seven one five, and then I wouldn't be able to remember it. 
so uh, so that's that's all good right back into the chat Pete 888 UK advertising a gambling firm there uh, I have to get up to work at 2am so sadly I have to say goodbye thank you for a very entertaining yes, Pete. Pete thank you for dropping in um, a bit of a bit of a spark Magenti. I think he's picking up on a bit of conversation that I'm not necessarily following uh, however the class 43 is better by far there can be a discussion about that and then he did then he did that oh no, sorry that which I think is possibly which is like rude in some mm -hmm. countries mm -hmm. uh, it's a depot uh, for weather oh, thanks for having later it's five miles outside Edinburgh Waverley jolly good I guard the wheelie bin good nice. I'm slightly concerned about that's, the colour of the sky that's nice what has Stephen Jam done it's the end times and Ming the Merciless is coming amongst us Either that or it's Dimitri, who is, as you know, Cthulhu. Um, West Midlands Travels. Hey, uh, which is your favourite station in the whole of the UK? Crew. Oh, no. Maybe Lime Street. Lime Street Approach is good. Brighton Approach is pretty Lime good. Street Approach is fantastic. Lime Street Approach is good. I used to do it all the time. And you get a little bit kind of blasé about it, but then you remind yourself, Lime Street Approach is amazing. Mm. Um, Last time I drove that in, in the train sim one, because <coughs> it's not in TSW yet. Yet. Make it happen, Matt. Um, uh, yeah, I ran a red light, which is very disappointing. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pretend <coughs> to be surprised. Uh, Rob J79, full time. Liverpool 1, Atletico Madrid 0, extra time. Evidently, they are uh, even on points difference after the second leg. Thank you there for the sports update, Rob. Now over to mid to Dimitri with the weather. Oh, it's it's purple. Shit. You can't say that on the stream, Dimitri. Uh, purple the weather is purple. He's worrying, says Cyclone GU, who has delivered the weather. There oh, you know what us. I think he's done? What? He's given me a pink sky to the scenario. With that's not pink, that's purple. I know. It's a failed pink sky. But I think it, I'm going to cling to the fact that it's a pink sky. Wait, what colour is it? That's Gangster Tears has reached level 600 in TSW on PS4 in eight months. Amazing. How? How? And, and and why? At the same time, but mostly how? Uh, I, I think I'm level 20 something. Not not even. Uh, and I've I've driven everything once. As the man from <laughs> Record Breaker said, that takes dedication. It does take dedication. Uh, CGY says the sky's purple because we did some lighting tests, and I was told to make purple fog, so I made purple fog. Might have done it a bit too much. Nah, it's fine. You think? No one will notice. Um, uh, Sir Gremlin's got to run and study. Take care, chat. Train well, guys. Thank you, Sir Gremlin. Uh, where is Dimitri tonight? He's over there. He's being shy. Being occasionally sassy. Uh, KTL Rob Powell. Someone messed up the weather settings. Uh, Unless they intended it to look like this, in which case they're just strange. Uh, Dominus Edwardius. What did you do to that sky? Made it pink. It's still purple. It's not pink yet. Sky belongs well, said, in a, in a Doctor Who planet. Says XG N double L nineteen eighty six, and I'm inclined to agree with XG N double L nineteen eighty six. We're on Mondas. <laughs> Mondas. Mondas. Very good. Uh, Sprint says there's some purple rain coming. Yep, good. Uh, there, and uh, BA Bangers has gone in with there's some purple rain coming. CG Live says, I've clearly overdone the purple a bit. Everyone seems to think it's purple, man. <laughs> um, Pink. <clears throat> it's clearly, gonna, it, it is, it is going to get Cathy at a London King's Cross. Nice reference from Scott Rail. 156 for the three. Oh, JP's changed his, uh, his text colour to purple, especially for the occasion. Cue the print song. Uh, MSJN is emanating from the headphones. Root Beer Fit. New chatter there mm. over on the Twitch. Welcome. Uh, it's we'll say Prince was right. Purple rain. Uh, oh, Afandra! <clears throat> there is epic magic in the air. I'm not going to disagree because I think it's right. Um, Super puffin trains, Dimitri. Uh, when you try your best, is that like a mock when the walls fell? Possibly. Yes. Um, uh, DSO, uh, DPSO Woody is the speed set planned to be working. Speed set works, I'm just not using it. Is it? It was used throughout all the other streams and, and abused. Well, well pro. But I wanted to see what it did. 
Um, London emission levels, yes, almost <laughs> certainly. Uh, get your bottles ready. Is that a you reference again? Is what? Get your bottles ready. Get your bottles. No, that's not a me reference. Okay. Uh, this is what the apocalypse looks like. Possibly. We uh, we don't know yet. Atomic Danny. It's magenta. Winky face. Tongue sticky out emoji. Pink. Get out the stream. Clear off. No, they are not interested in you colour correcting. No, how very dare you. No, we're a... Uh, we're, and that broad approximations will do just fine. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Moggy43, good evening, kittens. Good evening to yourself there. Good evening, Moggy. Uh, Ollie, uh, K123, don't crash. Whatever you do. I'll try not to crash, crash from man. 12, 13 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, West Midlands travels. The sky looks like something out of Plants vs. Zombies. <coughs> I concur. Um, Marco70797. Uh, did a make a wish, kid? Make this scenario. <laughs> I'm not allowed to laugh at that. That's not that's not funny. No, but it is quite funny. Um, uh, Meridian Rail. The pink purple in the distance looks kind of ominous. You think this doesn't look ominous, there, Meridian Rail? I think it looks jolly more ominous. You know what? Two people made all the scenarios that we played tonight, and I think they're allowed to have a little bit of fun at the end. Is another one four double five nine six Bahamas? Do it, Ilkley Moore into King's Cross. Steve told you the sky was fine. You're going to give him a good tip off. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Uh, uh, Stephen. Stephen Jam is the, is the author of this right. one. But CG Live made the weather for him. Yeah. Breaking news. No. Uh, right. No, this is breaking news because right. I'm stopping. At the end. Yeah. Are we nearly the there end? yet? Yeah, we are. Actually, you were right. Bang oh, on time. Time. It's pretty impressive. Good job. That's the most I've done before. Well, all right then. I'll take it back. Bad job. Not a good job at all. <laughs> yeah, good best. Ooh, everyone, everyone <coughs> made it. Plus, the maternity balloons make a rare appearance. Yes. So, oh, lucky us. Hooray! Yes. Yes. Hey, look! Hooray! Ah, hooray! It's a, it's a festival of joy and delight. It's a festival of joy of and delight. And Congratulations. this. Congratulations! Pink. Yeah. Pink. Look, pink. All right, let's, uh, I'll, I'll put it over here for comparison purposes. Pink. They're identical. I'll just knock the microphone. It's all, it's all broken. And it doesn't let us stay here, does it? It's going to bounce us out to the menu without so much as a buy your lid. Oh, I'm breaking the autofocus. There you go. <laughs> Bit of pink to finish things off with there. Hooray. Right, that's it. Are we done? <coughs> we are done. Can I go home? We can go home. Bye. Right. Oh. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Um, just to give you a recap, those were the Just Trains Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh Newcastle. It was the Darren Porter uh, route from Newcastle to York. It was the Creative Rail um, York to Peterborough and Dovetails um, Peterborough to London. The three of those you can get on Steam and the uh, just Steam Workshop microphone. As always. And then the other one is um, Just Trains um, in Newcastle. You can get that from Just Trains site. If you want to run those four separate routes, once you've got those routes, and I think there's maybe a couple of others you need, mm. if you then pop over to Alan Thompson's and find out about his um, his stuff, you, there is a merge there, which makes what? it all one gigantic big route. His house. Yes, and special thanks to, to Sam who joined us today. Is he going to make you a cup of tea? Yeah. And even big thanks to Matt, who's, who stayed here throughout the whole stream and uh, answered all the questions <coughs> and and drove and did everything. Dimitri says chopped off, says the chat. Yeah. What? It's no more than it deserves. Off. Right, it's chopped off. All right, what's the button I press to end right. this thing? What's the button? All right, folks. Can we do it on here? What's it? Uh, yeah, no, that guys. doesn't work. Thank you, Alan Thompson. Does that thank make you just something trained. fishing happen? See you on Friday, guys. Friday, 7 p.m. GMT. Don't, don't, don't forget. MP Friday. You Saturday, can't MP15. Sa sa same time, 7 p.m. is no, um, the beautiful HRR route. He's done. See the pose I was taking. See you later. <laughs> um, yeah, thank it's you out. guys. Oh, it's out. Oh. It's out. Bye. Oh my god.